Nothing untouched. We are Spoon 107.5 FM. From the top of Rio Grande Bay, Spoon 107.5 FM. Hey, 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 hey
Yeah, 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 yeah. Too much of spoon. You provoke them up, Mirren and Too much of spoon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Too much of spoon. If you eat kept on regulate, my brother, Too much of spoon. You got a sport TV, you got a spoon radio, Too much of spoon. Yeah, 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 Tutor Spoon. You want to get a news about that, Tutor Spoon? What, what, yeah, Rastafara. Kili Baba, Kili Baba, Kili Baba, Kili Baba, Kili Baba, Kili Baba. What I want? Yes, my new bag today. A pleasant afternoon to Dennis Wieser Colin, um, who's following us there from Philadelphia in the u.s so i was uh oh, double afternoon in liberia no <laughs> i got you there i was actually going to say good afternoon to uh dennis Wiesel collins uh, watching from philadelphia uh, there in the united states of america naomi kippar is watching us as well from philly so philly in the house being represented uh kolu blama is also watching tonight uh chuchu jala is watching us from nd i wonder if that represents north dakota dr richardson will give me a nod then i know that that nd stands for north dakota also um uh, prince yeligon is watching us from stockholm there in sweden that's scandinavia the t somewhat b fire says today is my birthday oh wow happy birthday to you sir wish you all of the best uh, so the tea and I are coming chocolate and hot tea and I because one person said ND I said North Dakota so I can I'm watching for MD no you just lead out in it <laughs> uh, the, the ones that I know I will say um, PA is, uh, is Pennsylvania and Dr. Richardson. All right, Dr. Richardson will be in the background giving me the nod. And TX is Texas. Some, somebody is watching from Texas. Uh, that's good to know. I can't hear MDCD, QD, then no. Uh, uh, Brown Mason Mazina is also watching. And all those watching us via YouTube, we love to um, welcome you. Somebody says MD is Maryland. Well, mm, okay. Yeah, y'all know your code and thing. Just try to put your hands down with me. Now I look here. I get too much knowledge about that thing. The ones that we know we can see. <laughs> so MN is Minnesota, okay? Yeah, I know that one. Yeah, so you'll be testing this much, but we'll get there. We'll definitely get there. Anointed Prince D. Dolo is watching from VA, that's Virginia, if I'm, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, getting this much more. <laughs> I'll leave it right there. The one I know that I will say. Uh, so Bill Carson is also watching us from Maryland. I do see Mr. Dwalio and the people in the background. To all of my folks listening to us all across Liberia, um, whether it is um, in Lofa, whether it's in Nimba, wherever it is you're listening to us from via the Spoon Network or other stations that are relaying us across Liberia, we love to say welcome to you. So M O is Missouri, N J is New Jersey. Yeah, you'll be teaching us most, 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 most. I won't get it. I say, yo, man, I'm going to M O. <laughs> All right, so we we'll bring on the rest of the folks today. So it's, it's, it's a good day as compared to yesterday. This morning, you know, um, W V is is West Virginia, man. Y'all don't y'all give me y'all give me is it give me hard heart in it. You know, yeah. Give me heart, don't give me WV West Virginia. Nah, man. Give me heart in there. <laughs> uh, so uh, today I I decided to take a tour, Dr. Richardson. Uh, you know, to to see if the demolition exercise would have continued on today. So early this morning, I woke up, you know, and decided to tour the area. Um, I didn't see anything of such going on today. 
whether there were calls made, whether there were mitigations done um, over the course of the night, whatever it is, you know, having been able to uh, get in contact with my source within the family court several occasions, but couldn't get that person. Uh, but the story broke all across the country, all across the country and the world, all of almost all of the dailies that I, I, I took a sneak peek at their headlines, you know, that story was 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 being carried across almost all of the dailies in Liberia. Um, all right, let me bring on Dr. Richardson. She's in the background. You see Balu and the people. Uh, Balu, good afternoon to you. Just put it on the time you are doing your last miracle. <laughs> you didn't you didn't catch that, Dr. Richardson. He said Balu was doing his last makeup. Oh, you see, uh, hey, let me say apply it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real. Here, you stick, here, you stick, 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 I'm good. I'm from M.O. There you go. Montserrat. Oh, oh, oh. That already is not great. I'm from GB. 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 Great yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. way, I, I bought my jersey yesterday. The uh, counting meet, you know, kicks off on the 14th of April. I like your t-shirt. Thank you, Doc. A special person brought this t-shirt for me, Dvalu. Yeah. A very special person brought this t-shirt for me, and I'm supposed to it today. you. <laughs> and the person is called special. Oh, That's the reason oh, the person likes like it. Like it. So much. Look at you, look at you. you guys. Don't be talking to me, yeah? <laughs> so, Doc, thank you. Your, your, your gift well received, you know. Um, I was shocked yesterday when I, when I took delivery of the items that you brought. Thank you so much, you know. Appreciate it. Now I can swag. So today I just walking on campus like they were I'm open I can see. and I'll read my MP. I don't come close to me. <laughs> you <know> from Gigi. <laughs> yes, I'm from Gigi. I'm from I'm in MO right now. Yes. I'm from, I'm but you know we can the counties in that fashion as well if we wanted yes, to. Yes, no. Great for the post office. Yes, great for That's the, the post reason office. why that was done, Dwaru. So to, to help the post office, help the people recognize and do inventory for the mailing system in this country. We don't have a mailing system in this country, which is very bad. Uh, my sister-in-law has been uh, after me to go to the poster affairs office, I believe, the ministry, and do a videotape because she thinks that uh, many things are going on there. So I don't know, Dharma, have you guys ever tried to do I any kind of- I got a story for the postal office. Okay, and good. Was, uh, Tell me. In 2014, and I was in Liberia. I was in Liberia for almost a year. And my wife was like, oh, how many people come? I said, no, they, they told all the postal office is, 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 is rebuilding. They are rebranding. And I want to use it to give it some business, et cetera. So I may well just put a package together to send to me. The wow. package was tracked all the way till it got to Liberia. As of today, I've not received that package. It disappeared. Look at that. I bet it took two weeks, right? It, or more. It, got, no, it got to Liberia within the span of seven days when she posted it. So when it got to RIA, that's when my tracking stopped. And then they told me it would be in Morovia. So where the old central bank used to be across the street, let's slide it from it. That's where yes. the central office is. I went over there plenty of time. They found us. Yeah, they never found it. Uh, I had to put some snicker bars in there because I love Snickers and I have a post just random stuff just to see if the postal service was working. I never received okay. that package to this day. But the package yes. did get to Liberia. Yeah. And and to us, that's a, such a great, great, great um, commercial oh, uh, money generating uh, operation. Yes, gen commercial generating place. I mean, imagine if we had like, like we I like African clothes and African things. If I had somebody to just put that in a box and send it to me every two weeks, I mean, I you see, do you know how much money the local people would make? Yeah. Because now you will get tailors, you will get bony sellers, you will get people. I can say that moment, man, you know wrong. That, that outfit, the propo suit, I need three or eight. Yeah, my side. Exactly. They are Business has come into the country. But exactly. and, not only, the and not only that, I don't see why it's not happening because there's an airplane that leaves from here and yep. arrives in New York on the same yep. day. Yep. Six o'clock. Yep. Okay. So that is where uh, the package can be, you know, carried. So That's I don't know why. Yeah. 
I don't know why that is not happening. But anyway, there's yeah. lots of work to be done. We know that. And we're here to do it. Yeah. So, Diamond, I'm turning the thing back to you. Thank you, Di. Uh, I've had two good experiences with the postal service in Liberia. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it, it, it doesn't necessarily mean that there, there aren't glitches that happen, you know. Um, I've been a recipient of a package through the postal service here. Where? And I've also, I've also sent a package, you know, um, overseas and it was received, you know, my mom too did send a package and it was received by um, the recipient in the US. So it depends. I've also had a bad day with a postal service from, from Norway, you know, um, that was like two, two years ago, two, three years ago when we had Corona, um, package was sent and up to today, I didn't receive it. The tracking just, you know, everything just disappeared. Yeah. So maybe you can give us the, the secret here, to our, uh, I mean, Diamond. So are you, was this recent when you did this? Because yes. it takes yes. more than two weeks, first of all, for the package to get through. Is that, is that, is that, was that your experience? Well, the, the, the recipient did get their package in um, under two weeks, you know, and, and it was um, items that they wanted, you know, okay. and it was sent to her. But there is still much to be done. Because as no, you said, I already know some things. If you tell me what you have, I already know some things. Because I have my experience with it, like it yeah, it works. Time. So you can go there uh, and and mail your package. It would definitely that that there's always glitches in systems, but it 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 it, it goes it goes there. It gets to the recipient. Uh, somebody there just said be, it. Fully, there yeah, should fully be better. less glitches and more yeah. consistent work. That's how. Yeah, that's why we need improvement in that sector. You know. That's what mm -hmm. we need to be in a well, it, It's a revenue generating sector, as you said. Yeah, huge. From few months packages months leaving years ago. Liberia, mm -hmm. leaving Liberia is easier to get than when the packages are coming into Liberia. So when the packages are leaving out of Liberia, there is a little bit more consistency. It doesn't mean there are not glitches, but mm -hmm. when the package come from abroad, this is where you see a lot of glitches because people tend to, you know, take people's stuff or open it and there is no real oversight to read them out into the system. Well, for me, it's the length of time. Correct. Two weeks. You know, to post something for Liberia is just too long in terms of business turnaround Correct. and in terms of needs, especially when we have a flight landing in America almost every day from, well, three times a week, maybe yeah. from Liberia. Let me tell you a story. Mm -hmm. I had this experience in Ghana in 2014, 2015. And if the fiance of a friend of mine wanted items and we went to send those items to her that was my first time to go to the Ghana cargo department of their airport it's, it's run by a company called Aviance uh -huh. so it's separate from the Kotoka terminal area it's within the same airport limit but it's on the other side Dr. Richardson I went to that place and I, my mouth nearly dropped like my jaws they were open and they nearly fell you could tell that it, this was a first for me to see you see the trailers. If that panapo, 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 just right. going. That's you, what we're talking about. Yem, 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 just going. You see chicks, they old chicks coming in. You know, a lot, of, a lot of exports, and I'm standing and I'm looking like, wow. What about us? Tamo, if you see the one year, go to the hall. It's a small city by itself. Yeah. A massive city. But look, Dr. President, somebody asked something here about the addressing system in the country. Look, some of the reasons why we come here is to talk about everything that pertains to Liberia. Why don't we have an address system? Uh, one time, I think it was in 2017, I published his paper. Well, how would you set up the address system? That's a Diamond lives in District 7, Diamond, or District 8? District 9. District, district not, um, yeah, District 9. My district, district. Okay, District 9. So let's say Diamond lives in a house. And then uh, in, in other country in America, America does it in reverse, right? So they will put Dr. Francine, blah, 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 everything. Other country, they reverse it. Mm -hmm. So they will say West Africa, Liberia. So because the districts and the zones in Liberia are always changing, so they put West Africa, Liberia, Morovia, Zone 15. So he's say, saying district, because the district can see you say Zone 15, horse number 35. Then all of the horse number 35, you put Damo Singler. So the address system is very easy to, to, to generate. So, for instance, you live in Damo's house right now. The government can bring a sense, sense of machine to the country. Every single house in the country will be numbered, for example. 
and that number is five dollars that will go in your house. So remember, only look, we got to create a database to track who lives where. So when it comes down for sensor, it doesn't become difficult anymore because I already know in Damo Hall that 16 girlfriend Damo get. I know that that that, that three us actually Damo get. <laughs> but you get my point, Damo. You know what I'm trying to say, right? I, your point is well taken. <laughs> 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 but it just makes it complicated. It's not hard. And the only thing is it's very important, but we don't do these things and we just complicate our lives, you know. So I, I don't know why we do it, but yeah. 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 I mean, some of the houses I'm noticing are numbered, but I don't know what the purpose of the numbering system is. It's simple. Is is block yeah. is block registration so yeah. that they, they divide the the communities into blocks. Yes. So you see block A, block B, block C, block D. Like we yeah, our headquarters is house number D one. Okay. Oh, that's so it's 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 block number D. That only oh, that's why. But well, if you guys one. have it already, if it's already blocked off, then it's just an addition of the mailing system to come in. Yeah, but but Dr. Frank saying the first thing we gotta get rid of the old addressing system. If I want to go to Damaho, Damaho say, Tolu, when you get to the junction, one more begin a red reha. We I'll use landmarks. We <laughs> use landmarks. Yeah, I said begin red behind my cabin hall. One people entry there. Yeah. Oh, but you want red get me get fast. You can get some of that attachment. I said, I got here. I got here. We are directly people red. Exactly. We are trying. My husband used waste today here and it worked. Can you imagine? Oh, oh yeah, it does work. Oh, because it's the system, yeah. Yeah, I was surprised. Yeah. I mean, we're looking for a restaurant today, and we didn't know which direction to go because he was driving, not accustomed to you know driving here. And he was like, "Let me put it in ways." And I was like, "What? Put in what?" He's like, "Let me put it in." And yeah, and all of my American nieces and nephews, that's what they're using here. Yep. To find things and that it, they were looking for. It's, just, it's also important as we are talking about digitalization. That business owners also take advantage of this whole registering their businesses with Google Map is is is, is important too, you yeah. know. Um, when somebody is looking up for a restaurant or anywhere that they want to do a certain service at that moment, they will definitely go to the one that will pop up. Most of our businesses, you know, do not make use of that. It works though; they, it might be slow in terms of the imaging and all of that, but it works. You can you can put your business on Google Map. You can even put your house on Google Map if you if if, sure. if if you want to, and it makes it easier. We all need to graduate to that stage. But yeah, we use we use landmarks because we we don't have the GPS to work when you want it to. Or people say people, when people come from overseas, they're they I got me lost in the country because nobody come and tell me say turn left, turn right, uh, three hundred meters go east and all that kind of stuff. But we need to do that as well. You the know, GPS, was, the GPS was very helpful today. Like yes, you know, it works. It works in places that have been registered on the Google map. Yeah, it was great. It yeah. was great. Uh, you know, I have to tell you guys, I Diamond, I must give you and every Liberian a lot of credit. I I was what my husband was driving today in traffic, and there was a wee barb boy, a girl who was mad at us because we we're in traffic. They didn't want to stop. <laughs> they thought they had it right away. There was the pimp and drawer who was weaving in it. I my heart was just pounding, jumping. So I don't even know how your heart can be pounding. Maybe your heart don't pound and jump anymore because I would not be able to work if I had to to be like, oh, oh, you know. Um, and then of course there was the keke, which they drive very slowly. And my husband was like, no, we can't. He hates driving slow, you know. But that's the maximum speed that they can go. I assume. And so he's like, what? And then there's the pothole. Well, even if you're going like one stretch of the road, be fine. And then you'll find it, you have to stop because it's the biggest pothole that if you're not careful, your car will leave inside. And so it's like all of these things. And then what I noticed, you know, in this country, two people that you need to be afraid of, judges and police. We're not afraid of the president and all of those Congress people and all of the judges and police. When a police pulls you over, you better be ready to present all your documentation and you better be ready to say, oh, maybe I'm going to court, okay? The, today, I saw the police went pull the pen pen man, or the man just looked at me and said, man, move from here, man, and, and left and went, yeah. okay? And then, I mean, the other one, he just looked at me up and down. The police, then the police turn around and just walk away. What you gonna do? Yeah. I was 
was like, what? Yeah, but then I we mean, have the talk show and talk show. The mm -hmm. police has nurtured a culture where people don't take them seriously. So yeah. it's not just the population, it's the society, the police themselves. And the police, most people don't know in Liberia, the police cannot just stop you without cause. But the police just stay in front of anybody car without for any reason. So no, they won't stop you. So there's a culture now in Liberia. What it, because nobody respects the police because but the police themselves facilitate that. I mean, facilitate that. I'm not suggesting wow. that it's right, but they promote that culture. Wow. And, and it, it's up to the leadership of the police to discourage it so we can have more faith and respect the police more and fear the police. I'm talking legally, not just ordinary. I mean, they, need to, they need actually, you know, they need to at least guide the pimping riders mm. and advice not to take over the roads. <laughs> that, they cannot enforce that because the thing is, the infrastructure was not designed for that. What other countries have been doing because of this rise in the pimping ride, and they're creating this small pathway on both sides to, to kind of move the motorcyclists and the, and the kaket drivers, not to be weaving in it, because it's extremely dangerous. If you're driving in like it's dangerous. Right, I've and seen it's what dangerous. I'm telling you today. But here's the scary part of that. If, God forbid, you hit one of those motorcyclists, they could burn your car right there and kill you. I was so afraid of that today. So. And Dwalu, I think we're going to Dwala. One big hell of a truck decided to park on the side of Dwala. I don't know whether they were dropping off, you know, products or what. So the road is really small. We yeah. coming, going, you know, towards town and the Pempe and the Keke coming. The motorbike driver decided to just stop bringing for us. You know, yeah. moving. Yeah. We might have to just stop. So, and you know, he was getting like really, you know, blowing a whole truck. And I tell you, I say, you know what, let's just stop and let you let them do what they got to do. If anything happened to one of them, we're in trouble. So in trouble. trouble. I it's mean, there was so thing. many. Yeah. They were a lot. So I don't yeah, know. At, I mean, least, at least they're only just stop in front of you to drop off. What about those that can stop to let you? Yeah. You haven't experienced that? <laughs> oh. I'm and you try to do a costume. You see a friend coming from the opposite lane, they'll mm -hmm. stop and let you for like 45 to 50 seconds, close to one minute. Before you pull up and start driving again, you open your window and cost you. Yes, but but why can't there be like law enforcement against that? Well, the law yeah, yeah, the police is, is is beefing up their game quite recently. I've been I've been observing that. You yeah, know, that. um, there, there there's also this reduction in the usage of the opposite lane. It has reduced That's drastically true. because now you have police officers. In numbers at the various intersections and along the Tottenham Boulevard and major road corridors, you know, mm -hmm. to deter people who are not authorized to use the opposite lane, not to use it. So that has reduced to a large extent. Also, this issue of of unauthorized lights. You see, one car just going yeah. on here in the night. Yeah. Let up, let down, let so let this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, so light. yeah, you know. So the the, the look. Our problem here is, Dr. Richardson, there are good laws, but enforcement is, the, is, is, is where it's lacking, you know? Yeah. And this issue of, this is my person, this is my interest, and all that kind of stuff, we need to do away with it. When, when you find somebody for not registering their vehicle three times the price that they should have used to register their vehicle, they, they, they wouldn't do it anymore, you know? It's, People but, conform. But yeah, we just, most of the time... I mean, this is what that mailing system comes in as we started the conversation. When I'm fine, they don't even give me the fine. You know what? It shows up in my mailbox. Okay? This is, it shows somebody brings it to where I reside. If, if I don't go to court, then I get double, you know. Uh, A warrant is pulled out for you. Yep. Yes. Okay? Yep. So if you find somebody and you know what a person living, then how you collect the money? What does the fine mean to them? Nothing really. They, they I want to, mm -hmm. sorry for interrupting like that. Auntie Mama is here. Auntie Mama, I hope you're doing okay, great. Auntie Mama, how you doing? I'm fine. I like the hair. Mm. Thank you. Thank how you. Doing, how you doing, man? I'm okay. Well, Dama? Yeah, I want to pull up a picture. Uh, since yesterday, people were giving interpretations to a series of pictures that were posted of Representative Yeke Koluba. There is this mm -hmm. one picture that I also want to, 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 to upload. 
No, that a picture of Why you afraid of picture? I'm ready to release it, yeah? Why you oh, just... Yeah, I think I'm already taking none of my page to print it. That's why I see about that, huh? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, when you are singing that video, no one got time for that one. None of that. Yeah, you yeah, don't have time for my friends. That's that, that, that Facebook guy, friends, that you fight to be your friends. Thank you. Thank you. And I, uh, that's what... This Spoon TV, let me tell you, it is worldwide. I, feel, I can't go in the street anymore in the street of Morovia. Oh, my... I was to say I want to be personal. I'm a very personal person. I'm a very private person. I can be hiding myself. Yeah, as I hide myself, some guy, the guy came is out in a shop today. He came is my husband like gets the sense because he see that smirk on the face and he looking at turning my face because I I I like to have my private time when I want to do a different thing. So the guy came and came up there. I know the man want to go cross my elbow. Yeah. Oh yeah. That this is Doctor Riches. <laughs> Are you? Angie, Mama, I'm back. Everything. Everything. Oh, the guy did it. Yes. You know, I was like running away. So he said, "You Doctor Riches." I said, "Eko." I said, "Hi, you You know, we just gotta be gracious. You know, all jokes aside, all problems in any country. This is a beautiful country. All of my who are born out of this out of this country coming back for the first time for the mother's uh, barrier, they love it. They were like, "Oh my God." This is so beautiful. They get to walk to you know the local restaurant and mm -hmm. in Sinka have breakfast and they love it. They just they've never been here before. So and the people are just great. How people are so creative. So yeah. besides everything that we have going on, this is a blessed country. That's what I wanted to add. It is. It is. Yeah, we're talking about this is a blessed country. Is this a, a sign of blessing or you know that uh -huh. or endorsement or you know? That uh, that is, you, 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 the, the, the mind specialist. You, you know how to, you know, do all of these things. When you look at the picture here, that's a culture. Yeah, with, that cultural picture. Yeah, but the smile, the, the pat, the, the, you know, tapping on the back and all that kind of so, stuff. Uh, this is the musical icon, the cultural icon, Princess Fatu Gifla. She's no stranger to Angie Mama Dwalu, mm -hmm. Dark. And the rest of those teams, then she didn't know her like the way so we know her. Yeah, it's a yeah. beautiful song. Yeah. The, so, this whole issue of this culture, I, I, did you read the release from the executive mansion as well? No, yeah. put it up so you can see her video, but I'll just say, you know, our great man, Angie Mama, that culture number one, and Prince Johnson started putting his on people back. But so Prince Johnson started a trend. So, but yeah, but. Is bringing up with the whole mm -hmm. cultural ambassador thing, you know, back and forth mm -hmm. and all that, and mm -hmm. um, Princess Fatu Gifla is in the country, and she was at the presidency talking about uh, reopening the cultural center and adding more value to our culture, and, and the executive mansion too saying the same thing like that. So let me throw that back at you. Let me yeah, ask so you one question. Out of in. You, know, you, you can come in. Let me ask you a psychologist question, so let me just ask you. So, uh, so let me ask you a question. Did did Prophet did Prophet Keith get his his back laid on? Yes or no? I can confirm or deny whether Prophet Keith had a meeting with the okay. president. Did, so did, did, did she Angie get her, her her back laid? I mean, her hand. The, 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 the president laid his hand. Again, her back. I can confirm or deny whether okay. Ambassador Julie Andy has met President Biker okay, since he became that's, president that's for him. There's something to be there's something for people to think about. That's what I gotta say for that. So in short, you saying since those two, there's no okay, there yeah, is no yeah. evidence to the public that that has been done. This is a public endorsement. Is that what you're saying? Like the rich by raising so oh, and what's the interpretation of the picture? And there, Angie Mama can uh, I don't I don't have the expertise to interpret any pictures. What I do have is the recognition of my people. <laughs> I, I, I was to the ex president, your mama, and they didn't want to interpret that picture. <laughs> In the culture where you meet an older person, whether you president, whether you chief, whether you what, you know, you can be of any high position or low position. Once a person is an elderly and a well known person in the society, you Got to bow to them and they will give you the blessing. Mm. Putting their hand on your back, me, I bless you. It's okay. okay. You can get up. Yeah. If so you don't put their hands on your back, that means they're not satisfied with you. 
if you bow down and you don't put a hands, you gotta remain there until you put the hands on your body. Mm. Okay. Yeah, it means I bless you, you are welcome. Okay. Yeah, All right. I mean, so that's the cultural. Is it, thing. I think it's a form of cultural greeting. To fair to say, correct? It's all over in all the counties. Okay, excellent. Damo, can we recognize some of our people? Yeah, sure, Dalu. You can go ahead. Well, yeah. One minute, sir. So today, the presidency, through the Ministry of State, you know, has donated five thousand two hundred bags of rice to the Muslim community. As you do know, they are scheduled, as we've been informed, to break the fast on next week wednesday that's what we've been informed about once the the moon is sighted but the presidency has you know identified with the muslim community 5200 bags of rice the vice president is also in Riverses, you know in chio town where the mudslide the tragic mudslide occurred he went to identify with the people on behalf of the government of liberia as a proxy of the president and um, those families were consoled though their losses cannot be replaced but you know he also cautioned us and the youth against illicit mining activities as they do come with their own risks as we saw that tragedy that occurred in Riverses county so a lot happening in the country i just sought to um, bring those two um to the public's attention yes mr dwally you can kindly go ahead yeah and thank you so much and to the people in Riverses county our heart go out to you a poor glibus robber will be, ah, I'll be grabbing, baby, grabbing more bleed. They say that they don't think a bad bubble will be. But I'm going to say this to my people at the end of the day, we have to be collective as a society. If it happens in Nima County, it happens to the entirety of Liberia. We have to have that approach because we are one people. We have to understand it. So let me recognize Clarence Benty to my sister, Angeli Wee Peters. How are you doing, my man? Jackson J.W. Johnson. Wolo D, welcome to the show. Over here, see Cole Gloria Voca Moba. How are you doing? Ruth Samuel Kia, Martha Campbell, Malan Campbell, how are you doing? I see Bindu Campbell as well. I see Melvin Davis, Mr. Davis, welcome to the show. I see Prince Cole, Kuka Watson, how are you doing? Kuka Clara, Way Har, my own said you, how you doing, Mama? Uh, Akapon Johnson. How are you? Mary Chie, Hank Sin Tama, Mr. Tama, how you doing? Siafa Kamara, Mr. Kamara, welcome to the show. Sylvester Nyamten, as you talk about Christine, welcome to the show. Wilfred T. Dover, Armstrong Y. Binda, Victoria Coquette, how are you doing? Jenna Yagale, how are you? Uri Blode, Sarah Sna, Mr. Sna, welcome to the show. Robert Kennedy, Samuel Zoe, my brother out of Cock City. How are you doing, sir? Robert A. Clark, Beatrice Washington, welcome to the show. I see Queen Wong by Do Wei Sie. How you doing, my brother? Catherine Kuma Wright, Victoria Armstrong. I think I said her name already. Dennis Brooks, Lucky Destiny. How are you doing? I see Na. Welcome to the show, Mr. Namere Finayema, uh, Philomena Dolo. How are you? I see Ambassador Jonathan Wilson. How are you doing, Mr. Wilson? Edward Bolton, Malinda Omen Davis Onabo. How are you? Lorena Gator. How are you doing, my sister? Amos Wise. Welcome to the show. SB Beat. How are you doing, my brother? Joe Noah. Mr. Noah, welcome to the show. Louis Harbor. Welcome, Maurice, Vani, everybody, man. No matter where you're watching from, Maryland County, up in Sando, in my beloved Grand Basso County, to the people of Riverside, near my county, Lofa, all across the country, Wapalu and Bombing County. All you guys, welcome. Let's talk Liberia, because for Liberia to grow, all of us got to put here on the year, so we can carry on up here, and I'm one person team. Welcome to the show, Sage Mama. I want to say good evening to everybody out there. And our hearts go out to the people of Riverses. We know how you feel. We we've been there before when it were 250 persons got um killed by the sea landslide in Nima County. We we felt that pain and we also feel your pain because Liberia belongs to everybody and we know that um school can never be replaced, like I'm said. But you know, with God above, it will make you happy again. So trust in the Lord and it will be okay. 
Dr. Francine, you got anything to say? Yeah, I want to join uh, you, Dualu, and Angie Mama to just extend my sympathy to the people of uh, River Sess. I want to tell them sorry, Namaya. We're very, very sorry over here. And, you know, as Angie Mama said, take courage and God will guide you and lead you. This is not going to be an easy process. There will be days of tears, but take courage. There will also be days of happiness and good reflections. So that's what I wanted to say. I also wanted to give a shout out. Last night, I happened to visit uh, Kalabash, the Kalabash, to visit my, to celebrate my niece, Hawa Sitang's birthday. And May Pretty Queen was there. She's a Spoon TV lover. So I want to say a shout out to May Pretty Queen. Thank you so much for you know, enjoying Spoon and you know, being an active participant in the information gathering process uh, as it relates to Liberia. Thank you. Yeah, and, and Dr. Francine, I want to elevate something today. We can talk about it briefly. That Mariah Yakula Kokwa wrote today, and, and I think it makes a lot of sense. And I'll read verbatim what she posted. She said, uh, we live in a world where the intelligent must keep quiet so that the stupid will not be offended. And I want to address this very quickly. There is a tendency a lot of times people will come here and say, Oh, that the presentation you know, or the other thing you know, or the person thing you know. Or. If those of us who've done some homework and, and we for hard to have gotten into certain position of prominence, whether in academia, whether in, 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 the, in the public sector, if we're fight, we not fighting vigorously to elevate Liberia and we allow the people with the loudest mouths but nothing behind them to overshadow us, this country is not going to grow. One thing I'm going to say to you, don't ever be ashamed of putting forward an idea that's going to elevate the country, even if they tell you that you're a queen or you're doing more than you're supposed to. We cannot continue to coil the best and brightest minds, and I'm not suggesting that I'm one of the best and brightest minds, but I'm saying this, those of us who have some technical skills to transform the country, we should not coil because somebody feel less of themselves. If you continue to do that, this country is not going to grow. If you have a skill, you have to come forward and force that skill in the open so Liberia can grow. Don't feel bad because somebody feel less of themselves. Do not coil under any circumstance. And I think it was a brilliant way to pull it. We cannot keep silent because somebody is going to feel less of themselves. Then go and read more books. Go and better yourself even more. Elevate the conversation. We have to elevate this conversation. So I say, oh, it's all the way. We talk like he's speaking series. I went to the <laughs> I, I lived the majority of my life here. I, I've done everything here most of my life. If I lived in Ghana, I would have a Ghana influence of my accent. This is not something that I try to do. We go back anywhere that I've done video. So we cannot coil. I don't want you to coil. I want you to exert yourself because Liberia has to grow, my people. Dr. Francine. You know, I'll ask everyone to continue to elevate who you are as a person. Uh, you bring, we all have our own unique gifts. There's no one here who will be, uh, you know, less intelligent than the other. You are intelligent in your own special way. So whatever you have to add to this conversation regarding improving Liberia, making Liberia a better place or in any kind of a context, make sure that you do that. You know, anybody who feels that they, you are a threat to them, that is their business, not yours. Continue to feel empowered and walk majestically with your head up high. Um, you know, for all of us here, I can tell you, I mean, maybe for Dualu, because uh, maybe he has a, a lot of practice in perhaps journalism or, or just great communicating because you're a great communicator. Okay, okay. that's it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, also here for me, this is all amateur for me. My 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 gifts, my schooling, my training is one on one with people sitting down for hours uh, talking about the mindset, the brain, uh, being in a classroom, lecturing, uh, playing my lecture ahead of time. You know, everything that I say is very scripted. My own spoon is not. But here I am. I'm okay. not letting that deter me. I'm not letting that deter me. I just keep pressing on, no matter what people have to say, that's their business, that's my business. I just keep pressing on for the sake of Liberia. You don't know how many times I walked the street of Liberia and so many people have said thank you. Yeah. And then I know exactly what they meant when they are saying I thank like you. I like each of you. I plenty of wine in Liberia. And it says, Mama, I want you to come in, but I want you to, to just a little slant and angle. Look, I want, look, I want us to understand this. It is very difficult to come on the show to make sense 
when you got 10, 20,000 people listening. I mean, nine, 10,000 people listening on the internet. You got hundreds of thousands of people living, listening in Liberia. You have to make sense. Not every time you're going to be perfect. It is not as easy as it looks, folks. You have to understand that. Thank you. Thank you for saying that, Tua. <laughs> well, you know, um, no matter what you do in life. Oh, he's about Go ahead, said your mama. No matter what you're doing in life, you will criticize. And sometimes they do it not intentionally to say that maybe, oh, Dralu, Dralu speaking, Siri, or he's doing that. No. They like the way you speak. And I know Liberians because they admire it. Uh. And because maybe they can't do it, they admire you by the same time they will criticize. But they don't do it out of any bad intention. Liberians are like that. Whether what they like is what they're going to criticize. Hmm. Always said, once you hear Liberians talking, oh, you know the woman is so difficult. Oh, she this. Oh, she that. That means you're on the right track. Just continue what you're doing. But I know my people. That's how they are. Dwell. Maybe you're not you're not residing here. I'm still. So you don't know them. That's how they behave. So don't feel bad. That's that's them. They admire you. So just oh no, they're my people. I I, I love yes. them to the core. Yes. Yeah, and like they say, Dr. Richard saying, oh, you know, uh, 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 that the PhD woman, she thinks she know everything. Yeah. I'd be like, I'd be like yeah. oh, no, but we like her anyway because you know she can be critical, sometimes she can be harsh, sometimes she can be this, but we still like her. When we see on the show, we can miss her, as you see. Now, well, that, that, that the thing has a so very they love you. They, they love you, they love what you do, they will criticize it. Uh-huh. And the next minute when you check, they will be practicing how to be like you. Oh, so, okay. That's like you, so just get get used to that. Sis Lenny, right. welcome to the show. Sage Mama, there was a period on the show. I for one thought that the friends were going to leave. The entirety of the internet was literally chewing her bone. I don't know how she stayed. And, 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 but that's up to the woman to tell you that they did not stay. Dr. is somebody who, um, from what I see, she's somebody who is in her own space. But when you cross over, you go just a little bit beyond. <laughs> she said, when you cross over. Yeah, when you cross over. Can you ask me one night? You got crew in you? <laughs> uh, no, I said, you get crew, blow you, mama. Yeah, but anybody will push back. But my people, you're asking, what kind of chicky? What kind of chicky are supposed to eat? Regular chicky. So, so yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'll black you. So that's that, the, uh, Mr. That's Jackson, that's welcome to the show. Yeah, what kind of chicky? Since, since and, Lenny, this is what so we're talking about. Brain, and she will tell you exactly how she feels. The next minute she'll be smiling, but she will check you out. Once you cross your boundary, you know, you go, you know, or your limit, she'll bring you right back and then you will continue the conversation. And that's what I like about her. She's in her own space. That's how you're supposed to be, said your mama. But since Glendy and, and Mr. Jackson, I want to read this again. You guys just came in. I want you guys to charm me. Mariah Yakula posted something and I thought it was very profound. She said, we live in the world where the intelligent must keep quiet so that the stupid will not be offended. Every single time, oh, my Sam Jackson, talking about he went to LSE, he won't put a boat in front of all, and Mr. Jackson is supposed to coil so you can feel good about yourself. Mr. Jackson, how do you respond to that? Uh, I've been dealing with it all my life. Uh, I went to St. Patrick's, and I, I've always been interested in world affairs, so I read Time Magazine, I read everything, you know? And then every time I start a conversation, it's like, you know, you're trying to show off, okay? And then they will come to test me to like spell words. And, you know, it is like, you know, and luckily for me, I left Liberia early in 11th grade. So I skipped all of that, you know? And of course, when I went back, you get involved in politics, you get back in it. But I, uh, as a schoolboy, I, I, I faced it. You know, of course, of course, my having big mouth doesn't help me, you know? It's, you see a little bit out because in Liberia, if you know something, if you feel a certain way, you're supposed to be coy and in the background and be so, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm not that kind of person, you know, I've never been that kind of person. And and I'm not looking for love, trust me, even with me, my own family. I mean, um, some of my kids don't even speak to me. Okay, some members of my family, you know, but I don't care. It's, once you feel like you've done nothing wrong and I'm not, I'm not perfect, Okay, but I've done most things right in my life. But if you look at the average 70 year old, you know, and compared with a 70 year old Liberia, I mean, I'm either just 
right up there with them, or I'm, I'm doing better, you know, and I'm pretty much independent. You know, I have my own thing, you know, so I don't really, but I don't, I don't let it get to me. I, I don't let it get to me. And if, if you keep, if you have courage and you, you believe in it, because if you know you're right, eventually the truth is constant and the truth will come out. And that's, that's, where, that's my position in life. So it's just really, I want a little twist to today. Welcome to my to the show, Brother Fatiga. How has Liberia been hurt when it comes to people who know better? Say, you know what? I don't want anybody to tell me, say, I know bull or I know too much. So they just stay in the back. How has that hurt Liberia? I mean, I think, hello, everybody. It's good to be here. Good to see you, Doc. Um, I think it's, it's, it, it goes without saying. There's so many things that even sometimes people know and they want to do and they're afraid because of the perception of what people are going to say about them. And I think perception is something that has been with us even, even from birth. Um, because, if, for example, you would say like uh, growing up in a home, like my dad my dad um, said to me, the high school, why you not reach in? Don't bring any man here that you want married to shake my hand. I'm not doing it. So that perception was there. So even if you found somebody you like that person, you would not go there because you are afraid of what they're going to say. And so this is what our society has done to us. And I like what Mariah wrote because that's true. And, and it, 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 what that does is it curls people up to not say what they want to say. So there's a caveat with me. And when I get into that mood, I don't listen to anybody. If you ever see me say, my crew, papa, sir, grandfather, my dingo, they don't care who come here. I would just say what I won't say. Hmm. And so you have to be able to build up that resistance to be able to exist. Because you know yourself, you know what you want to become, you know what you want to do, but you're so afraid of what people are going to say. And I think it has hurt us in a lot of ways because there are some people there who can help our society but they're so afraid. Like somebody said to me one time, not to take our time. Somebody said to me, it's like you're promoting divorce. I said, no, I'm not promoting divorce. I'm a happily divorced woman. It's a part of me. So I share it. How can I be promoting divorce? And so that's what some people, like some people have. You had a party with me. I won't come part of you. Yeah, <laughs> I know, right? We <laughs> We will. But you know, and that's what, and some people, that's why you see divorce is another thing that has affected our society. There are people who have great stories. There are people who have, have had successful divorces and they've been able to overcome it, but they're so afraid of the box that society has put that group of people in. So you don't want to even say, oh, divorce is a good thing because the people out there is like, divorce is like a curse. So I Thank think you. it has harmed our society a lot. It has helped us because people are so afraid of what the perception of others will be towards them. Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna go to Fatiga for a second. My brother Zeus Carter, they say something, and I want to infuse that a little bit. In Liberia, there is this inferiority complex that is literally crippling the society. So to the point where I, I've noticed where Liberia British mind will say, you know what, my government, I'm not even coming here because I don't want to spoil my name. And the very people in the country, it's hurting our country massively. But we are so taken aback to the point where we don't know ourselves. And our concept of the inferiority complex I'm talking about is hurting us to the point where everybody just want to live on this level of mediocrity. Anybody who rises above that, you're, you're scorned by your own people. Father God, how does that hurt or help us in any way? Or does that only hurt us? Well, it's nice to be back here, Dwalu. Uh, it has hurt us. Uh, it will continue to hurt us. Uh, Liberia have this conformist society where we just conform to certain norms. Uh, like I said, being on the grind, I have seen the first thing. It happened on the job. It happens to all the people. They say, you know, I can do it in Liberia. Look, Liberia, in Liberia, people believe that doing the right thing is for it. It's a white man thing. The right thing is just the right thing. It's not a white man thing. It's not a, a, a different society thing. It's just the right thing. But in Liberia, people think that doing the right thing is, is foreign because we have adapted this thing uh, to conform to our own way of doing things. It, it, it is hurting us, uh, uh, Dwalu. Uh, uh, in this town, people people talk about change, but they do not want change. Mm. Uh, uh, you can easily get hurt for doing the right thing uh than doing the wrong thing and i see that every day uh, i don't want to denigrate our society it just this culture on the ground and there is 
so much camaraderie within it. People know one another. It look, or people just do want to do the right thing. People can easily. Uh, it's hard. It's hard to say. One time, uh, President, we are. I don't think he found the right word to say the way he said it. He said we all related, so we can do nothing about certain, certain way he said it. And and in a sense, I think I think he was right. Or uh, not that he was right, but it, that's the mindset of a lot of people here. So it, it affects the way we 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 we, we dispense justice. It affects the way all aspect of our our, our life. Are you watching the time? Yeah, yeah, he's good. He's good. That intro, yeah, that intro, that intro. Yeah. Go intro. Well, watch the time, though. Yeah. So, you see, so, so, as I was saying, the 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 the, the it, it is affecting us. What we can do, look, we know the problem. I, I, if you, you just need to be on the ground for some time, we know the problem. But are we ready to find solution to these problems? Are we ready to to do something about it? Because in Liberia, friends don't fr tell friends the truth. People will see you going down here when everybody just fold their hand and watch you uh, 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 self-destruct. People are not looking people in the eyes and giving them that real honest advice and having that converse, honest conversation. Everybody want to be politically correct. Then my, my, my friend uh, 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 Stanton was saying yesterday, people squatted on people's property. They illegally squatted on people's property. This man spent hundreds of thousands, probably thousands of dollars to get this property. And someone said, hey, man, it's sorry for, look at the children. Look at how they look, it's sorry for, they put the people outside. You don't know that I may have family too. You don't know that I may have, that they could be living well off of, of a property. I have been a victim of it. There are so many stories like that, that the victims, the, 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 the victims become the, the, the target. And you know they they they, they attack almost the done. Ten seconds, brother. So so so, so Dwalu, that that is how it is. So how do you call him? So now I'm supposed to be the bad guy. I was looking at the comment on here. You evil, you heartless. But nobody cares. I'll give you one last story. Go there ahead. There was a that, that blew up in 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 on the highway. There. It's so sad. A, a group of young men vandalized this guy's truck that that that, that dropped. I listen to the entire country and, and, and I cringe that nobody could muster the courage to say that what was going on down there was robbery. And it ended in an unfortunate, and so many times we have seen it, but nobody dare say. The politicians, oh no, they were the fakers of all. They would cry, ooh, my people. Nobody. Why is it that we only had two police there? Why is it that people didn't call it? Thank you, sir. Dwalu well, is biased. Wait, 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 wait. Stanton, I'm coming to you. I got to say this. And nobody dare say anything. Yeah, Father God. Stanton, before I pass it over to you, I want you to chime me on this. Our society refuses to understand that a man's action has consequences, both punitively and compensatorily. Whenever that consequence comes exactly. in before them, we're supposed to feel sorry for them. Look, my people, no society has ever developed in the absence of a consequence of a man's action. When you say this, look, do you know why when Liberians come to America, they can follow the law? Liberians are not law breakers, by the way. It only in Liberia we break laws. Here, if Sam Jackson does something in New York City, he will be consequenced heavily. But we have to, you cannot feel sorry for a society that is longing to develop. That's history. That's not me. Stay tuned. You can come in, brother. I disagree with you. Okay, I totally disagree with you. Our country is country of traditions. Our country is country of cultural origin. Our country is country of native. Our country is country of yeah, culture. Yeah. Wait, 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 Bye. Bye. Leave the show today. Bye. Bye. Go. I'm not listening. Well, please, and I keep interrupting. I only get a 10 second to talk with the time. Exactly. I asked ask my many, many followers. <laughs> we have to kind of get into the feelings of uh, our Jose and Dwaru sitting there and say, Liberians are people of law. They can only do it. Listen. You know how many law breakers are getting in America? You know how to get away because of the political connection and the money? Let me say this to you, Mr. Dwalu. No, no, that is, is very difficult. Can somebody mute uh, uh, Fadiga, please? Can somebody mute him? We should have a on the show. 
You know what kind of big party? Oh, I forget. That means you're beating me, right? <laughs> <laughs> we should have some law and order on the show. There will be no way we win. Listen, Stanton Gay is fine. He can go ahead and reclaim his property. Listen, he went through a lot. My only argument, the government, this government, should have intervened. Try to relocate those people. Thousands of children, babies. The man want his land. The man want his property. But the government, at least. You know how this make Joe we are? It make Joe we are a hero. You can put politics into it. People begin to celebrate. You saw the video where a man said, Joe, we are sorry. Because Joe, we are kept them there. Though you didn't relocate them. Though he suffocated this standard gay man, but he gained political traction. And Samuel Jackson will defend me on this one because his president, President George Bernard Weir, played the card right and won sympathy and won empathy. Okay? And here we are, here we are today, saying it was okay. All I'm saying, the government should have approached Stanton Gay, gave us six to nine months, we just got into power. Let Nobody have say it's okay, Stanton. Don't say that. Nobody no, 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 no but, you, but, you, but you interrupted me. Nobody I say it's okay. Don't do that. I, I, I reclaim my time. I reclaim Please my time. I cannot be interrupted and let it go. I reclaim my time. Did your former president support lawlessness? I reclaim my time. I reclaim Don't my time. Let man finish your time today. I Thank beg you. you. <laughs> Thank you. I will not sit on the show and allow folks to interrupt me when I'm speaking because I am... A poor boy. Yeah, but you're eating today because you read it. I can't eat something that hot cassava gravy. The fish head with a lot of pepper. The beef fish head that was cassava fish. The gravy was all inside with the pepper. That's why I can't eat it. But let's move on, folks. Let's have a wonderful show. Let's keep Ava to the back because he came late. Let's keep him in the back for a few seconds. But let's have a wonderful show. Something is happening. Hmm? I am hearing from my sources that money, particularly in Liberia, money was missing. Something, few other continue that brought the money in the country. Some of them were MIA from the port. Yeah. I am hearing from my sources. And so some people say it will be nine continue. Some people say it will be 15. Which one it is? Thank God, Glenn, it goes so nobody can watch my time. Which one it is? The game that have been played and the game that sedition has continued to play, I have the document that have the receipt. I'm going to share the receipt with you guys about the money that came in. People are saying 15 continue. Other people are saying nine. If they receive nine or six, where the remaining continue? As of today, the government of the Republic of Liberia, this current government, have quarantined all container at the port and said nothing, no container should leave the port. From my sources, the president, Jose Yiman Bwaka, told his economic advisor, you go solve that problem, no container should leave the port. How can you request for 15, but it gets six and nine hanging around? Where's the other container of money? You remember, Joe, we had 16 billion? We are not stranger to these things. That one, we get a document. The next conversation here is, we'll be bringing in Bobby Livingstone to speak. He has agreed to come on the show about this appointment, this preferment. He went on a confirmation hearing, and somebody, the president just recalled. The president recalled. What's the president in this, right? Was it the right decision to recall Bobby Livingstone, Pay, Adama, and uh, Councilor Gu? We got that letter. They say, you know, just drop the name out. Wrote the letter to young Bikanga Lawrence. We'll discuss that one. The other thing from our sources, gracious, Finabono car issue. You know where we're all here now? Finabono car issue. All the car that asset recovery sees from Finabono company. They ask her one question and say, please bring your car document. 
how he entered the country. They gave her five days. Fina Bono still looking for those documents. And at three, report we showed that the car was donated from Japan. And Fina Bono changed all the car to Texas. And as of today, she can provide the document. Yes. The five days expired will be expiring no more. The five days will be expiring no more. A decision should be coming in concerning the turning position. And I think the government have agreed to take care of those that they don't want to work with. And those that will be campaigning, those that went for campaigning in their job, we are sued. They will not get paid, they will have to go home. It's not a decision yet, it's coming. But my sources are telling us. We got a lot of stuff happening in the country, folks. A lot of stuff happening in the country. Where are you? I'm here in New Jersey. We are the checkmate. And they speak the truth to the labyrinth people. I'm so happy to have that to Francine, special Chinaway Richardson, Mr. Atsun Dualu, Opa, and the people. Uh, the economist from LSE, Samuel P. Jackson. Uh, the associate's justice, the late genius daughter, Glendy JJ. The former deputy minister for commerce, the best friend that our own papa from EPA, Wilson Tappet, Jemima Cole, what you call it, and the mother of the mother of Samara Wodokoli. <laughs> uh, my brother that's still looking for a job and hope that President Baraka appoint him, Al Hassan, UJ Fadika. Amen. The corner, I remember great, shoot to kill, shoot on sight. Oh. <laughs> and I survive, the runaway oh. guy, the man that wrote a book against George Man and Weir. We want to say welcome to the Spoon Talk, folks. Oh, God. We are here. My man, get, get, get your own label. Label yourself to let people hear you. Label yourself. We are here to have fun. <laughs> we are here to get in the issues. We are here to discuss liberal business. We may not agree on everything. We may force with each other. But we want to tell you, liberal is all we have. Stay we will fight each other. Yes, sir. Every time you say Abba ran away, the only thing that can come to my mind that I saw a team pack. I have to get that. <laughs> we got our we got, we got picture. We got our picture. <laughs> but what I said to all of you, though, let me say this, and it's very, very important. Please share our program. Please invite your brothers and sisters. Can listen to Liberia's biggest premier program year that involves everybody, the good, the bad, and the ugly. You are all welcome. This is not my show. This is not the stand on what is my show. This is the Spoon Talk, the Liberian people own program. You come, you talk your own, I talk my own, we go in the back, we laugh. We have over 27 members in our chat room. Some folks appear, some folks, you know, they used to be with us, but we invite you. We invite you. Our chat room is very busy. We argue a lot, but we share important information. So I want to say you are welcome. We'll be taking your question from online. You can post your question when Bobby Livingstone come on. We get a news coming up that they have lifted the uh, the rubber. Oh, you, you, you were talking about that, Uncle Sam, the rubber issue that they have a moratorium on rubber, right? Monopoly on rubber. I don't understand. I don't want to be advocating. Don't get him the credit. No, the don't accept me. No, I didn't say he was advocating. I said he was speaking to that in the chat room. He and mommy was oh. going back and forth. Hey, you can have all the credit, madam. But again, the House of Representatives have lifted this thing up. They are not sending the letter to the president. Yeah, I know. I want to say this. I'm going to reserve that till I speak to that representative. If somebody won consider mounting to admit that he will not go after George Weir for them, then they will be able to fund the asset recovery. I don't think it's a good idea. We receive information about the one okay. consider mounting, climb mountain, the asset recovery, to promise them that he will not go after the former president. I know that is 
off, Alpha. I'm coming to you because I think this will make you so angry that you want to call him in the corner and say you have to promise us that you will not go after the president. And we'll, we'll phone you openly. So we will have that conversation. Folks, our first guest tonight will be Bobby Livingstone, uh, Councilor Bobby Livingstone, then we'll go into the conversation. But let's get the ball rolling. The first thing on the table, as you all said, I know I have spoken, I have not spoken. Conor Gray, have you given your intro? So Conor Gray, you go. Ava, is there any other person left out? No? All right, Conor Gray, you go, then we'll go to Ava. You know, um, ladies, uh, you know, Dr. Chinaway, you look great tonight. Uh, it looks like Liberia is, 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 uh, is doing well for you. And, yes, of, course, uh, and of course, we have uh, uh, Angie Mama. And stop pressing poor Maro one more. Glendy. Stop pressing poor Maro one more. Man, um, Jackson, don't be the little boy here. Be the, the grown up. Mama, yeah, man, but stop pressing. Ma'am, Jackson, if you interrupt him, we'll take a waste of your time. Uh, you can praise anybody, but I don't brag about my wife like you. Mom, oh, okay. Go yeah. ahead. You brag about everything. But here's the deal. If we're going to have to um, to make our country work for all of us, we have to bite the bullet. Um, if we don't bite the bullet like Ghana did, we're going to be this country that will just have this wishful thinking that it will be a paradise and will never happen. Because there are more hypocrites in our country than people who are really sincere to move that country forward. And those are the, those, those hypocrites are the ones we need to really flush, flush them down out of, uh, out of the system. Otherwise, generation in, generation out, we'll just be thinking wishfully that our country will be this paradise and will never happen. When I see Ambassador Boyka, you know, you know, watch, everybody is trying to position themselves for 2029. So anything you do, they will gang against him. Whether in the legislature, there are folks who there might maybe six or seven of them want to be president in 2029. Fast forward going to even the cabinet that we, that we have, there are individuals within there who want to be president. The only person probably that may not, may not have that intention because of, um, you know, because of age and time would be Ambassador Buakai. The person that will, that will take Liberia forward should not be looking to hold a second term in office. Get in, get out, sweep out, flush, move on, and then prepare the country, stabilize it in a way where you're not going to be care about what constituencies are saying, people are saying, so that because you're not looking for a second term. You can call me all the name you want, but that's how Ghana has become a beacon. That's how Rwanda moved on. Nobody cares for second term. Ambassador Buckeye, the only problem with him is too nice. When you're the president, take hold of the presidency, enjoy that imperial power given to you, stabilize the country, and move on. I will end here. Mr. Tupa. Hmm. Asifa, your turn. Oh, you're in. Do I know you in gear? Is it? Yeah. Hmm. Look. For me, I want to see the direction this government is going. That's that's the biggest thing for me. Provide some guidance. Correct some of these errors that are just easily correctable. Avoid some of the pitfalls that are happening. Try to show the people that you're on a path to rescue and not in fighting, trying to find your way or even trying to understand how government works. This was supposed to be the group that was supposed to hit the ground running. They have been there, done that. They had the experience. Whatever they supposedly you know, established was basically destroyed and demolished by the very incompetent 
previous government. So we all basically have accepted that, and that's why we say that Brian people rejected that previous government at the poll. So the focus now should be on how do we move forward? How do we build collaboration, partnership, cooperatives, whether domestic, international, with the diaspora? Those messages should be coming out, you know, clearly. Instead, we consistently get the leaks and they know who they can send it to because you receive it and you blast it so <laughs> it's coming and that's the fodder for the conversation but underlying all of that we need some substantive stuff to see how we can really build our country how we can liberalize our economy how we can you know have some control over our assets how we can limit illicit financial flows improve healthcare, improve education, because we know how messed up that whole sector is, whether it's from the students, whether it's from the teachers, whether it's the administrators, it's all problems. So, you know, hopefully we can consistently turn things to that. And then not forgetting our little thing, hopefully our meeting is this weekend, where we start really discussing how we can get the diaspora going. Jalu, you need to return some calls. Also, you know, really start talking. A lot of people are reaching out. People are really interested. Some people already got plans. Some people were thinking about something similar. So the greater we build this um, concentration, the higher the mobilization and the more thank impact you. we can have. Thank you. Thank, 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 thank you very much, Ava. And uh, yeah, it's on Duwalu now to, to make the adjustment uh, with this issue. But we'll discuss it in the back. We'll discuss it in our in our chat room, uh, uh, very, very interesting. Folks, I can tell you folks that in that chat room, responsible people, uh, ministers, directors, some of them in the chat room, uh, prominent individual that contributing greatly to the discussion. So uh, we're gonna rotate. We have nine on set, Mama is in the back. We're gonna be in and out. As we get to the issue, we are still waiting for Bobby Livingstone, the counselor, to come on the show. Uh, everyone has spoken, right? Can we just get into it now? Thank you. So the first thing here is that this letter that came out today, this letter, folks, we can read the letter. The letter to Yombly Kanga Lawrence, uh, Senator Pro Tem Kanga Lawrence, President Pro Temper of the Liberia Senate Capital Building, Moravia, Liberia. It was yesterday. It came out. It was right on the floor today, Madam President Pro Terror. I hereby withdraw the below nominations. Councillor Lafayette B. Gu, uh, Adana S. Pay, Councillor Bobby Livingstone, uh, Mr. Joseph Cooper. The letter is all over. They have been shared to everyone. Uh, I would appreciate it you to accord this your prompt attention and consideration. Can't regard. Jose Yimabwaka, Senior President, Republic of Liberia. Let's hear you out, Dualu. Senator, the first thing I'm going to say is nobody favors the demolition of anybody's property. We want it done properly on the law, but we also have to consider that a lot of people are hurt. The government should mitigate that process. But I want to say this with these recalls. I'm not going to say much. I'm going to say this to the administration. Get it right. Get it right and do it the first time. That's what I'm going to say, Stanton. Uh, thank you. Andrew Mama, let's come to you. On this recall, you have seen the letter. You read the letter. What's your take? For me, I, I don't see the reason why the government would take the time to vet these people and then turn around and disgrace them. Why would it appoint these people and then turn around and say that they were withdrawing the nomination? I think I think everybody have the right to serve as as Liberian. We have to make this country great. And if you appoint these people, they either the president didn't know about it, maybe somebody did a job and maybe the president didn't know about it or something, but the president that I know, he will not appoint you a fixed 
his signature and then withdraw it. There got to be something that is happening. Like I said, somebody has to be in control. The president needs to appoint somebody who will be in total control with briefing on everything, briefing on everything day by day, meaning by meaning, so that you can know exactly what happening because we don't want this government to, to resemble. I don't even want it to come close to CDC government. So they need to really, really put things in perspective. And with joining the people name, I think is 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 really disheartening. I don't think it's the right thing to do after you have appointed them. But like I said, maybe, maybe the president didn't have any idea of those people that he appointed. Maybe. very much Andrew Mama, Dr. Richardson, uh, this letter. So um, I've been wanting to give this government grace, um, but it is becoming a pattern that every other week we see there's problems with nominations and appointments. So I'm beginning to wonder uh, why, why is this happening? This is an embarrassment to the government. This is an embarrassment to the government. So the person who's in the president's office that is, you know, embarrassing him, this should be let go as of yesterday. I'm not even sure why that person who's making these errors should be there or persons if there are many. So I, I'm just concerned that uh, this government, I believe it was Fadiga who said yesterday as I was listening, you know, when a government comes into place, you have you should have your government already formed possible people that's proactiveness but if i'm seeing that there's a lack of being proactive and we are just doing a feel good fly by the moment that is not the strategy for a government to work especially from whence we come as liberian people especially from coming from a cdc government and words on the street like the cdc government have taken all the furniture and everything so we are in deep we are in deeper hole okay this is not a regular transition process. So please, Mr. President, and if you, your staff, if you're listening, it's time to fire the president who will be embarrassing you. Take friendship apart of it for it. Take I know you apart from it because this is an embarrassment. That's all I have to say. All right, before I go to Sam Jackson, Uncle Sam, and your mama, can you ask the producer to sit on the producer's seat that we can take away your space and bring in someone from the back? Uh, he stayed there, though, but let me just give you his seat that you can be on that camera. It will help us, you know, with one individual comment on. Uh, Dama know what I'm saying, all right? So if he's hearing me, he will do it for you for us to create a room for someone to come in. You can only take 10. So um, I will just put it in the back real quick while he make that changes for me to bring in either Mame or the guests that are coming on tonight. He's not here. He's not there yet? Okay. So when he gets there, let me know, yeah? Please. Because his, his seat in the back here is empty. If you sit there, I will be able to bring someone else in. All right. So let me know. Let me say something again real quick, guys. Yesterday, we were with a story. You remember we talked about the National Bureau of Concession, NBC, about the gentleman having his letter, and uh, his letter was rejected uh, yesterday. Today, we can announce his letter after the president was informed of the situation, the Senate representative, and that situation got resolved. The gentleman got his job. Really? Okay. This is big. We ran with the story yesterday. The gentleman's name is Kamara. He was to appear on the show today, but because it is resolved, he's not coming on. Kamara is not coming out. He said, I am so grateful for Spoon Network effort yesterday. This morning, I received representative from the executive mansion and the assistant minister from Minister of State who probed into the issue because of Spoon TV show last night. The president, His Excellency Joseph Yuman Barker, got concerned over the matter as to why and what is happening because he wasn't aware. It's in line with what we are talking about. Yes. Okay. The way. president 
And what is happening because he wasn't aware of my letter being denied or withdrawn and no point in time, he instructed anyone to do it. The person wasn't aware that this gentleman was just out on the field oh, while his letter was denied. Yes. But he was able to explain everything. And the director general apologized to him and immediately sent a copy of his appointment letter to HR. So uh, sometimes we flag this issue, Duaro, because again, people put that barricade around the president. Yeah. So currently, we have been working and able to do the, the process through HR. Yeah, that this was going to go on the water. Yes. If we never ever going to talk about it yesterday. Yeah. They apologized to Mr. Kamara. Mr. Kamara now, he has started working. I mean, be proud of yourself. We are not here to destroy anyone, but we're here to push the people's issue. Yes. Mr. Samuel Jackson. Okay, for, thank, thank you very much. Okay, hello to everybody. Look, I just want like 30 seconds on the land issue. Uh, my family, my second cousin and her, and her husband, been living in that area for like ooh, most of her life, and she got that land about 15, 20 years ago. That issue there is very, it's a little bit more complicated than it's, than it's been told. Uh, a court awarded that same property to the Kia Zulus. And they told the people who were squatting to buy the land from the Kia Zulus. They paid monies to the Kia Zulu. Now the court overturned that and they gave it to Mr. Gay. So that's, that's something that I, I want you to like uh, look into and it is, it's going to come up. But look, the issue of the, the missteps in this administration doesn't surprise me. It is symptomatic of the lack of capacity in the country. The other thing it's symptomatic of is people who are, I mean, past their prime to deliver any good thing, they want to come back and be involved in leadership position. Like, I'm 70. I can't, I got to get up three or four times a night to go to the bathroom. I don't want to, I can't wake up at 4, 10 o'clock in the morning. Before I go wake up at 6 o'clock, go to an office at 8 and leave at 9 o'clock. I'm not, I'm not going to be able to function. But septuagenarians and octogenarians who've been involved with the political economy, and the political economy is at, this, is at the place where it is, because of the performance of those people. If the, that's the performance of those people, to bring those same people back, you're going to get the same result. And Einstein said it very, 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 very rationally. You know, uh, doing the same thing over and over is a definition of, of insanity. You know, when you talk about a rescue train, you need fresh minds, fresh ideas, people with adrenaline, people with passion, people with patriotism, and people who have not been there before. You, you, can, you can't say these people bring in expert knowledge or knowledge. Their knowledge did not create anything that you can be proud of. You can't. You can't. And I'm not going to call the names because those are people that from my generation, I know them very well, you know, and these people, I mean, uh, their performance called Liberia to be, uh, or what this is really, uh, this fragile, poor country, the, one of the least developed in the world. You can't bring these people back to a leadership position and expect them to perform at any efficient level. They are totally incapable of it. Nine letters withdrawn. Withdrawal of nominee, people, a, a nominee who sat before the Senate yesterday, withdrawn, that's not even a mistake. It is a disaster in the making. And if you guys don't change that, you who fought and struggled to get this rescue train in the presidency, it will be hijacked and like every single revolution in Liberia. Samuel Doe, 
Charles Taylor, Ellen, is all hijacked by people in the political economy that should, have, should not have been there. Should have wiped the slate clean, brought in brand new people. But if you want to do political accommodation and keep them with the ineffectiveness, a year from now, we'll be talking about the same thing about the inefficiency. That's my position. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Jackson. Uh, Lenny, you want to come in? We're going to monitor the monitor. Oh, buddy. Hmm. <laughs> so I think I think we talked a little bit about it yesterday. What is concerning is um, I don't know who has the president ears, who's talking to him, who's telling him these things. So if if the yesterday show was able to claim his attention to make right to Mr. Kamara, then it means that to, I hope that it will claim his attention on all these other mishaps. I mean, because this is the, the way they're proceeding is still still not right. And we continue to say this over and over and over again. Then you can flip it on to Sylvester Grispe. Whose interest is he in? Because if you are the minister of state, and these things are happening, why has it not claimed your attention if you're not a part of it to fix it? I mean, to have people go to hearing, which I think is the prerogative of the president to nominate and withdraw, but it's just so embarrassing. You had, I watched, I watched uh, uh, Livingstone's uh, uh, confirmation hearing yesterday. And to say, okay, today we're pulling him back and, and because it was incorrect, this is, this is not right. It's so wrong that this that we're proceeding this way. And so who who is really talking to the president? Who is really in control? You almost want to, I hate to agree with Mr. Jackson, but it's almost like some of the things he's saying is, is right. It's like no one's in the lead. Who's leading this this this, this train? This is this is not right to be doing this to, to, to people who you, you say you have this position and then you take the position away from them. Something needs to occur quickly. It needs to be fixed. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, thank you very much, Angie Mama. You're in the right place. My brother is look like the eclipse that about to happen on Monday. You are bringing it on early, uh, Paul Kennedy. Something burning, something frying over your head. And I don't know what's going on with you. <laughs> <laughs> something steaming. All right, something steaming. I'm trying, with you, to be, I'm, trying, I'm trying to be technologically savvy, but it's not working well. Maybe I need to consult somebody, you know, to get it done well. Yeah, so go back and move, come move, back. Because move the green screen. Move the green screen. Just come back. Let me. Okay. Work, 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 yeah, yeah, just work on it and come back. All right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the thing giving you triple open teeth. I don't know what one that. All right. So let's go ahead, folks. Let's go ahead. We're going to come down to uh, for, for Dika, though. It, it is important for us to know. Let me just add this there. I think President Weah made an opportunity here. During President Weah's we time, people say, oh, man, don't worry about going on spoon. Don't worry about going over there. Don't, no, don't worry. You know, it's not like that. But I think the folks at the executive mansion and those that are around the president begin to call his attention on these things. And I think what, what's happening is that at the end of the day, as if are you talking to us? All right, we're going to put you in the back for a little bit. Uh, what's happening here, Fadiga? We can also say today, the president, he was in a discussion about the black sand. I just want you to add them together. Like he listened now to what is happening outside. President Joseph Baca began turning to be a different president. He gave it ears to the day-to-day -day activities. And they stopped the Black Sand operation. Did you hear it? They heard everything. They stopped the operation of Black Sand. The president was on lunch. He was so angry when people were giving him this information as he followed through. So now incorporate that you're going to have a president that is listening to the people call and coming with swift intervention. Let's start this with you. Uh, Jose. Uh, I, I do agree with that. Uh, I think the president need a, 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 either a social media czar or somebody in that place there that will keep it. Look, power is like being in an aircraft and the harder you go up, 
things on the ground become smaller. You the, the, Right now, all the information going to the president are filtered. There's this words that people have put there now. There's this ring. It's, it's, it's not unique to this president. So I think he needs a specific person or department or whatever within the Ministry of State that would give him, bring him closer to his people. That what happened to President Weir. He he lost touch with his people very early on, and 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 by the time he realized it, he was he was very unpopular. This president got to have the mandate of the Liberian people. He's very popular. The people are waiting to give him some time, but I think he needs to keep his his. his uh, keep listening to his people. Keep getting listening to the local channel. Uh, I know they listen to they, they read the newspaper or uh, the local daily. But I think he needs to focus on 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 you know uh, keep be in tune to what is going on 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 social media on a lot of the stuff. Uh, specifically to 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 the first question um, uh, about the, the appointment. Look, it sound weird. It, it sound ugly. It sound bad. That, that names were called. I, I don't want to be in that position. It's, it's, it's a horrible thing. But uh, in as much as we want to pin this bad picture that Samuel Jackson and 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 and, 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 and Blamado, not Blamado, but how they call this guy, Isaac Do, uh, want to make this thing. I want us to judge this president based on policy, based on things that he going to do within the next year or hundred days. We want to know uh, judging based on deliverables. No, uh, it is he's still within his realm. He's still within his scope of duty to hire and fire. He's still within his uh, within his, his his scope to 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 nominate and and and, and, and recall. Uh, those are not normal. I don't see him pressure on anybody right yet. I don't see anything abnormal yet. It looks weird. It sound bad for those people. Uh, 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 so people may feel something, but I want us to actually judge this president based on deliverables. And we're going to be watching that. I want you to watch that. So in as much as people want to paint this gloomy picture, I have to say, oh, yeah, he's incompetent. No, the word incompetent cannot be associated with this president. And I want us to stop this false comparison that, uh, oh, yeah, and, 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 and the seditions are Keep looking for got you moment. Oh, you see how we got you? <laughs> he nominated. No. Grown folks are governing now. We have returned our state to responsible governance. This is what we are seeing. It will take time. It will take patience. But at the end of the day, we are going to deliver. And that is what Thank you. Doing. Thank you. Thank you, Fadiga. Thank you. Can I agree? You want to come in? Well, normally when, when we speak like Padiga and then they say uh, we've joined the unity party or one 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 job. Either way, um, the wings will, 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 will take us higher. Uh, the thing about this is that I, I see some some goodwill from President Buckeye. Uh, otherwise, it will, it will be tone deaf. But he's a guy who is listening. And that's the number one virtue I look for in a president, in any leader, uh, because you're not an octopus to have multiple eyes on you. There are so many things that will go on in the shadow, but I think the president is also savvy in some sense that uh, he tuned into uh, social media, more so spoon. And, and if you don't, if, if, if it continues that way to, to keep on tuning the spoon, so many things he will get to hear and he will make the adjustment. That's how modern president lead. Kagami is on social media. He has his own handle. So many other presidents that I know. And uh, President Barkai knows that there, there'll be folks around with contending interests, but he comes out and, and, and tunes in to see what the people are, are thinking. And he makes the adjustment. And I gave him kudos for that. Um, would he get it right or spot on all the time? No, there are time there will be some delay. But at least he will have something to work with, contending issue. What they are telling him as advisors, what he's seeing on, on the public domain, he will weigh the two. And he's a rational man. And, and based on that, these smaller 
um, mistakes that are coming out, you know, we've joined the names of people. Are the ones probably he, he's noticing now that those he did not sanction himself to lead have been scuffled on the, on the list and he goes and say, no, I didn't put this there. Who is here anyway? And, and President Baca is the kind of guy where you call a president and we say, who is this guy? You know, he goes in, recuses himself in the back and try to understand who is this guy. And, and, and based on that, these kinds of things will happen. But you don't blame him for that. You blame those who are trying to 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 track the moment and and then put their their interests above his own interests, and that's that's how a president supposed to. You take a decision. The smaller shame is to recall the person. The bigger shame is to wait one year later. You try to recall the person, you know, because you don't want to make it seem like you are this straight guy. You know what you're doing. But I think President Buckeye. You know, kudos to him. But yesterday I spoke with a guy about the land issue. He said, you know, Dr. Whatever he is, um, said he bought his land in 1987. That's how far this conflict has have gone. And, um, you know, maybe some point I'll, I'll bring him on my phone so he can give a, a one or two minute expose on, on, that, on that land issue. But this is a long, it goes way back. Are you talking about Stanton, Stanton Gay? Yes, Stanton no, Gay. He wasn't for the, the his lawyer to come along with him. No, no, so it was just Stanton Gay. The guy who spoke to me bought his land 1987. There. Okay. From, from, from somebody else, you know. And All he right. said uh, this issue has been going on for a long time. Thank you. Let me bring in uh, uh the, the Buffalo Board, Abula Mame. Yeah, I will chip in on the land issue. I mean. Good, good evening or good night to everybody on the show and the people who always show up to follow the conversation. I will start on the land issue. Mommy, I beg you. I'm going to put two people in the back to bring Ava and uh, oh. then we'll bring you back on, please. Ava and uh, Paul Kennedy to speak on this issue. Thank you, Glennie. Thank you, uh, Dr. Richardson. Okay. So, as I was saying, Cases go to court, judges come up with decision. That decision is final. But like I said yesterday, leadership can intervene, not to undo the ruling of the court, but to reduce the social impact of the enforcement of the ruling. And that's where representation also comes in. Who is the representative of that district? How are you representing your people in this case? Yes, the court said the man owns the land. He's entitled to his land. He's supposed to demolish the furniture, the, the infrastructure there, and take ownership of the land. As a representative, what are you doing to work with the executive and call him to the table and say, yes, this is your land. Can you give our people 30 days or 60 days so we'll find a way to move some of their materials from the house before you can demolish that is the rule of a representative i don't see that happening in this case who is that representative how are you representing your people how are you taking their plights at this critical point to national attention and say let's dialogue not to change the code ruling but to just reduce the social impact of the enforcement who is that representative that question need to be asked. But on the on the list, I mean the add and drop that we keep experiencing, like I said yesterday, is not a mistake. Maybe the first time it happened was a mistake. The consistency continue to tell us that there is no mistake happening. What is happening in the executive mansion is that there are inklets of power with different interests fighting each other. If you are in good books with one of those enclaves, especially the one responsible to put your name on the list, that's fine, your name will get on the list. If you are not in good book with the one that's responsible to announce your name, you will receive a letter from the president, your name will not be announced. If you're in good book with the one who can announce your name, but not in good book with the one who can send your name to the Senate, 
They will announce your name, but your name will not go to the Senate. And in that process, once those different enclaves are fighting, names are being changed. The president needs to take charge. You can dismiss Grace today. Let's look at it too. Everybody has been talking about Grace Pierre. Let's look at it. It said that people who are in the executive mansion do not want to accept the authority of Grace Pierre. He said that they feel he did not campaign with them. So for that reason, he doesn't have, he should not have such an authority to direct the office of the press, to direct the presidency. So on that basis, they don't want to take instructions. They don't want to follow his lead. If that is the problem, then it falls back on the president's lap. He should be able to tell the people, this is the person I trust and believe to be my minister of state. And you should work with him. If you have genuine concerns, bring those concerns that talk about it. And if you're not convinced that those concerns should take the man off the position, then you go and work with him or you pack and leave. The president needs to take charge. And if the president, people, majority telling him that, oh no, Grace Bay is not good to be here, and they're convincing that Grace Bay is not good to be there, Mr. President, you need to listen to your people. But everything comes back to you, take charge. If people are just not wanting to work with Grace Pitt, they don't want to follow his lead, they don't want to take his authority and instruction, then get involved and set the condition under which the office can be conducted in a more professional manner. Everything falls to the president. Thank you very much, Mame. Thanks. Let me bring in Asido. We'll go to Ava Toba and Mr. Paul Kennedy. That we can wrap on this issue. We got a lot of I have stuff. I've not spoken on it yet, so. You have not spoken on it? Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I told you were the first. All right, Mama. Uh, I said, if I go ahead. I think you spoke That's on it. it. Said, I think, Dado, you spoke on it. And you said that you would, you would encourage Dado, hold on now. Because I, I'm trying to re re rewind this thing. I came to you first, right? Correct. Thank you. You just got re-energized, but you spoke. <laughs> go ahead, Asido. Asido, go ahead. Oh, I said I like today. You're looking all right. Yeah, the uh, Remy Gray sent me something about life. Thank you, Remy. Remy. I appreciate it. Right. So, hi to our people. It's nice to be back here again, um, always. Uh, but before I go on to my part, um, when I left the show yesterday, for some reason, after the show, I received five calls from people, two from Liberia and three from outside of Liberia. And all of them spoke of the same thing, that when I left, uh, Remy was, was saying a lot about me, questioning my intelligence, my reasoning and stuff. And I, don't, I really didn't listen to it. I don't know why, why, why was it. But Remy, let's not do that. I just want to put you on notice because I will I will give you the change the next time. So let me let me let me go to what is important. I know I was listening to you. You talked about the issue of the of the land uh, where uh, those people were evicted from a uh, few days ago, um, and also this you know and drop from the University of Liberia into government. I get tired talking about it anyway because it's embarrassing. So let me start off with the land issue. This is where leadership comes in. I know in 2024, uh, the responsibility is everybody else besides President Barker. From 2020, 2018 to 2023, all of the things that happened in Liberia was President Weah. Even when car is going to red light and a tire jump from under the feet, it was President Weah. In 2024, it's everybody else besides President Barker. But you know, leadership is important. And I know my brother, my uh, mommy, talks about some eclipse of power around the president. And I begin to wonder, is it only President Wakai that this eclipse of power belongs to? Liberia was founded plenty of years ago, 100 and plenty of years. What we are seeing has never been. So all of this eclipse of power was waiting until President Wakai became president. Now let's go back memory lane can and see how Isaac, can you, Isaac, can you please say that word? I don't, I, I didn't hear my man. Eclipse? What is Enclave. 
I don't understand it. Word. Word. I'm not, yeah, you, yeah, you understand it. Go back and rewind it. You will understand it. Leave the man with it. I don't know. What Uncle of a talk about. I'm not sure what it is. But again, my question was: Is it only President Barker? Let's walk down memory lane. Let's start from most recent. The CPP. The CPP was on the strongest political establishment battling us. Honor Senator Yombi Kanga, there were problems the CPP held together. Honor Mr. Yu, there were problems the CPP held together. Honor Mr. Cummings, there were problems the CPP held together. Honor Mr. Mwaika, the CPP collapsed. Somebody want to think about that. Just think about it. Take your time. Let's go one step further again. The United Party 20, 2017. President Sirleaf was expelled from the United Party the same day she was celebrating her birthday. What leader who do that to your former stand-up bearer, the person who gave face to your party? Let's go back a little bit as vice president. After 12 years, President White told us he was packed in a garage. He couldn't move, meaning he was he failed. Stanley, you still can't when we go it. back a little bit, when we go back a little bit, the late million rights project, he failed. Let's go back again. As Minister of Agriculture, you cannot go anywhere in Liberia right now today and see one thing with your eyes that people can say, you see this thing that here, it was when President Baka was Minister of Agriculture, this, this thing, you can see it now. I challenge anybody to show me anywhere where I can go and find something. Even when I want small steak, boom, that's somewhere because of his big leadership. This comes to tell you that the, the dream land, that fantastic thinking, that something different is going to happen today is a life of a senior reader. Thank you, Isaac. Now, yeah, T.O., let me, let me, let me take uh, five minutes, 10 seconds. Yeah, just real quick now, because your three minutes is up. Uh, and I think your internet just interrupted you. I hope you can come back and take that 10 seconds real quick before we go to Isaac. Bye. All right. So, folks, everybody has three minutes to speak on the issue because we have so many topics today. Please let just be respectful of others that they need to speak as well. Have a two by place. Nobody should say anything. Let him. No, Ava, Ava, you're muted, man. <laughs> Stand up, you always be muting me. They, they got a trouble there, man. <laughs> You are mute too now. You are mute. You mute yourself. You mute yourself. I said, don't use it. Dial up internet. <laughs> All right. So, look, a lot of times it's just natural for people to protect president. Most of we are telling you it was the people around we are. People hardly blame we are. Oh, we are all right. We are doing this well. It's the people around we are. So, for him to say from day one, people were blaming we are, that is incorrect. But I always hold the leader responsible because it starts with leadership. It starts with leadership. We can't do anything if we don't have a good leader. And if anything mommy is saying is true, I mean, I suspect it myself, but I don't know. But if that's how the roles of leading around the president is passed out with nobody controlling the entire chain or nobody got oversight on that chain and Boyka himself is not controlling it, that's a major problem. Problem. That means what we're seeing now is just a joke. A year from now, that means things will be extremely worse than what they are now. So for those who love President Boyga, they need to talk to him and give him examples of these things. There's enough evidence for him to take action and to get control of the executive mansion. He is the president. Nobody else is the president of this country. There's only one individual. That's President Joseph Boyka. And it starts with him and it ends with him. It's not about playing game. It's about performance. 
we're expecting to be the president to lead. And he got to define his style of, of the presidency right now. Nobody clear whether he's going to be, um, you know, because he got imperial power. We have an imperial presidency. I don't care what we say. We don't know whether he's going to use that imperial president to change this country, that imperial presidency to change this country, or whether he's going to use it for the benefit of those around him and not control them. You know, he got to have control. It's very important for the country to move forward, you know. But... In terms of, you know, Sylvester Grisby, the, you know, Minister of State, um, I think it's about time he says something. He has that ministry. And a lot of things have gone wrong. You know, a lot of misunderstanding have come out of there. I mean, I don't know how many people were withdrawn on, a, you know, um, George Weah, but this sounds like a record to me in terms of the number. And some of these people are people who they communicated with. They call the people, come work with us. And then the person come, and then the whole thing is shifted around the appointment. They got to be chasing. Because somebody was telling me, I don't know for a fact, but somebody was telling me, because what's his name? Uh, Gu did his job with uh, uh, the, what the, what the court case that I think he was one of the prosecutors. We uh, see first. Tim Serena Sifos? No, 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 that's the Global Mususka court case. All right, I'll say wrap up then. Yes, Global Mususka. I think he was one of the prosecutors. He was just doing his job. You know, and for people to hold out against him because he was a strong United Party person, I don't think that's fair to the country if this guy is a performer and he can execute. Thank you. Oh, when he worked, when he worked with no my three minute finish, your chief. No, when he no, finish with, or look at look in the chat room or your sister say finish. Let oh, me say finish. Give it the invisible time keeper. <laughs> okay. she, yeah, she in the she in the chat room now. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right. right. She will come back. <laughs> Paul Kennedy. Yeah, thank you, CEO. Can you all hear me? You're good, Paul. Yeah, good evening to everyone. Um, all of the viewers and uh, one of my famous uh, commentators used to say, all of the listeners in Radio Land, I, I'm really grateful to have this platform to be able to reach out to you. The issues that have been discussed here the past few days have been really fascinating and I see it as highly contributory to the forward march of our country. Um, I'm glad to have heard tonight that after having some deliberation on the list of, of appointments that were made, uh, the president of Liberia actually has some consideration to with call or withdraw uh, some of the people who were in there. That means the president is listening. You know, people only estimate a lot of time the power of social media, but I saw what social media, how much influence it had in they just ended elections in Liberia. And I'm really glad that Liberians now have a voice in, in, in our leadership. So um, the, if the president is somebody who will continue doing, uh, or pushing for the, the, the best of the Liberian people, uh, he will have to be able to listen around. Uh, it's not every noise you hear you pick up, but you're listening to it. You see how you can best adjust the current situation to with it and then move forward. Because he has a challenge on his hands. Uh, you know, like uh, I think uh, Mami said or someone before me, uh, there are a lot of people in government who are there to self-seek their interests. Now, they do it and will have the ability to get away if the leader does not have a, you know, inclination to be able to move on those actions to, to seize them. Um, but, you know, for me, I think it's too early for us to start calling it a mistake, a, you know, a, a bad thing and whatsoever. Uh, I believe that there are challenges. And at this time, everyone in government, including the president, is still trying to get his steps right. And that will come with some slippage. That will come with, you know, some fallback. Where I will begin to really speak loud 
uh, on issues for this president to hear is when in, in the instance where he will be playing deaf ear and the thing becomes really rampant to the extent that it affects the functionality of the country. So at, at this point in time, I will really want to congratulate him on his swift action taken, uh, but also want to encourage all of the social media platform, including the big one we are sitting on, to you know continue to speak and advocate on behalf of the Liberian people. Because sometimes the president don't know these things are happening, you know. But the fact that we are able to reach out through these means and you know, to a certain extent he has listened, I, I, I just want to be grateful. The second issue I would like to strike is the land thing that is happening around Catholic Junction. Uh, my heart goes out to those who are affected. Um, it is given that the land, I'm told, is legitimately owned by someone. And we had a squatter situation uh, where people went, some of them been sitting on there for 30 years. I just, oh, pulled, a copy, I just pulled a copy of the land right out in the chat room. Uh, we'll review it and then we'll make further comments uh, as far as whose side we are on going forward. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much, guys. I want to say thank you for respecting the given term and thanks to Lenny. You know, she's very forceful. Um, when we get to the next conversation, uh, we'll bring Benny and Dr. Richardson in for us to talk about the other issue now. We do rapid crossfire on this ten, uh, position thing. Yes, my take. Bobby Livingstone so was to be coming on. The internet gave him serious problem. This is exactly what he wanted me to read, and this is exactly what he intended to say. It is a prerogative of the president to appoint and withdraw. As a matter of fact, I want me to flag it, so let me upload it, and I will not be reading it as if to say I'm reading for my sir. So let me upload this. Dualu, you were asking for the extra time. Take 30 seconds while I upload this, sir. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. And I want to say this. The president does not have an option regarding social media. He must appoint a social media czar that reports to him, as Father got mentioned in the beginning, even if it's daily, something must be said. Social media is a powerful tool. And I want to say this. I know my brother member mentioned the issue of enclave. If there is an enclave that is stifling the president's uh, agenda, that enclave must be dismantled immediately because it's not helping the government. And I want to say this to my brother, as though I know we all make this mistake, but you got to refer to President Boyka as President Boyka. I know this, you only say in Boyka, but you say in President We are for the consistency and the respect of the Liberian people, it's President Boyka. We all make that mistake, but I see you consistently just in Boyka, Boyka, Boyka. It's President Boyka. This is for the people of the Republic. But look, Honorable Boyka, you have a Responsibility is an awesome responsibility. At the end of the day, the population of the country will say, Honorable Boyka did this. It is your name that is going to be called. You have to protect that legacy. Sir. We're not here to appease anybody. You have to take decisions to protect this republic. And Stanton, thank you for the 30 seconds, sir. Again, thank you very much, uh, Dwaru. Thank you. Let me flag exactly what uh, Councillor Bobby Livingstone. He intended to say on spoon tonight. Uh, there you have it. He asked me if I can please flag it at the appropriate time when his internet is up and ready. He will appear on spoon. It is the prerogative of the president to appoint and to withdraw, and he has exercised that authority. I want to hope we can do more to prevent some of the naming and calling back. It can be embarrassing. I support GMB, and this is our government, regardless of having an appointment or not. I have great friends in the government, and we have the whole five years and some months ahead of us. I will continue to support the GMB government, even if I work in the private sector. 10 second, folks. I will just have only three individuals responding to this. One will be Uncle Sam Jackson and Jimama, and then we will bring in Mame. Uncle Sam, it's up. Yeah. What do you think, Uncle Sam? So, so, so basically, it is the Liberian thing to, to want to get along, you know, don't show anger. Maybe they will feel sorry for you. They will give you another job. So just be nice and sweet. That's a Liberian way. That's a Liberian way. He got no courage. Yeah, He should be righteously indignated that such was done to him. But he should say in a respectful manner. But I say, oh, it's okay. 
I said, I put out a call, man. Everything will be okay. Said, come on, God. Come on. This is a complete disrespect to you. Thank you, Augustine. And embarrassment to you. And you come on. You can't be a man to say this was wrong. This was wrong. It shouldn't happen again. And you try to, like, be sick of Fenton because you're looking for another job. Come on, man. This is. Thank you, Augustine. Thanks, 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 thanks for your contribution. Aunt your mama. This time around, I agree with Uncle Sam. You know, that's what got Liberia down today. If you love Stanton Peabody, tell him the truth. If you love Enter your mama, you tell her the truth. This is what got Liberia down, down today. All the countries around us have developed in their mind, in their thinking, in the way they do things. And Liberians, I don't understand why they always being on the periphery. They will never come and say the truth of how they feel. And you will try to say the truth when they say you full of problem. You are too harsh or you something. What happened to these names, these names that they recall? I feel that the president doesn't know about it. And I said it before. Somebody there, like we're saying, using the power to do what they want to do. And I'm advising the president, JMB, to get somebody who will brief him on every activities, on everything, every letter that goes out. The president needs to see it. He needs to see it. And he needs to actually, you know, put the hands on. So Livingstone cannot come and sit down and say, I supported the government. And you know, something like one I, I, I really don't know what to say because this is totally wrong. We know that you are hurt. We all sit there, we feel bad about the situation that is happening to you and other people. We want to curtail that. We don't want it to happen anymore. So we're not going to come here and, and pour icing on the cake. There is no icing around here for me to pour on any cake. So the only thing I'm saying to the president, Whosoever around you that are using different different powers, we need to curtail that one power, and that power that belongs to Joseph Parker. So whoever doing that, they must stop because it's totally wrong. Uh, okay, so let, let me make that correction before Mom makes him in. Um, the president is fully aware. The president wrote the letter, and the president signed the letter. For also think that the withdrawal was in the president note. I can say for 150 percent, the president approved this letter. We should be on the record. It wasn't done by anyone. Uh, yes, indeed, advisor came around, but the withdrawal of those four names, it was uh, it, it met the approval of the president, and he signed it. So let's just let's just correct that, Mommy. Well, I have no proof. No, I mean, I'm not going to give you more than what I just told you, but I'm telling you because it's the fact that, I, I, I mean, I, I'm in the executive mansion and the president approved. Can, can I ask you a quick question, sent, answer? The, pres quick the president question, approved answer? the letter that was sent to the protest. Can I ask you a quick that. question? Yes, Uncle Sam, before we move don't on. You think, don't you think the president of the Republic of Liberia owes Mr. Bobby Livingstone an explanation or a supporters an explanation for making a nomination and somebody goes and said to the Senate, he withdraws that and we don't get an explanation because they said the president has the power to appoint his, his, his prerogative. Eh? You don't do that in a political economy. In a so you asked so you a question, question and you make a, you a, 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 a question and you make a statement. Happen. So, huh? so Uncle Sam, Uncle Sam, Uncle Sam, again, let me put this up and I think what Bobby Livingstone said was correct. It is the prerogative of the president to appoint and to withdraw. Okay? It is no, prerogative. No, 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 no hold on, Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam, when I, I think you put a question on the floor. Yeah. You can disagree with this here. You and your, 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 your nephew as they do. That's fine. But I don't think the president owed them. And they know. I spoke to Bobby. I spoke to Councillor Gu. Councillor Gu puts that something up. And we're going to share it too. I just put it in the chat room. 
regardless you say the president need to call the attorney and give them reason why he would join the appointment i don't think that's the argument now we can talk about why the president would do the argument we can talk about the political impact this is going to have what reddit brought about this and everybody know it was because like as if i said the global muslim scott case which is 75 percent we know that it's nothing hating the accusation that this man that was prosecuting global muslim scott walked away with some hundreds of thousands of dollars illegally we know that so have that argument as an opposition but the city president should sit across the table and say, Sam Jassy, I'm not appointing you no more because of X, Y, and Z. Uh, I think some of the advisors that brought these people name out that reached out to these guys should explain to them, but not the president. Mame, can you close this argument and then we move on? Yeah, I mean, the argument is closed. Not to waste time, we can move on. The president needs to take charge and ensure that, you know, those people who undermine his decision by what means they're doing it they can stop i gave you classic example with the with the liberal broadcasting system the lbs the president announced names of people to go there other people in the march are not satisfied with it so they stop them from receiving their letters calling them on the start to talk to them to change their positions from this place to this place and it's happening because it happened, it has happened with other places. So, Fagon, who they appointed to LBSA, but if other person can do it, I can do it too. And once it's successful with Fagon, it will go on to other people too. Your president will announce, they will use their connection in the mansion to change names and hold letters. So, you just need to make one mistake, or you just need to take one action. People see it and capitalize on it to do what they want to do. So we, we close on that, we close on that discussion. We'll talk more about other issues. The president needs to take charge. You can I'll dismiss agree. Brisbane today. You can dismiss Brisbane today. If you don't no, take charge, that was you, not a case to of the same thing. you can be I'll, 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 you can I'll, 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 If you take action to ensure that people follow the authority, the repeat of this will not happen. So everything comes back to the president. You know, let me say this. The mistake, Uncle Sam, going back to your question, the mistake that was made, if you knew within yourself, those advisors knew that they had an issue with Bobby Livingstone and Councillor Gold and the rest of them, they shouldn't have appointed them. They shouldn't have called them. Let's be frank. If you know the Global Muslim Scout issue case was a problem, you should not reach out to them. If you know the 300 or 150,000 issue that was brought up on the newspaper and on this show was a problem, you should not reach out to them. What put the president in that situation he can handle? But stand up, quick question for you. Quick question for you. When did Joe Boyka know that these people were involved in these transgressions? When he signed that letter, there was there not a vetting process was somebody a, a live person to talk to him? He just signed it blindly. Is that what Joe Baker telling us? He blindly signs letters and he gets he does an afterthought. Then he goes and, 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 and changes his mind. Is that what this president is telling us? Is this presidential? And you want I honest that, answer? A lot of confusion. You, you want honest answer? I know you guys were coming, but you want honest answer though? Yes. And I think and I think folks will not like this. The appointment was messed up. The appointment now is being controlled. It's been handled the best way possible. Thank you. Thank you. To tell you the truth, I'm yes. not going to sit on Spoon Talk and miss my words. The appointment was messed up. It was coming from every which way. You call your friend, your friend called their friend, they go to the executive mansion, they meet at Royal Hotel, they meet at Calabash, they give appointments. It will mess up. But I think some changes is taking place. Things are shifting. Amen. And to tell you the truth, I'm not trying to just sound hope, hopelessly. The issue remains that everybody was appointed somebody. It left from Mamaka, it went to Grisby, from Grisby, it went to the third party, from the third party, it went back. It was just in circle. 
It went back to the Senator DeLong, Yombly, James Barney, and all of them. It came back to the executive marshal. It was all messed up from the beginning. But I would appreciate today that this thing is settling down. Stand up. No, let me finish now. I beg you. And let me I'll finish it. This thing is settling down because what we're hearing, what we're seeing, and those we are talking to, I will say to you, the president is getting his feet down. And because of that, when they go back on the drawing board and they realize, for example, Councilor Lefebvre Ball will be appearing on the show tomorrow. Guess what happened? He ran in one of the districts in Mosserado County. He was one of the key, key lawyer, prosecutor against Lord Muslim Scott. He was one of those that the charge and say they took money illegally on that case. Councilor Bobby Levinstone, the same thing. Did the president know that these things were happening before somebody presented their name to the president for the appointment? It was bad, Sam Jackson. It was bad. But I think the government, the president, they are now putting things together. And as time goes by, the Liberian people will appreciate. I would never sit there and lie and say it was good. It was worse. But given the time, and the person crossing all his T's and dotting all his I's, if he appoints you and you went over to the ministry and they said, no, we are not taking your letter, if you can't get through, come a spoon. Come here. We will tell the president. And, and I think, I think I'm feeling good, Uncle Sam. I'm but feeling good. That's, but let's that's move on the job training, Seto. That's on the oh. job training. Oh, oh JT. But, 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 yeah, but sometimes. Yeah, yeah, but sometimes. Yeah, but, but Uncle Sam, uh, Uncle Sam, let's move on. Sometimes, sometimes everybody, yes, yes, yeah. You got 30 seconds of acid, though, yes, and we got to bring in the next conversation. Guys want to contribute to real quick. Right, right. So, Stanton, we heard all of those good things during the campaign. I will say it here. You can be on the call, I can be on the call. You know nothing is getting better. You know Stop this too much. You know what? You know that nothing is getting better. You know. No, it so is. Do, no, no, you can be on the call. I can be on the call. Let me that thing. The only thing is getting better. Why can you even say it? Don't put me your yeah. best back. Okay. The only thing, yeah. okay, the, only thing the only thing I can I can expect you to do, like the mama said, you need to call, you know, the president office and people to, to look at things. But you know things are getting better. Stop yeah, it this. is getting better. It is well, getting better. Okay, you know you can tell that one to other people. Now you you know no, you, you know why well, no. So what I'm gonna say, I want to ask you, they're getting better. Does that mean we will not see two persons being appointed in one position again? We may not see another record withdrawal, we may not see appointment and withdrawal. That's what you say, or what are you? I really want you, you to get you, on you, you, you look at Stanton, yeah. I'm the one appointing yeah. people. You better leave me alone. But let me move ahead. No, 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 let me move ahead. So, you should I tell you? No, 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 no. No, no, no. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. Don't tell me. Okay, let me move on. Dwalu, let me move on. I beg you. Listen, the only thing we got, we will report what we see, we will report what we have heard, and the Liberian people will decide. You are telling me that this president appointment issue was a problem. The president is working on it. The president is fixing it. Uh, the president is not shying away saying that we didn't make a mistake. Mistakes are there. Mistakes will be made. It's not 100%. This is not a government from heaven. Angel drop down to do godly things. Mistake will be made. But I will say this to you. The president will make the necessary correction. Unlike your president, I listen, I promised myself not to go back to Joe Weir Town. I, I promised myself what Joe Weir did and what Joe Weir did. It is our government now to move forward and help Liberia to be a better Liberia. It's not that you are I a good man. I hate going back and blending Joe Weir. It's not that you are a good man. No, I'm not, I'm not going to fall for it. 
Everything that happened now, I want to say to all Liberians, it is the responsibility of President Joseph Yaman Boaka to fix it. And that's why we should preach. That's the message we should preach. John, we have messed it up. That's why the people rejected him. That's why we are here today. And I do we, believe we, President Joseph Yaman Boaka will fix it. Guys, let's move on with the next thing. We managed to convince you last night to tell you to move on. <laughs> you can move on with me. <laughs> yeah, like I'll call the other guy. Hey, you hey, guys, guy. Hey, guys, crazy guy. Let me bring you in. Let me bring you in. Abba, Abba, the training position, uh, not the training position, the asset recovery thing is back on the book. A decision will be made pretty soon, Abba. The decision saying that, listen, we got to get it right. But it issued out. But I've been a bundle, gracious, gracious vehicle, what a company name. Bring your document as of today. They got only one more day left, which is tomorrow. They have, they cannot show any one document. Now, yes, the issue, and this is 100%. They went to LRA to falsify the document, to backdate this, and said those vehicles that came in, came in by way of George Manor, we are radio station. They wanted to change the document of King's FM that they are the owner of those vehicles and the company. When the information reached out to folks within the government, they stopped it. There is no one paper. Now, all the vehicles that you saw came in with duty free from the Freeport of, Lab of Liberia, duty free. They were all duty free. They showed no ownership of but government of Liberia. However, how will you address this? We're gonna lay our hand on all the documents and we're gonna publish it. Because this is interesting. Those vehicles came from Japan. It was donated to Liberia. And now it was all brought in duty free. And now here we are. Gracious, the, 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 the information reaching us that Gracious cannot produce those documents. Abba. So there, there are several things here, I think. Um, did Japan actually give cars to Liberia that can't be accounted for? You got something on? Or I said, is that you? Can we mute? If you get something playing, can you mute? I think it's from you, Ava. You got something? Yes. Yeah, so, 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 you know, I have a big screen now, so sometimes something can be playing. Yeah, but can you mute them when you speak? It's not on. It's not on right now. What, what are you hearing them? Can you hear something right now? No, I think you just muted it. Go ahead. Yeah, all right. So, were there vehicles, any publication or anything of vehicles donated to the government of Liberia in whatever quantity that FINA has? So that's one thing. With the Japanese, if they made those cars, they definitely know the VIN numbers of the cars they sent. As for the list of VIN numbers, make the comparison. On the flip side, if those are private vehicles, they should have come, there should be documentation that they were bought, that they passed through the port. If she potentially a lawmaker and getting two free containers every year, or she went around to all the different CDC lawmakers and say, you all pull your uh, cars in your uh, uh, containers and bring it, let them show documentation. There is no way it's not there. that number it's of- It's not there. No okay. documentation. So, so then if it's not there and she can explain the possession, she can explain the tax side of owning a vehicle and bringing it to the town. So did she register the cars with LRA in terms of the revenue she generating to pay taxes on them? So the issue is that we are throwing light on this thing because they get one more day, Isaac, one more day, which is tomorrow, to present all the documents. The Supreme Court is requesting, give them five days to present the document. It's out there. Right. As of today, they have not. When they went back to the government trying to backdate this thing, somebody reported them. They were trying to put all the vehicles, the gracious company, on King's FM, George, we are radio station. Yeah, but how many vehicles? Now, the vehicle that was sent by the Japanese government was 60. So they, they, we actually know the Japanese government sent sixty. Abba, you men I love to you men I love to research. Go on your phone and research it. Go and research. You can research. Well, if, if, so if that's let, the let, case, let, me, let me say this. This is very serious. 
It's a criminal situation. It's very serious. And the allegation to prove that you are correct, this, that's why we are waiting tomorrow. They got to show all the documentation. The vehicle came by way of the seaport. And guess what? They were all duty free. They have this information. The asset recovery guys have all this information. And it's, oh, wow. it will be a big embarrassment. Okay? This is what happened. I'm saying this because I'm informed. And we have reliable sources. Anybody here can call Fonati Kofa. This guy met the speaker for Nati Kofa. What we discuss, I know I'm going to keep it to my chest after the morning. But I will say this. If you join us tomorrow with the split document here that you will not believe, there's a reason why they seize those vehicles. There's a reason why the Supreme Court ordered them, you give us your documentation. And I challenge sedition to prove the argument, this allegation, to be a wrong allegation. Let me now go to Conor Gray. We come to Paul Kennedy, Ahosin Fadika, Mr. Duaru, Sam Jaisi, and Jimana. And then we have to bring in uh, Glennie, so we have to rotate again. Conor Gray, this is a very, very serious issue. Allegation that they have no document, but they were running the vehicle. The vehicle was sent in by the Japanese government. Somebody is stuck somewhere, Conor Gray. You know, Stanton, the people that left power, they have no idea about how to how to do the wrong thing. So they don't even, they are so reckless that they didn't even cover the, try to cover their tracks. And so that's why I know there'll be some concerted effort through their, their remnants that remain in government to stall the process of asset recovery. They will use the corrupt judges, the justices who are appointed by George Weir, they will go to work and use their legislatures um, and, and, you know, legislators. They will go to work and use those pockets of people they have in government to hide stuff. But they were very reckless. And they're not, you know, probably that's why uh, my brother here will get mad at me. But for me, I, I will not take threat, you know, consider threat that anything coming from a limping, limping person. So you can go to your gamut, set up your, your shop, to say go after Conor Gray. But you know what? You guys are not the most smartest people in the house, so therefore a lot will come out. And when they know that that they're, 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 they're closing on them, the next thing they'll do, they'll use public sympathy to politicize the situation. And these issues, as they come out, going to the 47 condominium of George Weir, to this and that and all of that, the, the outcry will go up, the tempo will go up. But you know what, that's all they can do, cry babies. But to be frank, we have a government who is determined to retrieve public asset so that Mawata down the, 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 the market there will have some money that will come to her through probably some public loans or something to beef up a market. But to be frank, um, I knew they were going to um, retrieve government asset. And those cars, no person will go buy that number of vehicles the same, even if you want to establish a, a transportation company. You will try to at least flavorize it a little bit, mix it up. But you know, definitely that car, those cars came from the same vendor and it was meant for one purpose, to assist government. And look, they can wait as much as they want, they'll go back and file an injunction to put a stay, give them more days, they will not be able to prove this because now they have been foiled. They were going there now to go see if they can, you know, um, mango mango stuff as to say in the Liberian context. And so when they come back, they'll have a bigger argument to say. You heard some of their agents were saying, it is not the asset recovery uh, responsibility to check on, on the documentation of vehicle. It's the national police. If you give somebody uh, um, a retrieval power, power to recover, they have a resting power as well. So if people don't know exactly how these things work, 
They must go and go do their own research instead of coming here and say that's only the police can arrest vehicle. No, these people will, will when they have reasonable judge and suspicion of your asset, you will come and prove whether you own it or not. If you can, you lose it. Thank you very much, Colonel Gray. Uh, Paul Kennedy. Thank you. Uh, look, ladies and gentlemen, let face the fights here. This government set up a asset recovery team to do diligence, uh, locate missing assets to bring them back for government usage. Um, I'm not going to dive deep into the gracious right issue. As far as I'm concerned, that is a whole different issue as far as government asset retriever is concerned. Um, in my lifetime here, I have not seen a vehicle of that nature, that type, that color being used by government. So the fact that we'll be trying to discuss government asset retriever and looking down to the gracious ride, I don't want to be a part of that. What I want to be a part of is that I think the asset recovery team needs to uh, put a system in place. I think they don't have a system. Is why they're probably flumping everywhere, trying to chase after something that they don't, they've not been able to catch. Um, it is upon them in the court. The matter is already in court. Uh, and, you know, I don't have any evidence whether the car was for the Liberian government. The Minister of Foreign Affairs sits here. And I think if Japan would donate a car of that nature, the whole entire country would know about it, uh, you know, through some official means. Plus, the Japanese consulates right around here. Call them and ask them. They let the government reach out to them and say, you know what, did you ever give this amount of car to the country? So that's an issue I think they're going to think about. Uh, but my issue now is that the asset recovery team should live with line ministries and government agencies to be able to get a catalog, a, a registry of all of government's assets, whether it's current or fixed, uh, as far as monies and vehicles and homes are concerned, those are owned by government so that they can identify which is present and which is missing. And then they will catalog the missing one. And, you know, from th that point on, they can begin to systematically see how they could issue way of getting them back. Government has a lot of vehicles that are not available. And I really applaud the president for putting a asset recovery team together but let that team do a work. And uh, at this point in time, they have not done anything that is satisfactory to me. The first week they started, they just created a lot of chaos that you know really inconvenient a lot of us from getting around. So now they're going back to re-strategize for everybody to think that they are doing something, they're running behind a car, a few cars that I, nobody can really authenticate that are owned by government to this point. I'll be waiting to see how they can bring evidence that that those cars for gracious rod are owned by government before I can say anything about it. Up to this point, there are vehicles in this country that are owned by government officials. And I think the asset recovery team should prioritize bringing those cars back to our government so that the Liberian people taxes can be used wisely. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Paul. I disagree with you, but I'll wait for my time to talk. Let me bring in Mr. Dwalu. Yes, Stanton, I want to say this. Let's use common sense. The asset recovery team is not going to be perfect the first time around. They're going to make some mistakes. Now, we don't want them to make big mistakes, but we cannot be vilifying them. And I believe Colonel Gray did say something about public sympathy. There is a tendency in Liberia. In fact, let me reverse. My people, you're in Liberia. Let me tell you something. The very people that have subjugated you and kept you in abject poverty, and you've been and sympathizing with them, there's something inherently wrong you're with speaking you. speaking that people live colloquial, they say subjugated you But Libe, I'm talking to my own. If you sit down, and the people that stole your children's future, public school money, and they come back to you, and they print banners, and you go stand beyond those banners, you're killing yourselves. Let's be very frank here, my people. Who in Liberia, especially the CDC boys and girls, that could afford even one vehicle brand new before they came to power, before we're talking about 60 vehicles. Who? 
Most of them could not. This is not hidden secret. This was public. Now, if you if you try to recreate a document after the time, one, two years after the time, it is impossible. Any key eye will have a simple understanding of tracking the finances can determine that the document is fraudulent. The issue of Liberia cannot be taken lightly. The asset recovery team will get this right. They have to push to get it right. You cannot make mistakes as a recovery team and give ammunition to people who want to see you to fail. If you fail, we fail. You have to get it right, Mr. Kura. Uh, uh, Ms. Uh, what, what's, what, 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 what the chairman's name for the asset recovery? He has to get Claire it right. Martin. Claire Martin. Claire Martin. Martin, you have to get it right. You have to be organized. You have to be meticulous. You have to be forceful. And you have to get it right under the law. Because we don't want to get ammunition to people who are just going to come back and say, oh, you know, the asset recovery team, the twinning the day, the twinning the day. We have to remove that from there. Let's get it right. These vehicles will be taken by the government if it belongs to the government. We have to get it right for the sake of our children. Stanton. Thank you very much. Somebody, people are so mad. They say you're asking Paul Kennedy who he protected. But check your text message. <laughs> people are so bad. Dr. Richardson. <laughs> so um, I have a message for the asset recovery team. One is I would like for you to please cross your T's and dot your I's. Basically, meaning please make sure that you are verifying all the information relating to Finda Bundle's case before you, uh, you know, take her property away from her. If it is an allegation that she brought in that Japan, the Japanese uh, government donated cars to Liberia and she took it, make sure, make sure that you do all due diligence, okay, before taking her property away. Now, and the reason why I'm saying this, because you are the eyes of corruption in our country. You're doing whatever you do will prevent people from just coming in and taking things that are donated to the Liberian people and using it for their own personal gratification, for their own use, for their own greed. We have to stop this in our country. The next thing is internationally. Our name is ruined if she did this. If she did this, why would anybody want to donate anything to Liberia, knowing the fact that we have no system in place to stop or prevent somebody from stealing the property that they donated to us for their own personal greed? Why would any, any nation, why would anybody want to do this? So you have, as asset recovery team, you have to protect the reputation of Liberia. You have to protect us. You have to protect the name. And, and you know, it is just wrong if she did this. If she did this, it is wrong. So please send a message out there to the rest of the people who have this pineapple eyes. I would like to say they greet it, okay? They want to do things for themselves and not for the Liberian people. And, you know, so please do your due diligence. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Richardson. Thanks a lot. Uh, let me bring in our dear brother and friend. You know, whenever we go to him, we got to worry. Uh, as he do, then we'll go to Andrew Mama. Can be as it do. I haven't spoken yet. Oh, then, yeah, but I, 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 you can either go ahead or as it do, can go either or. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I can't, I can't I mean, hear you. I can't 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 hear the president, Executive Order 126, gave these guys a specific mandate. And that mandate by the president is something that every Liberian voted for him for. They wanted him to retrieve a lot of things. Look, in the last six years, we all knew that the, 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 the WEA administration was very reckless. Those guys looked at that country, they ran that country, I to say, was the personal business. They, they were little check and balance. Uh, the president was the law and gospel. They did whatever they could. That is why the U.S. sanctioned a lot of it. It's completely unprecedented that you find the U.S. government claiming down on multiple officials in in one administration. Uh, it just shows the, the level of recklessness in Liberia for the last six years. 
So everything in Liberia is an open secret. Uh, I do not know, like Paul said, uh, in order to, to verify if, if those cars were given by the Japanese government, it's easy. Uh, uh, we, can, we can call the Japanese, they will be able to tell us. But another crime may have been committed as well. If those things came in uh, for her for commercial purpose, and she used uh, the the how they call that thing um, how they call that thing with the LRE uh, and didn't pay tax on it. Uh, oh, duty free, duty free. Duty free. <laughs> if she used the duty free for things that that was to be, that's a crime too, and and and, and that should be investigated. So for that final bonus stuff, uh, we see those cars, we see the numbers. Uh, 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 so that would be an easy fix. Uh, but uh, uh, if you read the, the, the executive order 126, it is spelled out there uh, what, what exactly that these guys will be. What I think the government is, is, is not doing right is controlling the information. We need to be very careful how they disseminate information. I think somewhere along that line, I think we are feeling uh, we need to do more in, 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 in because look. We, we, we are, times have changed. We are in the social media age. Uh, there's a proliferation of media institution around. The spin cycle very short. We have to be very, very careful how you put out information because your opponent could exploit that easily. And I see people, especially our, our folks that are angry that, that we remove from power, they are exploiting everything. And right now, in the process, they have everywhere because everybody fighting for a job, people trying to get appointment here. People that are supposed to be on the front line, I think they are not there. And, 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 and the CDC is exploiting that. If you look on social media, about 50 to 60 to 70 percent of all the information are coming there are negative propaganda. You better see anybody from the government on, on online defending because people are either trying to get the house in order and get things in order. So the government can walk and chew gum. I think uh, uh, the, the, the sooner we start to lose sight of, of of this thing, these guys are going to beat us to 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 the propaganda, and and, and you have us to do uh, uh, Samuel Jackson that will look at and question the competence of of of, of a president, someone that has been in, in, in around the corridor of power for for a while. You know that that is just possible. You know that you can be serious. But they have the time now, and 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 and, and we need to keep our eyes on the price. That all I can say. But as far as the asset recovery team. I don't think we should beat them down. Look, one thing in Liberia that we'd like to do is, if we are not part of a team, we always condemn that team. It's very common. Most times, we always think we can better, we can do it better than the next person. We can outperform the, 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 the next person. These guys are working with what they have. There is no, I think, one thing that needs to be added to the access recovery, because there are a lot of special whistleblowers. We need to find ways of awareness protection. Find a way to protect those people, the people that are going to be hearing something. The government need to do something, whether in or out of the country, to start putting some of those people there. Thank you, my man. Lot to be recovered, and we haven't, we haven't even started yet. Thank you very much. Oh, guys, I know we have this is very interesting. Allow us to bring in Councillor Gould, senior. Uh, Lafayette B. Gould, he's coming to discuss this issue. Bobby couldn't come on. Councillor Livingstone couldn't come on. We will be bringing in uh, the councillor, and I would beg you guys. Let's uh, create a room for him, and uh, we'll bring you back. Yeah, I, I really don't want you to go up. I think it will be important that you stay because, you know, you and Asi do from the other side of the river, you know, most of us here. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to step back for a minute. And uh, do I just control you? One, um? I see I can go out if you want, but I'll, I'll stay if you're stepping out. Yeah, let me step back for a minute, and uh, you guys can just... John, we can control it. Everybody can ask yeah, one question. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. It's getting, it getting cool. It's getting cool. Let me step back. And I said, though, it was your one or two minutes. Dwalu is uh, Glendy stay in the back. You can bring her in for I, I don't even have the. I don't have access to brain since Glendy on. I think if I'm going to ask one more thing, go ahead. No, 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 no. I said, though, we don't want to ask it, though, because he doesn't have enough time. I want to bring him on. For us to hear him, you're asking question when he leaves, then we can come back to the talk. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so just well, let me take myself all the break. Okay. Mr. Lafayette, welcome to the show. 
You got one or two comments to say before we begin asking you some questions? Unmute yourself. You're still muted. I still mute. Am I okay now? Huh? Yeah, you're okay. You're perfectly okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, thanks to everyone uh, on this uh, platform. I'm glad to be here just for uh, the short while. And I don't have much to say, uh, except I will wait to uh, get questions from you. I know that you're concerned about the announcement of uh, the nomination of, uh, of us and then the uh, subsequent uh, withdrawal. And there are other little allegations of people receiving money and blah, blah, blah. So maybe we can make some clarification on that and then we'll move forward. Labor has to move ahead. I agree with you 100%. Say, Jumama, you got one question. We're going to give you one question, guys. And it's a good just to get make sure everybody goes here and asks their question. If you can get to the answers very quickly, it will be great to help us go around the home as often as we can. Say, Jumama. Say, Jumama, you don't have a question. Uh, Colonel Gray? Uh, Council, um, let me ask you this. How, how did you get your appointment? Who did you talk to? Was it uh, the president or somebody within the cycle? Well, I I was nominated by the president, and except somebody who, who want to say that somebody else does a nomination of presidential appointees. As far as I know, I was my name. I was not nominated. Let me make that clarification. The president announced his intent to nominate me, uh, but that did not go through. So I came from South Sudan, and uh, in fact, I was called. I was asked by the Minister of Justice uh, to work on his team. And uh, he was uh, going to recommend me to work based on uh uh my history at the ministry of justice my knowledge my competence my years of experience and uh so he felt confidence in working along with me so he said he wouldn't nominate uh, recommend me to the president and he asked what i will accept i said well it's a call to duty uh so i can't say no because i didn't ask for it i was called so I say I can't I cannot say no to you, and you know being a senior lawyer, a professor, a somebody that we all know we respect. So I will accept the calling and come to work. So that's how I'm sure my name got to the president, and uh, he then did uh, the, nom the he then announced uh, that I will party will be nominated because. In my understanding, as a legal practitioner, nomination is just, it's not just the announcement of the name or the publication. It is the uh, forwarding of the name to the Senate because the nomination is done to the Senate. And then the Senate will do confirmation hearing and then appointment and then commission. So the publication of the name will just be uh, the expression of intent to nominate the person. And so that expression was uh, made on March 19. And then we were told on March 20th that the names were forwarded to the Senate. At one point in time, we were also told other things, but we'll get there. And then when we got to the Senate, our names were not there. So Thank far, you, so good, that's how I was nominated. Okay, Mr. Good, just for clarity, I want to be absolutely sure here. There is a distinction between nomination and an appointment from the president. So were you officially nominated and declared by the president of the Republic of Liberia and your name transferred to the Senate? Did that happen? No, I, I would not say I was officially. That's why I said as a legal practitioner, my understanding of nomination okay. is, the, is the address to the Senate, the names of the person presented to the Senate. Okay. It is at that point 
that you are considered a nominee. In my understanding, when your name is on the in the social media, is on on as a man, is an expression of intent to have you nominated. When your name goes to the Senate, then you are now nominated. My name did not go to the Senate. Thank you very so much. I I'll say though, your one question. Yes. Oh, sorry, sir. Yeah. But I'll say though, your one question, sir. Yeah, thank you. Um, Lafayette, how are you doing, man? Uh, just to also follow up with that. Uh, like you say, your name was not sent to the Senate, but uh, your name did go up on the executive mansion website, and that took the signature of the presidential press secretary. Your name was there, right? Yeah, so, and that is the reason because the presidential press secretary does not have the authority to nominate. That is a power dedicated to the president. So that publication, it is an expression of intent, of the president's intent to what? Nominate the president names that will be listed. That is the reason why the president, after that publication, the president will do a communication, written communication to the Senate with the names of the individual that he or she uh, wants to, to face Senate's confirmation. Thank you, sir. Um, ask about Topa. I know Stanton will come back to you up there, but ask about Topa your one question, sir. Yes. Um, you know, nobody is promised these things. People make appointment, people withdraw it. But for you, what is the emotional impact so far in terms of what you've gone through with this whole situation? Well, you know, what I would say is that we are human. And when you have an opportunity to be elevated, it's something that you will embrace. And when it, it does not manifest you know itself into actuality you get disappointed but what do you do you move on people have built houses the very day they build the house they spend two three hundred thousand the very day they enter the house got burned they didn't kill themselves they continue to move on because that's life that's how god will present a certain situation for you to triumph over so you know the story of joseph joseph at one point in time his brothers wanted to kill him Another person said, no, don't kill him, let's put him in a well. Putting him in a well was a chance given him to survive. But other than that, he would have been killed. When he came up, they said, let's sell him. Selling him also was an extension of the chance to survive and make his name. He went to Egypt, and then he went on to become somebody to lie on him. And then the lie that lie on him was the period now that God was ready to what manifest his goodness in his life. And then he was in prison when this dream came about and he then became a hero. So what I'm trying to say is that we all humans. There are periods of time in our life we get disappointed. Am I disappointed? Of course I'm disappointed. But am I broken? No, I'm not broken. I'm a war child. I grew up during the war and saw a lot of people being killed here, a lot of property being damaged. Today, today, I survived the storm to be the person I am. So there are lots and lots of things that will come any know your way. But over a period of time, the truth will manifest itself and you will be vindicated. Mr. Gu, before I go to Meme, I just want to ask you this. Is it fair to say that perhaps your nomination was trying to pass through the back door and it didn't go through, and everything came to the light, and that's the reason why you're being withdrawn. Do you think that's what happened? But how can it go through the back door? When how can it be to the back door? Then I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not the person to, to be to know whether it passed through the back door or not. I know for a show in this country, no president knows the four thousand or more persons that he appoints. Many of the appointments. I, I been I know people who are recommended, even if they're from the president's political party. The president does not know all his members. So there are recommendations. So obviously those recommendations will go in and you'll be nominated and you'll serve. Thank you. So I cannot, I cannot consider that to be whatever a backdoor or whatever the case. That's why I said I consider the expression of intent. You know, you can express your intent to do something 
and at a certain point in time you what you reserve that 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 uh, uh, uh that intent so it means that you pass through back door or pass through window but it's just that the person may have had other reasons why he think his uh his intent cannot be manifested and you know into action and so he will vote it Councillor good <clears throat> i know you are deployed in sudan so not being an existing minister shouldn't be anything to worry you i expect that you'll be on the fly going back to your assignment with the united nations but there is a grievance and ethics committee at the supreme at the court where when lawyers are accused of bribery or accused of misconduct or ethical breaches can be complained to an investigator and actions taken why is it that all the allegations about you taking money, you being unethical, have not reached to the grievance and ethics committee? Or to answer my ask a question today, have you been submitted or complained to the grievance and ethics committee? And if not, why is it that all the allegations against you have not reached to the grievance and ethics committee? Are you a special person? They are afraid to complain you? <laughs> My man, thanks for the question. But the thing here is, is there a factual allegation against me in the first place? I have my name even came up. First thing I left from this country November 5, 2023. I did not return to Liberia until March 12, 2024. You check the time, it's almost that's four months plus or other year. Trial. The trial of the mother Scott or whoever for which reason they are trying to make a story ended in January. I was on the UN mission. I'm gonna have been on trial and into activities here while first thing it is forbidden. So some things come out politically, right? And you can understand why when, when people want to get certain objective achieved and they try, there's no factual way, then they go to the political side. And then they start to spread and you know, lies or so. So I have been, yeah, I've not been, since I've been in this country, I have never been taken to be an ethics committee. I became a lawyer 2018, I mean, 2012, 20, uh, April 18. I have practiced law from that time up to now. I have never ever been complained of to any grievance ethics committee for honor or, or any unethical issue. All the people in this country that know me know how much I try as much as possible, uh, possible to remain professional. Even when I was involved into politics, I did not allow my political alignment any influence on my decision. That's why even when I was in the judge we are government, I used to speak true to the government. The government does wrong will say you're wrong. <laughs> Once you breach the law, say breach the law. So that's me. So if you see no complaint or so, go with because there's no case. But is it no more thing that when you want to get a mame, just pick up something and just talk about it? Simple. The mame news out there, and everybody can start looking for it and finding way to to tie you to something. But there's nothing. There's, there's nothing I have to hide. I'm not going to avoid any. Ad and you know, a tifre. Oh, my brother, yeah. Fadiga. Turn to you, you'll be last, and I'll turn over to you after Fadiga. Fadiga. Uh, ask question here. Oh, oh, yeah, okay, don't come out to you, Yeah. Send the chillax and go ahead, Fadiga. Uh, Council, um, I heard you say when you were affiliated with the CDC, were you, uh, just before I asked for a question, are you a member of the were you ever a member of the cdc never i've in fact the six years that i spent with the cdc government working in the government if i was a civil i'm a civil servant i've never been appointed this is my first time for a president to call my name this is my first time i've never been appointed by president government I've always been a civil servant and that's the reason why i have been very much confident enough to see the things that i'm not afraid i had an independence so I never joined the CDC, never. I was a member of the ANC. And every time that I went on the radio, when I was asked of my political alignment, I said, I am a member of the Alternative National Congress. It was only the late days 
in the campaign process going towards election when the ANC gave out my slot in District 11 to help without even get, getting me involved, without even telling me, without even giving me the opportunity to go to a primary and be defeated or you know, whatever the case would be. I have left the, the ANC and moved to the ALP. So if somebody talking about recent political alignment, I'm aligned, I will be aligned to the ALP because I ran on the ALP ticket in District 11. So I've never been a member of the ANC, I mean the CDC. My question is specifically uh, with this, so uh, uh, I won't go into, into the president uh, withdraw, withdrawing your name, uh, but there was something associated with it that I want us to go into. Is this, that is this, uh, 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 so one question uh, is no, I, I, no, I asked him before I, I asked him, so he just chose to, yeah. to answer and he took long. That's all. But, uh, my question is this, uh, Gloria Musu's cat, uh, the case has she's in jail now. Oh, uh, do you believe that she's guilty? Ah, uh, Fadiga, I drew that indictment. And like I said, I told people, I would never ever regret the action that I took as a prosecutor. I have never gone to any case since the last, the time I went to Minnesota Justice to now and regretted. I believe in the evidence before I go into a case. And I tell you, and I tell you the person I am. When the CDC government was behind Brandon Stamuka, I was special assistant to Solicitor General. And I told them that I did not believe in the evidence against Brandon Kamuka, I would not prosecute him. It was, and I did not partake in the case. When the $100 million drug case came about, I told the team that I cannot go to a particular case where certain people who should be held like, uh, capable be brought in, I left out. And I did not partake in that case. So when I go into a case, I believe in the evidence. I do it in the indictment. We believe in the evidence, and it's before the court. I can't go further. But the acts for what I believe in the evidence, 100 percent I believe in it. I'm convicted. And that's why I can take any punishment for that. I don't care because my heart is clear. The truth will come out one day. If it is buried, one day it will rise. Thank you, Mr. Goose. Brothers, uh, 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 Mr. Jackson. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, 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 attorney. Or, uh, are you attorney or counselor? How do I address you, sir? I counselor Gould. I love you, Gould. Anything. I don't know if we ever met socially before, but uh, I mean, I like your passion. I want to tell you thank you very much. Okay, I just want to ask you a question. Um, there's a letter that was written by President Boyka to uh, Pro Tem Yumbly withdrawing your nomination. Right. And you mm -hmm. said as a lawyer, you're looking at the fact that the announcement was made, but your name was not forwarded. So if your name was not forwarded, what was the reason for this withdrawal? Because you cannot withdraw something that was not previously put into place. So can you just I mean, educate me on 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 how that on how that happened? No, I think uh, maybe that was an oversight, and the executive mansion will have to come out and make that clarification. But my name should not have been in that letter, because as far as I know, I was never nominated. So, are you saying the the executive mansion is exhibiting the spate of incompetence that we've seen over the last seventy days? That this is one of the the a manifestation of the incompetence that they did not put your name into nomination and it would draw a name so that is I mean, a critical manifestation of incompetence would you say that well mr jackson you may have your own way of describing the oversight right how i consider ask, like how a, else can I you describe it no that's what i say i have described I have described my name being in the letter as probably an oversight because my name was that never. Was a mistake. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's an oversight. Whatever the case, mistake, oversight is so, the same old thing. It's just a choice of words. Are you, are I'm, you saying to you, I'm saying to you, no, I'm saying to you, I made that one clear. I made it emphatically clear 
that there's no need to withdraw what is not before the Senate. Exactly. I was never ever nominated. Let it be clear. There okay. is nowhere in the record because I saw the communication that went to the Senate, and that's why the confirmation hearing that was conducted on yesterday, I was not a part. My name was never called. There were 10 persons whose name were placed up for the purpose of nomination. There were nine persons, okay. names that were sent to the Senate. Okay. And that letter was written March, March 19, and it was received on March 25 by the Secretary of the Senate. And so when it was read, when it was read on Tuesday, on Tuesday, which was the day before yesterday, my name was not mentioned. And then the call started coming. And then on yesterday, when the confirmation hearing was conducted, my name was also not mentioned. So I, so the Senate had not had the opportunity to exercise jurisdiction over me. So it, 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 cannot, it, cannot, it cannot take any action for or against me because I never fell on the jurisdiction of the Senate. Yeah, thank you. Had my name been in the communication, yeah. Then that would have been the case. Okay. 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 No, 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 let me ask a follow up, please. I beg you. Are you a follow up? 10 seconds. 10 okay, seconds. Great. So, I mean, aren't you happy that your name was withdrawn because this kind of incompetence? You don't want to be, I mean, ex I mean, to work in this kind of incompetence with this manifestation of incompetence, the fact that your name was not proffered, it was taken by a president. A president signs something that he did not do. Are you concerned working in that kind of an environment? I mean, that manifestation of incompetence. Do you want to work still in that environment? Thank you, Mr. Jackson. Look, some of the reasons why some of the reasons why some of us remain in government is to help the system. If if, if there's a problem in the government and you all run away from there and leave it and leave it to what happened, the, the country crash. So let's agree. Even, so let's agree. Even if this is a mistake or whatever incompetence that you want to talk about, yeah. how does the government become competent when we who have the competence decide to stay out? So my acceptance to work is to give more to the government. In fact, it was an elevation for me. I'm still working with the government. I'm a civil servant. I'm still a prosecutor. I will still go to court. As a matter of fact. I have the one representing government at the ECOWAS court. Yeah. And that's why I said, sometimes in the country, when you take certain position, you are healed. When you take the position on the other side, then you are condemned. I represented this country on many occasions outside of, outside mm -hmm. of Liberia. And no no time have there been any on issues raised against me. I am the representative of the country on the access recovery team of West Africa. I'm the representative of the country. I represent the government at the ECOWAS school, like I said. So I was the senior prosecutor for armed robberies. And I was the coordinator for mutual legal assistance, taking requests from all around the world, different, different, and in criminal matters. So I coordinated the the, uh, the, the training of uh, 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 of, of prosecutors to, yeah, I mean, to, to prosecute uh, human trafficking. So it's based on all of these things. I serve as special assistant to three solicitor general. It is based on all of these histories. I know and, and that, that, that my name, uh, I pop up. Thank you. So Thank I you. can't say that somebody is incompetent. Myself can make mistakes. Thank you. So do I say that when I make mistakes, somebody is incompetent? No. But I believe that it was an oversight. And I believe that they need to correct it and do better next time. That's all I can say. Thank you. It's the weather score. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Mama, have you asked your question? Yeah, she refused to ask. Let, let me bring in, says Glenn. Glenn, ask your question, and that will be last because I got so many, like three or four questions for the counselor. Uh, so I, go ahead, Glenn. Counselor, how are you? I'm okay, sis. How's Were everything? You, I, I'm, I'm good. Are you, were you related to Counselor TC Goo? Yes, my cousin. Okay, so we'll talk later because this was a first cousin to my dad. But I want to yeah. appreciate the fact that you've come on tonight. And I want to appreciate the fact that Samuel Jackson had did not have his way with you. Using words <laughs> and playing with the words. And I appreciate what you've done because it showed bravery. But the fact that you also 
explain to us that you still represent the government of Liberia in spite of everything else that have happened. So I have no questions for you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh So that's it. That's it. The family thing, yeah. Go long we'll way. We'll keep it going. We'll keep it going. Big way. I want to. And I want to. Okay. So I want to say, Councillor, good to have you. You know, for the record, you and myself speak a lot, and uh, you know, this is fun talk. We got to be real with our conversation and our question number one. Who informed you firstly that you were being nominated for this position? Well, like I said, the Attorney General of the Republic of Liberia phoned me up and, and asked me that he had an intent to recommend me to serve on his team. It is a general fight in Liberia that the Minister of uh of every ministry will have some say and you know into the appointment of people he will suggest the president so, may have so, all so, of so, so that did so 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 minister yeah. justice minister inform you yeah he called me up and said he was nominated you're recommending me then okay. i got in, then i got informed i come in then i got informed i got informed officially that i was on the list of persons that should be nominated through the publication on March 19. So, my question, who from the executive mansion inform you? Oh, I mean the publication. The uh, secretary to the uh, uh, president signed a, public, uh, a list so of- So, no uh, one from the executive mansion call you? No one called, place a phone call to me, no. I have never received a phone call from anybody no one from the executive mansion saying that listen we we're going to appoint you for this position mm, absolutely i received no call from anybody with the exception of the recommendation and then it took a while and then the expression of intent to nominate me came up on march 19. okay and were you told that your nomination were, were drawn never never i was never communicated with officially nobody called me nobody sent me a text message i've heard it it's a rumor until i went to the senate myself to present my documents for the confirmation because i heard that the, the letter of nomination had been forwarded to the senate so i went to the senate and then when I did my background check, my name was now on the list. That's how I got to know that I was not nominated. When you when you heard the rumors, did you reach out to anyone at the executive mansion? Well, I reached out to several persons. I won't want to call names. I sent text messages of the several yeah, persons. Fine. Don't, don't don't call them. Let me respect them. What did they tell you? Nobody from the executive mansion that I reached out to had ever sent me a reply. I know that I got the information through another source from the Ministry of Justice, a high place source, who have placed a call to the mansion and then they confirming that my name was withheld. Do you think they remove your name, they record your appointment, they record uh, your position based on the fact that uh, you had something, you went through the uh, persecution of justice? Chief Justice, former Chief Justice, Gloria Mosonska. Was that yes, the reason? That, yes, yes, that's what I believe. And that's what I heard all in the corridor. Do you also yeah. think it has something to do with the money issue that you guys, the allegation that you guys inappropriately took money for that case? How? How can we, how can that be? If, how can anybody tell us who did you, did you receive? Did you receive some money? like the uh, newspaper article that came out uh, that you guys received more than what was required. How much did you receive for that case? While folks are bringing allegation on your name? No, thank you. Because I, the, I was at the face of the prosecution at a certain point in time, all the way up to the time of preparation of the witnesses and everything going for trial, people, uh, selection of jewel, jewel going to the crime scene before I went for the elections. 
So I was the face of the trial. I took the witnesses to the grand jury to convince the grand jury to come away indictment, as usual. So that's why my name would not be left out or anything. Yes, in every major case in the Ministry of Justice, it's a record, go there and check. There are special funds that are given for prosecution, special prosecution funds are given out. It's, that is, that how, is much a, you, how much did that you receive? How no. much did you receive? No, I would not want to say how much I received. The controller, the controller of the Ministry of Justice has the record. How much how, did your team receive? No, no, I don't know how much, I don't know. But I said the controller of the Ministry of Justice has the record. Were you, were you the head of the team? Well, at a certain stage in terms of the prosecution, preparation of witnesses, joy of indictment, yes, I would say because going to the grand jury, Obviously, how the person that goes. Team, how much did your team receive? No, to that extent, in terms of money, it was headed by the solicitor general. So I mean, I'm not the person who received money in my hand. How much did the solicitor general receive for this case? The, so the solicitor general and the controller will be the best evidence. How much did you receive? The records at the controller office will also be the best Is evidence. That, oral, can you tell us? Can you tell no, us how much you received? No. Oral testimony cannot vitiate written. If there was a money that I passed beyond the hall to take, a different story. But the controller of the Ministry of Justice has all of the records. And let's visit the records. Let's visit the record. Then we'll see how much yeah, Latvia goes. Last goes question, we got Tim Mame and uh, Abba that want to come on this one. I'm, I'm, I'm leaving because I'm hearing what you are hearing, Councillor. I'm hearing that it was mainly because of this Gloria Muslim Scott case. I'm hearing that, listen, your association with CDC, I'm not too interested because it happened. People recommended you, you're a good lawyer, you serve well, and they think you're going to be a good addition to the government. But so be it, we are here now asking one of the main reasons is the misappropriation. People feel within themselves that you guys invested some money you guys illegally took money for this job all right and i'm asking you directly thousands hundreds of thousands of Latvians like listen to you how much did you you consider good receive on this case that people are saying you took money illegally stand on i will make it clear again i'm a lawyer i'm a prosecutor i'm not on uh across the time this one i am saying to you that the controller are giving you souls. The controller of the Ministry of Justice. I don't want to say anything. And then somebody brings another record or there is the old the bell say with the scrapper say no. Let the controller because that I signed because I know I signed it. If it were illegal money, I would not sign for it. Nobody signs to keep themselves on record for anything that would be illegal. So I signed it. Is there the records are there? Let's speak to the records. And that, that's the reason why people will just talk. And this whole thing when, that what the mama talked about, why have you not been taken to graver evidence for me? It's just the same thing. Because when they go and check the records, then they see the facts. Then they know what else I'm saying. When they go and check the history, the Ministry of Justice, when it comes to cases from, from Julie Bryan case, from uh, uh, Charles Julie, all the way, Martin narrating. Uh, 16 billion all then you see that special prosecution fund are always made available and, and I will ask the last weapon. question to bring the guys that in they did they, 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 that was let me have my last question please they are saying the misapplication of us hundred and fifty thousand appropriated mm -hmm. for the prosecution of councillor gloria muslim scott now councillor sissy maintain that portion of that fund should have been returned to the controller are you aware? Was it returned? No. No, I was not in the country. That's what I tell you. I was not in the country. I left for you yeah, November 4. I mean, November 5. But, but again, but again, my friend, you know, I'm we here. are friends with talk. But again, you yeah. said no to everything. You answer everything, but you cannot tell us how much you receive. Then uh, I don't know. For Councillor Livingstone, let me say, for Councillor Livingstone, yeah. you admitted of receiving 6000 for personal use. Is that true? Well, it's Councillor Livingstone's statement. 
And that's what I'm saying to you, you see? And that's the reason why so, I'm so, careful. So, 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 so I, I, I want to go down and register your name. Because we have, we yeah. have this stuff here. I want to go down. I want. That's why we want to be fair as to how much you receive. Uh -huh. So, so how much you have on that list that my signature do that I receive? No, but you cannot tell us though. No, but no, but stand on. You. No, stand on. Stand on. You have a list before you. Apparently, the list of where we signed for. Just tell us how much. Tell the public how much on that list. If it is correct, I will tell you. Say yes. That's the amount I receive. If it is if it is more, I will tell you say swear no because the one that I know I receive will not be the one that you say more. So I was saying just to call a list. You Don't receive be, over, you receive over ten thousand. Is that correct? No, I want the five for the five for the troops. So okay, thank idea. you. No, no, thank you. But you you admitted that probably Livingstone said six thousand. You no, you I didn't. No, 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 no. I said no, 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 no. I said probably Livingstone. Bobby Livingstone is responsible for what he will say. And that's why I'm very okay. careful in talking. You know why? And that's why I'm very careful in talking. That's why I said, let's go to the record. Because okay. when you don't uh, go to the record, let me, let me, let me the rest of the guys, since we yes. have six days away now from uh, the appointment, because I think these are the reasons why the government want to be very careful because of the allegation. Mama, you left. You, you wanted me to come to you, but you left. Aren't you Mama come in till Mama can return, please? the only question on the appointment but listening to stanton interviewing you on gloria mususka whom i know very well i want to ask you you persecuted her what i'm running out of i'm running out of current Okay, then can you plug your phone, please? Yes, I'll plug it. You okay now? Okay. Yeah, sure, sure. You can, you can Victor her. What happened to Vali Tali and Jefferson Kochi, who were named, and they asked them to come into the police station? They went there and they answered a few questions to King of. What happened to those two names that disappeared from our life? We never heard about it anymore. But you prosecuted this woman and you jail her for life. What happened to the two people? Now I my next question. Okay, there were several persons linked. There were several persons linked to the murder of Charlotte Musu. And we held four out of the what six persons that we know that were linked. We held four based on the evidence that we have. And that's why I say I don't want to go in depth with the trial because it's still before the Supreme Court. So if we start to discuss why we left this person off, why would they be going into the merits? That's what I go. Because I'm, I'm yes, very much interested in knowing why did you leave those two suspects? Because when they had the press conference, I was watching them while I was in America, and I saw that. Valitelli was uh, situated between two persons, and every time he wanted to answer answer a question during that press conference, somebody would answer it for him. They would pinch him and would be knocking him and telling him not to answer questions. And in my own mind, I'm thinking, why the two suspects went free when we saw the, the, the body language, the way they were answering the question. They couldn't answer questions for themselves. People were knocking them. They had to be answering questions for them. And then and, and you people were so brave to say to everybody around the world, including Liberia, that those two individuals, Jefferson Kochi, Valitelli, were not among the, two, among the suspects that were involved with that case. That's what you're telling us. That's what you're telling uh, us. Did. Thank you, Mama. Yes. I told you the same way we have been brave in holding several armed robbers responsible for armed robbing people and we've been convicting them. The same way we've been brave in holding other people for murder and we've been convicting them. It's the same way we are brave, courageous enough to use the evidence that we have to hold whoever we help. Let us not go in depth with this matter. It is before the court. It will be unethical on my part for me to start giving you reason why. Let it get to the stage 
where the court has made the determination, then we can come up now and you know and try to maybe speak about the case, how it went on, maybe maybe there are mistakes and all of that. But for now, the case is before the court of determination. Okay, I will rest my case for now because for me, I like to obey the law. I'm not a lawyer, but I try to follow the laws. So such a thing before the, it's still before the Supreme Court. I'm sure the women in Liberia and the citizens of the country would like to know why you could put that woman in the lower court. We very much well, thank you. But, but I said, you go. Said, you go. And you follow my activities in the country all along. And you've always respected my judgment. Because you one person who followed me, and in fact, you wanted to. I remember you wanted to recommend me to judge. We are all for, for job. So you so you respected my judgment in all of matters. I would just think that you respect my judgment in this one as well. Thank you. Thank you, Andrew Mama. Thank you very much. Um, I'm like, okay, maybe in and out. Fatima, welcome to the show. This is very concerning. This is very unique. And I want to say to you, uh, Counselor, again, thank you. We're bringing Fatima to ask a question. Uh, everyone have asked a question, right? But Fatima, Fatima, go ahead, please. Good evening, CEO. Good evening to the panelists and to all of the viewers around the world. Uh, my question to you, um, Councillor Gould, is that I think you say you cannot talk on the merits of the case because it's still being adjudicated, right? And it's in. Yeah, sure. Um, um, you were, I was just wondering, were you really appointed? Because if you were, you know, wouldn't it, wouldn't anybody have communicated with you now that your name was being withdrawn? Because you say, I was listening while I was driving. You say you did not get any communication that you were being with, with, with called. I mean, with, with your name was withdrawn, right? Are you aware? Never. No, I have not got any any communication officially to that effect. But were you appointed by the president, though? Because someone mentioned. Oh, that. oh, oh okay. No, I wasn't. I wasn't even nominated. Yeah, don't go to appointment because appointment will come after send this confirmation. Yeah. The question is, were you nominated? No. Okay. Was there an intent to nominate you? Yes. Was by that who? intent manifested into nomination? No. By whom? I just wanted to clarify some things. They intend, intend to nominate me. Yeah, by, by, the, by, by, by the president through the oh. through the publication of my name. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, the like I said, I don't know if you follow. Like I said, the publication of the names of persons to be nominated is an expression of intent. Yes. That this person will be nominated. When your name goes to the senate, then you are a nominee. My name did not go to the senate, so I'm not a nominee. No, but in past politics, I did hear that you are a diehard sedition, though, were you? No, never. I have never been a sedition. Never. All right. Thank never. You. Yeah. You, you, you done with your question, Fatima? All right. So let me ask uh, uh, my, my dear friend and brother. You see where we are again, like we said, please come on the show, Consider Bobby. Uh, but he said a statement. You say your statement. I want to show this. I don't know whether I'm reading this wrong. Uh, help me. I mean, I appreciate it if you can. Uh, we are honored for the call to serve at the highest level. Thank you, Mr. President, for this opportunity. With God being the author of our mandate, we shall not disappoint our court. Again, it is an honor, Mr. President. You said this based on what? Oh, on when? That was on uh, March, I think March 20, March 19 or March 20. After yeah. the, yes, after the name came up. So we all were excited that your name came up, you'll be nominated. So that's it. Okay, so you didn't receive a letter, but because of the appointment, you Because of the, because of the pronouncement. Yeah, the expression of intent. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Glendy. So, uh, but when you're reading it, I need, I know you're talking about the intent. What you wrote here does not signify an intent. 
Uh, you are the lawyer. What you wrote here is almost signifying that you knew you were going to be appointed to the position because it says we are honored for the call to serve at the highest level. That yeah. seems to mean that there was a position that you were guaranteed for. But, not not um, that you will be nominated. I mean, we're reading but, the but Lenny, yeah, Lenny, The first process of you getting a presidential appointment is the nomination. The first is the announcement. That expression of intent will carry all through. And that's why most time when that when that when that when that uh complication is made, many persons will take it as a nomination. But then legally, when you go into the legal context of it, then you will see no, it's not nomination, it's a special of intent. Okay, so, so that's, the whole that's, 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 so it begins. So it begins with that. Once your name is called, once your name is called, nobody sometimes nobody want to read, oh, Mr. President, thank you for the special intent. No, you hold it, you hold it, you hold all at once that you're going to get the position to, to work. And that's the reason why some of those statements are made the way it is. So, you know, lawyers, they play with words. And I think what you're doing to us here is playing with words. I just want to be, I just want to be candid. When you're saying yeah. here, when you're in your statement here, it has for me it's a little deceptive based on your interpretation right now because what your statement saying is that you will even at you end it by saying we should not disappoint our oath so you are already projecting that there is a position that has been guaranteed you but now of course. it's quite different uh, of no sense let me know the point of matter you understand what i'm saying to you when your name is announced what else do you want to say that oh I, I, I you know i'm waiting i'm not sure well your name is now it means that you have gone through all of the processes it's obvious that you go through the confirmation hearing you will cross through and then the president will appoint you and you take your order of office so it is that all is that is that is that package that you respond to you didn't respond to oh i'm waiting for this oh i would know you it is you put all in a package and you say I'm honored to be called to serve. So part of the calling is the announcement and then the nomination, then confirmation, then appointment, and then a commission. I, I take your explanation, but I I understand it differently. A, a, a baking, a baking. While we while we have the consider year, a, a, a baking, UJ, you know, spoon talk can take different turns, okay? Because once we have you. And consider, listen, you're a friend to me. Let me just make that very clear. But if you want to leave anytime, that's okay. Uh, I have only phone here one counselor, Moron Dennis. He listened to you and he said he must re re respond. He must speak. Uh, we're going to give him a few seconds. Uh, your name and where are you joining us from, sir? Can you call your name again? I'm an investigator. You're an investigator, sorry for that. One of the investigators, yeah, go I'm ahead. Okay, what's your full name? My name is Moro Dennis. I'm not a father, I'm an investigator. All right, so go ahead, make Dennis. your point. Yeah, go ahead, make your point. Yeah, they, they, we are listening to you, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, I've been before the council briefly because I did not start the show. But I think the issue of the nomination is 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 clear, is clear that you are nominated for that position. Of course, you're on the executive march on website. I got a screenshot of that and there's no way I think you should be escaping or, or trying to provide a different or, di or different understanding or interpretation of what the nomination is. Especially about panelists, especially about panelists that you guys are, are quite informed and not sure where about nomination. So the first thing. But I believe he, he, I, I, we listen to you, sir. And, and, and the first thing, the first thing, me, and me applaud President President Joseph Parker for having Councillor Lafayette Good nomination with you. Yeah, Councillor Councillor Lafayette Good have been one of the final lawyers that we that we that we know. I work with him on several occasions. I respect him. But then at the latter day of the at the latter day of the administration, I don't know how he got himself involved and he and he slipped. Meaning that the 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 he he that, that kind of 
moral all rightness that, that we are that we have known to 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 who he he sleep. He was very he was very instrumental in having Kazam uh, uh be charged of murder. Of course, that was not the initial charge. You can ask him whether he will tell you the document presented to him. There was there was no charge of there was no charge of murder on, on Kazam car. And he was the lead campino in having a charge from murder. What was so uh, what was the charge from what was the charge from Gloria Musu's car? Why are you putting this on Councillor Gu? No, okay. not that I'm putting it on him, but Councillor Gu, he, 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 know, he knows he knows very well that we, we both have the same view on the particular matter. And I read some what? opposition in the very in the very meeting. What was the charge? What was the initial charge on Councillor Gloria Muslim's car? Yeah. The, the, the investigation, the investigation having established the, the investigation having the investigation having established that that there was no intruder. In the initial state of the charge of the Gloria Muslim's car was giving false information to law enforcement officer. Uh, okay, hold on one minute, my friend. I lost power in the studio. Hold on one minute, hold on one minute. We pulled Angie Mama at the control and she turned everything off. Yeah. <laughs> we pulled Angie Mama on the producer's seat and she just shut the whole thing off. Yeah, it's that can be easy. And because, and because I posted in the room that somebody said they got crushed on her. Somebody texted me and said they got crushed on her. So maybe that was oh, God. I hope uh I hope the guys are listening. They will reconnect us again. Folks, be up. patient. Be patient. They will reconnect us. Mistakenly, I think Andrew Mama just turned the, the set off, thinking that she's on her usual spot. The, again, the, the, the woman patient. got why so why is that? I just hear listening to all up. these men. All these they men really are they 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 have no wide ranging experience, but not the going by based on assumption. Assuming that your mama did that. Assuming. All right, so all right, let's get back on track. Those that are on the internet will help us through to uh, Nelson bring us back on. That's a mistake. Uh, yes, she did because I received the information that you are not privy to. I received full no, security there's no detail. information over there. Right. I received full security detail. You know, I stay here and I watch the station on CCTV. You know that, right? I, I watch know. the activities at the station. But go ahead, Mr. Dennis. The issue remains that we are. We are where we are today because we want to understand this very well. I don't want to keep you too long. I didn't bring in Councillor Guya for you know the the question and answer, but I am appreciating your we contribution. Media come to the substantive. I media come to the substantive issue. Yeah. Now, the position of a which Councillor Guya appointed to 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 serve is the assistant minister for litigation. Now. The assistant minister of litigation, the minister of justice, he or she controls the, the, the persecution of the ministry. So, because of Gu, not having the more, not having the more, the more rated to or the moral compass, because because his involvement with with false charging Groska could not have a line or seven in a position, and that's the reason why I think the nomination was was Wow. Let me hold you. Let me hold you right there. Can you respond to this? This is your chief investigator, though. And if that's the reason why they, they took back your appointment, then I think we are hearing the full story. So talk to okay. me. Look, uh, look uh, Stato, let me tell you something, right? Somebody tells you that he did an investigation. He established no intruder, but he will charge somebody for something else when somebody died. You see, there are a lot of young men that move maliciously. And that's what I say, as an investor, first thing it is against his ethics that you serve the Labrador National Police. He was the chief. If I talk into the grand jury room, he went there and presented the case. That's why I said, let us not go through the marriage. I don't like for people to come up and try to make themselves look relevant at the expense of other people's character. Do you do you recognize his voice? Do you know him? Moral Dennis, Moral Dennis was our one. 
Okay. He was the chief investigator. Okay. He was one of the witnesses I appeared before the grand jury. So there's one thing about somebody flip and you know, a flipping. Well, now was that an initial charge against Gloria Mususka that you that you upgraded? There was, there was no initial charge from the police. In fact, the issue now was how to charge. And it is the duty of the prosecutor to work along with the police to formulate a charge. I'm not going to say I'm not going that I'm a I'm a professional, I'm a trained lawyer. You provide everywhere around the world, everywhere around the world. When the police conduct the investigation, well, the prosecutor, the prosecutor will review the evidence and, and then advise on the charge. I did my work. That let's agree. You 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 consider it not to be or uh, what I would say or uh, 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 right. But I did it in my prosecutorial opinion. I mean, that was my opinion as a prosecutor, and that was my duty to advise. So, so how can I mean, let, let me bring in Mr. Den Mr. Dennis, uh, go ahead, give your last, give your last word because we have to come in close okay, and show. Stand up, stand up. Quite frankly, quite frankly, you saw, you saw, you saw, you saw how, how Lavego is tottering, and he left the sustained issue and, and, and talking about referring to me as a Ma Malaysia young man. Of course, I enough. The first thing he boasting about being a brilliant investigator. Last year, as you are a brilliant in, in, a lawyer, I'm a brilliant investigator. I've been to some of the best countries in the world. I graduated, I graduated from international law from academy in the States. I've been a national police university in China. I, can't, I don't want to leave my portfolio. So as brilliant as you are as a lawyer, I am brilliant as I am as an investigator. But look at him. Uh, see you, look at you in the state in the in the in the studio. The senior man that the senior man that Renny Gray, he from even even my military background and 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 and, and, and the rest of the people. Of course, the, the people are too bad, go go intellect and I know uh, Hassan should be some some security background. Look at look at Lafayette, look at Lafayette Google, look what he's saying. Being that there was no intruder, so it means like you charge somebody. Can you imagine? If there was no intruder, is it is it is it sustaining not to charge somebody with murder? I mean, I mean, I'm giving an analogy. So the so the somebody who are going out to visit. An argument is soon and I resolve and I and I put and I put in door something. It means I've got no intuitive child by a Look at it as a lawyer, look at the angle you're coming from. I don't want to reason. Thank you, Mr. Dennis. Mr. 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 Yeah, the, the former candidate attorney, the, the, the former candidate attorney, his name is Councillor Baga Harvey. I want for you to, to reach out to him. Lafayette Gwen myself, we even had a class on the, on the, right in the candidate attorney this office. This is serious. About the difference in the charging. I want, I want for you to reach out to Councillor Baga Harvey. Councillor Baga Harvey, he, he opposed those charges. He said that no way he was signing damage because that was not a, that was, those were not the charges I presented to him. Additionally, the senior police advisor in the U.S. embassy, his name is Keith Casey. You can reach out to him. When I did a PowerPoint presentation on the charges, so this is what we're going to do, Mr. Dennis. Mr. Dennis, Mr. Dennis, I'll bring you on the show tomorrow. Get ready. I'll bring you in studio tomorrow. I know where you're calling from. I know where you are. You're in the state, and we're going to have a good conversation. Those names that you're calling, those names we have heard before, and we'd like to reach out to them. Thank you very much, Mr. Dennis. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Dennis, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. You got me never I talk to you. All right, listen. Let me say this. And I'm not everybody now on the hill, they want to they want to go ahead and uh and, and make a point. A lot is coming up that we have been holding on to. But he called in names, Duarte. He called in the U.S. Embassy. He called in people. I, I, I'm not asking you to go into deep, Counselor. But you think it was necessary, beyond all reasonable doubt, that you charge all four, all four defendants with murder. You know, stand on. Yes, sir. That's why I said when people, firstly, Moreau left, Moreau left this country, he went to America. He asked for leave. And since he went here, not return. Maybe he know what he's looking for. Maybe you're looking for asylum or whatever. People got different, different things. I you know. So I don't know. But the moral that I know, right? I don't know where the moral still talking like that. Because 
let's agree stanton we had an investigation we are five prosecutors we all had different opinion on issue three of us are let's say resolve we say we'll go answering with this what wrong about that when we had a debate when we argue when you put your point put my points in right and we resolve we say oh we'll go with this that's agree what wrong what wrong with that as a professional person i go into a case i look at the evidence like i told you i look at the evidence of burning samuka case i was not convinced i look at the evidence of other cases i was not convinced i didn't go into it i went into this case did you, all did, you get into, did you get into did you get into, get into no, that, no, no, Benny, no, Benny. Get my into point is in Benny. the office of the attorney general or the what? Did, he said you guys were fighting in one of those offices on the there was no fight no that was, i don't want to go that, there was no fight on anything was charged that same man was the one that went and did powerpoint presentation that same man was the one that went to the grand jury how can you know, or how can you now we say okay we charge for murder if you cannot charge for murder what do you do even in law you recuse yourself you went to the grand jury and presented the were evidence you, were you honored were you honored durance just to please the sedition who who i want to who I, I sat down in the government for for almost for for, for six years and when the president went wrong i told him no no i'm an independent man and that's what I said to you, Stanton. Every decision that I made in any all the cases, I made a conviction. And I don't regret, I don't regret the actions I took in any case. So it is, it is, you know, when I heard that Moreau was the person coming out, that what I said is even unethical for a former police officer who has not even spent five years of the seven, not even a year, who has left the country as a police officer and will still consider him. To be a police investigator will come on 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 on, on this such a platform and get the kind of information that he gave me assuming you have divergence you think all of you do you think when, when i when i when i did not go through the burning seven car case i did not come on radio to tell people all oh, the evidence was there i said i didn't believe in it it was not sufficient i didn't go in it I didn't hold people, I didn't say, oh, somebody will push you somebody to, to, to go and prosecute. No. That's what make a professional. We will disagree and come up with a decision. Everything that we okay. did, we did it consciously. And because Moreau, uh -huh. at the last moment, Moreau wanted to go on leave. And because well, he was a team, can, can I come in? 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 All right, so guys, this is what we're going to do. We will all of you. So let's do one more question each. We'll go to Glenny first and your mama. Then the men will come in later. Glenny? So I, I, I'm a little bit disappointed, and I'm disappointed in your response and then in your counteract to the detective who was on. Because if mm. you're one of the lead, lead prosecutor, you're telling us here tonight that the three of you argued and came up with this decision to convict her for being guilty. What I expect you to hear from you as a lawyer is that they put on the upon the preponderance of evidence based on what we saw, we were able to accuse, and you accuse not just one person, you convicted all four of them for murder. And you're here tonight, you're not telling us that because of evidence, it's because of oh, we were we were three or we were five, and three of us said yeah. let's convict so, them. That's what I'm so, hearing from you. So, says Lenny, first thing you misunderstood me. I said, assuming without admitting that we had this discussion, assuming without admitting that we had this discussion, that we had agreement, what was wrong about that as professionals? For three people, because, to, for three of you to decide. Because, no, because, no, I'm coming. No, because I'm coming. When you decide, when you are discussing, when you are debating, you're debating the evidence. You don't debate all of the blue sky. You debate the evidence. You present your case based on the evidence you have before you. So even if you are debating, it is the evidence that you're debating on. That's what I'm saying. I'm, I told you from the beginning, when you asked me this question, 
I said to you, I went into that case of my conviction and I believe in the evidence. I didn't shy away. I said to you, I took the witnesses to the grand jury because I was the face of the prosecution. I said to you, we, in, we drafted the indictment. I told you that. I said, I cannot go follow on why we went this, 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 this because the matter is still before the court. I'm determined. So I cannot go in death. So when he comes out tonight and try to say, because he's in America or somewhere else there, and try to say, I cannot do it. I cannot count on him the way he's coming up because the case is still before court. Okay, let's let's that's, go to Ava because we yeah, have that's what I'm saying. Let's let's go to Ava. I think he wanted to come in next. Yeah, one more so, counselor. Yes, sir. Well, can you just share what is the specific information or additional facts? Thank you. That moved you away from his position yeah, and his right. reasoning, which I'm not saying is right, to be able to bring. Of murder child. But Ava, Ava, we're going to the same old thing about the evidence. About the evidence. We're going to the same old thing. All of the pieces of evidence that we have, we presented. First thing, first thing, where there, this whole thing about charging somebody and we changing charge. That's the first thing. That was stand on action. Why your first charge? Oh, we intend to do this. There was no charge. There was no charge. So that's why I said it's disingenuous for a police investigator to come up and just, I mean, even what he did, I mean, a uh, 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 Revy Graves, yeah. The DA, the, 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 the deputy, yeah. They know, they know the ethic of security. I'm sure you have how you know. So that's what so I, I want to That's another point I wanted to get to. For us to just yes. understand that a no. decision to bring the case forward with whatever charge is at the prosecutor's judgment and based on his analysis, right? It was on everybody. In fact, the attorney general, the former attorney general of the Republic of Liberia also reviewed that indictment before he went to the grand jury room. Made corrections in it. It's not, it's not because in every case, they have a lawyer who will be like in front or so. But this is a case that was sanctioned by the former Attorney General of the Public Liberia. He reviewed the indictment along with us. Mor How the moral then decide to go before the grand jury to testify and present evidence for murder. So it was even unethical for Thank him you. to have done so. Thank you, Colonel Gray. Come to your... Uh, so... No, you, wait. So more brought evidence of murder for somebody else in Namusu. Who? Moro Dennis appeared before the grand jury as the government witness as, well, as the two investigators to present the evidence the government had against all four. Murder, criminal conspiracy, criminal facilitation, and false reporting. But it's if Moro Dennis if, his statement. Yes, yes. So, so the no, always coming right. back. And there Thank are you. also people who were on the grand jury who have not said Since that they were pressured, they were forced to vote in, in with, with that case, to vote to convict Gura Mususka. There are people on the jury, and you are a lead prosecutor. Counselor, I mean, say, say, Benny. Let's keep it. Let's keep it. There's nobody, there's absolutely nobody that can say such thing. The, the one I said, if I am a lawyer, I don't believe in a case, I don't go there. Moro Dennis did not believe in the case. He's an ethical person. Why did he go there? Why did he go present evidence in a case that he has? He does not have belief in the evidence. The first thing is unethical, it is unethical to do. Thank so you, he sir. had just brought his phone out to the public. It's, it's wrong. Do do that. Also, I know this is an unintended consequence. Uh, you came here to address issue about your withdrawal from uh, a from a nomination, presidential nomination, but then now you are threatening on landmines. I know you are you are threatening cautiously because uh, there are certain ethical issues you must not discuss, uh, given the fact that the situation is still um, 
um, on the docket or in front of the, the court. Um, Glendy talks about preponderance. I'm hoping to hear exculpatory, in other words, DNA evidence, but that's not for you to answer. My question to you is, do you think you are being bastardized because of the same political issue and given the individual involved? If this were a common man down the street, you think you'll be dragged and hauled this way, sir? No, I don't think so. Because I have, we have prosecuted several common people before who have not been dragged. Several of them. Several armed robbers. So I can understand the uh, the person involved. I understand the connection. And but I life. That's society. That's how it is. If I go to work in this government, I, I was if I go to work as assistant minister of litigation, and somebody comes from the CDC government who is being charged for, for murder or whatever the case, I will prosecute the person the same way that I had the evidence to prosecute the person I did in the past government. Let me learn the because I represent the government. Let me let and give the others a chance. Uh, let me lend in and say, uh, you know, in front, you're showing that, um, you know, you, you're courageously taking the president's decision now to put you forth for the position with good faith. But I'm, I'm, I'm looking at you in the back. At, is there any malice involved behind there, you know, about this situation with you and the president? No. no, I don't have malice for anybody. Thank you. I, I try as much as possible because, uh, Remy, uh, Mr. Green, in life, the one thing I've always learned from my from my previous boss and my parents and my church people, there is time for everything. It's not every time that your name is called at a particular point in time, it means that you you supposed to know. Sometimes it is just meant to elevate you to one level, to another level, and people get to know who you are and get to go check behind you, know the principles you stand for, and say, oh, then I know this guy. Follow his records. Look at my Facebook post. All the years I spent with CDC. Look at how I conducted myself in the CDC government. I was working with them. I didn't care. So I hold no malice against anybody. The only thing that I say, if it is about this matter, then I'm prepared to go to the to the slaughterhouse. <laughs> because I believe in the evidence. Thank you. I went with my conviction. Walu, can I ask one no, question? No, 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 please, no, please, no, please, no, please. It's my turn. Yeah, it's one turn. question, please. One question, sir. Okay, so let me look. Uh, first of all, Council Lavigo, I apologize on behalf of my panelists because what you were, what, the way they grill you and they try to relitigate a murder case. I, I, I love Dora Musu Scott. She's a very dear friend of mine. I've known her for a lot of years. Okay. Jurors in Liberia convicted her. And we have a rotten criminal justice system. They have an opportunity, our people who came to rescue us to fix that rotten criminal justice system. But to put you on the Gidget team, as they did tonight, thoroughly unfair. You didn't come here to relitigate the Global Muslims Card case. You came here to demonstrate the incompetence of a presidency that did not appoint you or send your name to the Senate, but withdrew you. That was the case here. It was not about whether you wrongly convicted and you were accused of receiving monies when these are official monies that you signed for. This is wrong. There's a, at there's any a, question, level. In there. there's a question in there. At any level. I will get to the question. Yeah, but in time. Based upon what you've seen today now, aren't you happy? Aren't, aren't you ecstatic? that your nomination was withdrawn because you have been working in a very toxic environment. People who would dislike you, people who would have given you. Him you, on who said, people okay. come on the show, you ask different questions from Thank different Thank you. Areas. I don't know why you're apologizing for other people's questions. Just ask a question. Do you apologize for Why you apologize for us? Ask another you should ask your question directly. You are you ecstatic? Are you ecstatic? Are you ecstatic? 
Start that your over meaning, nothing. Ask your question. That start your with your was wrong. That you do not want to work in this toxic caricature environment where nine individuals were appointed and withdrawn. It had never happened in Liberian history before. Aren't you happy that you don't have to work in this toxic environment? Thank you, sir. Mr. 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 Uh, uh, Jackson. Yeah. When the environment is for me, is when I perform even more. When the environment is toxic, that way I can perform more. I work on a more toxic environment. On, on, on the we are regime was toxic for me. I performed. They had no other choice but to have the use me to go to Echo House Court to represent the government. On our winning cases, a Ryan Charles Little case, this other person case, that case, yes. They had no choice. When I was going to represent them from different, different conferences, they had no choice because I maintain my professionalism. So if this environment is toxic, great. That's what I like. I told you I, I grew up doing the water. They seem to bracket dropping from one place to another and survive. So if I can survive to do the bullets, to survive, I didn't leave this country, I can survive anywhere. Only thing that is required of a human being, I would say, work with a clear conscience. Work with a clear conscience, regardless of how your, your decision may look in the eyes of people. One day, they will get to appreciate what you've done. They're not, as a prosecutor, they're not a place you go to, it's not a place where you go to, to uh, 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 they're not patent trade. You will not be celebrated. So if you're thinking about being celebrated as a prosecutor, you're wrong. Because you will hit the high hand head. You will go after the uh, the, 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 the tycoon, what is, what is the drug, the, uh, 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 this guy who was selling drugs. You go after big guns. So you will not be celebrated. You, and sir. I am not prepared to be celebrated. So I prepare, like I said to you, I hold on anybody. Everybody make mistakes in life. And if you think that we'll come on the show and say, oh, the person is competent, I no. I consider what happened to be a mistake. I know it will be corrected, and the government will move on. I don't have to be a city minister in the government. No. It was just a chance for me to sit at the table. I need to stop you there. No, 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 thank you, thank you, Mr. Jackson. I'm going to go to Fabi Gah. You are yeah. deliberately yeah. withdrawn. It's not a mistake. 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 Mr. Jackson, can we be fair, and the, please? And, and the deliberation so I don't want to have to mute you. Mr. Jackson. Mr. Jackson. Mr. Jackson. Mr. Jackson. Mr. Jackson. Can you mute me? Mr. Jackson. Mr. Jackson. Mr. Jackson, this is not fair at all. It's not professional. How do you got go ahead? There's a lot of us, man. There's a lot of us. I don't know why you're trying to pull words in the middle mouth. Uh, you know, don't cry about the bereave. I am the bereave here now. Exactly. Exactly. Thank you, Mr. Jackson. That's enough. That's enough. Thank you. How do you got go ahead? Go ahead. Oh, I mean, I have one question. It's very Yeah, that asked the question. Um, I want you to tell, be honest to yourself, to all of us here. Why do you honestly believe your name was withdrawn? If you have any idea, what, just give up an inside though. If you know why you were your name was withdrawn. Honestly speaking, the only thing that came to me, the only thing that came to me the following day that my name was up is that was a growing new package. I won't lie. I wouldn't lie. Or anybody, all the news I've been hearing was that my involvement in the global Muslim case. Anybody? All the it was only prosecuted, a lot of things were said. So if, if the people who told me those things, I close people, I believe in the in their in their in their judgment. That's the only thing I can say, uh uh uh, uh I don't have any I don't have I've not been taken to the ethics committee before. I got ethical issue. All the work I've done for this country I mean, people will see and say, yeah, let's get this my opportunity to end up to work, to grow. Because working in the government, it's just a matter of elevation to take me from one level to another level to put me on the table now and decide and to become a decision maker. That's all. 
Thank you. Mr. Gu, because we have a lot of people now, we really appreciate Keep your answers straight to the point. Mr. Jerome, welcome to the show. Mr. Dennis, I want you to come in for no more than one minute or maximum two minutes to say something if you have something to say, Mr. Dennis. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Dalu. The first thing I, I listened to Council Gu, Council Gu may mention me uh, meeting the, the, the grand jury, appearing from the grand jury. Yes, I did appear in front of the grand jury. Prior to my appearance, I want you to ask him. He came to the police station. Like he put me on on pressure to go there. I said, I don't go for that. But I hope I hope that I can have the opportunity. I hope the former inspector general listen and appear on the on the show. Because when the justice minister, I hope the former justice minister is listening. The former justice minister has gotten an information that there were that there were dissenting view from from uh, some of the investigators, and he has gone to the police station on this day to have a meeting. We're all in the meeting. When the former inspector general tried to pr present the case as such to charge everybody to charge all Omar Kwa with Omar Rebecca Westnos. And he went where he did, he did a misinterpretation of the Omar statement that when the late girl was being killed, the, the Omar was praying. So they are throwing right in the meeting, and it comes a good there. It comes a good wants it, it comes a good wants to be sincere. He can he, he can be sincere. But the path the, the I see him, I see him moving on the path of in, on a path of insincerity. So then I told him, at, right in, front, in the presence of the Minister of Justice, I said, no, I said, I said, Honorary Inspector General, who gave you the information? That Omar was never praying when the girl was being killed. He said, well, that's why I said, that's what happened, that's what happened. So then the Justice Minister said, no way. He said, Aaron, why are you saying? I said, well, Chief, the information the IG gave me, with all due respect, the IG information is, is, is erroneous. That, and, and it's a misrepresentation of the Omar statement. So then the judge minister said, what do you mean? I said, Chief, with all due respect, then the inspector general, he got, he got, the inspector general, he came, he came with an infantic voice against me. What do you mean? What do you mean? Why you let Ali know too much? You're the only investigator. I stopped him. I said, Chief, I'm not the only investigator, but one of those investigators that goes to court regularly. So I know the difficulty will be equal. They will say we're charging everybody. So the judge minister, and I respect the judge minister, but I'm Musa Din. So Musa Din said, okay, you're, you're saying for the Omar statement. Immediately the same for Omar Rebecca was not statement. And the state, the state was read. Seconds, sir. Another 15 seconds. So and you the, can ask me some question. Okay. Yeah, thank you. And the state was read. And and the and the and the, 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 the assertion made by the Inspector General was totally different from the Omar statement. So the judge minister lay by. And in that very meeting, I want you to, I want you to ask Councillor Gu. I look in a face at Tony and Tony and say, Councillor Gu, you are all pressing asking if I if I did not make mention to him. I said, you're asking this too. I said, Councillor Gu. You are all present, and I was saying that from the anger because I respected him. I said, You are all present, he's saying I would just tell everybody. You know what he told me? Then he read that it comes a good lie on the particular platform. We're not respecting on the death. You, he Thank told you. me, he said, he told me, he said, Why are you being political? I said, I'm not being political, but we don't have the evidence to charge all the people. And more besides, even if I appear before the grand jury, you're going to look at my testimony. My testimony for the grand jury, not that grand jury, my testimony for the grand jury, we're providing the fact and stand in the fact and circumstances. That, that, that I know about the case. Thank you, sir. For the records are there. Thank you, but sir. You may measure what me do a, a PowerPoint presentation. Yeah. The PowerPoint presentation I did. Mr. I did a PowerPoint presentation. The US ambassador are there. You're going as the, the senior police advisor. The Mr. PowerPoint Mr. presentation Mr. are there in the senior staff conference without ever charging everybody for murder. Mr. You're Dennis, going to ask the block, have it. Mr. Dennis for the sake lying. of the audience and decorum, we have to follow certain protocol. I understand there's a lot to be explained. We'll get you back on the show. <laughs> we will ask you questions, but please, guys, you have to get the record. So he's, he's lying. He, he Mr. Has Jerry, he has lying. He's lying, sir. We have a lot of people. Fatima, ask your question directly, and so I'll take 30 seconds, 45 seconds respond, so everybody can ask you. Next will be Brother Jerome. Fatu, go ahead with your question, please. I have a little statement, and my question is that okay? My statement is, oh, uh, I, I, well, I think it's a question because I don't want to hold anybody up. Um, Kassara Gould, are you aware of, uh, uh, um, that up to date they found out that over four or five people have been arrested for going to Gloria Mususkat's home while she is in prison by like coming to her home and Open the door and going in there. I, I, have you been made aware of any of that? Why she's in prison? No, like I said to you, uh, 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 what did you say? Fatima. I left. This, yeah, Fatima. I left this country in November five. Oh, okay. I was out of here. I did I, what I what I did. I did my work. 
And then when I was called to go to the United Nations, I left, November 5. So what happened behind me, I don't know. All right, my statement, Uncle Sam, with all due respect, I don't think you should be apologizing for us. When we come out here, we are here to voice our opinions and to make sure that things that we want to voice out, this is the forum to do so. So you shouldn't be empathetic or apologizing on our behalf. We have the right to speak our minds. Thank you. Thank you. Right Brother Jerome. To apologize too. Now I'll come yeah. to you, yeah. Mama, you're next. Brother Jerome, go ahead. I have a right to apologize. I know, I know, Uncle Sam. Brother Jerome, go ahead. Directly to your question, you're muted. <laughs> Mr. Jerome, are you there? You're muted, sir. You're muted. Mr. Jerome, what we'll do, we'll come back to you. It seems you something. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we can hear you now. Can you hear me now? Yes. Can you hear me now? Okay, my man, I have lost cell. We, we don't have time. Can you hear me now? Can Thank you very you much. Councillor Gu, I'm disappointed in two ways. I have to tell you tonight so that when you go to bed, you will think about it for the rest of your life. I'm disappointed in two things. One, your failure to tell us the budget of your prosecution of Moses Cat and children was a failure on your part. In your use was a public fund. It was not your personal money. It was not the personal money of the Minister of Justice. It is the money allocated by the people of Liberia for you to prosecute someone. You said you were the head of the prosecution. That means you participated in projecting the budget for that prosecution, for the prosecution of these of these of these individuals. There's no way that you can know that this amount of money was spent on the prosecution because it is not that you stole the money. It is not that you you were you invested the money, but it is that you are being you are being clear with the Liberian people. How much money did you use? How much money was put aside for you? Your failure to say tonight how much your budget was, was a failure. And this is why most librarians don't trust our lawyers, because some of you have behaved in a way that create doubt on your own character. That's the first thing. Number two, Brother Gu, you know and I know. I'm not a lawyer, even though I have a legal background as a paralegal. But I, you know and I know, they bar for murder. The bar for murder is very, very high. And there's no way you said what that tonight, you say your conscience is clear. You know Musu's cat did not participate. You know it to kill her own daughter. You know that. There is no proof of murder. You know what you guys did? And I have to say that so those of you who did that yes, will yes, remember sir. forever. You know what you guys did? You all snare Musu's cat into murder. Because if you charge a group of people with a charge, and none of them ask for severing trial, and one is guilty, the rest of them are guilty. That is why you put there the Muslim Scott. If she had asked okay. for severing trial, she would have been seen as abandoning her children into the murder case, and she would have probably been from this from from from, from the from the prosecution. At least if okay. I would have Thank expected you, that you, criminal facilitation, probably criminal facilitation, which is available. Could have been the best charge for her because Take probably she was there. Probably she didn't call people on time. Probably she didn't say what was happening on time. So but it could be criminal uh, facilitation. But to charge Moses Scott with Mr. murder, Jones, we have to respect you the must have a criminal facilitator to show that she did it with an intent. Because as a lawyer, you know, you Jones, must prove you the men's rear of the crime that was committed. You cannot sir. prove today that Moses Scott did Plan and executed the murder of that girl. Yes, now I can't do this because the guys will okay. not follow the rules. We have to follow the rules, guys. Please, everybody got to talk, brother. You got thirty seconds to respond, and we go back to brother. Jer I mean, to brother Dennis. We have to throw on this thing over, guys. We can't do it. Okay. Anything. Yeah, my man. Okay. I, my man, I, my man, I, my man, I, my man. Sorry, I can't give me. You can't give me extra time. So the first thing here, I'm not going to to respond to the second part of his comment because again it's going into the marriage <laughs> because when i say when i start to talk about how 
I hear one person for murder. There is me. I'm discussing the merits of the case in terms of how I drew up my indictment and everything. This matter is before the Supreme Court, like I said. No lawyer will come here to start discussing the merits of this case. So I will not go there because the first thing you say, she's will be charged with this, she's will be charged with this. So once you start going into that, then you go into discussing the merits of the case. So I can't go to that part. Let's leave that. When the court rules, we'll have all of the time to discuss the evidence in the year, where mistakes were, where anyone will be identified, we'll discuss it. And we'll do now why we did this, why we did this, how we came up with this, and why we came up with this. Who will tell you that? But now it's difficult for me to tell you because as I explain in here, it will be the matter that will go before the court. So it will injure the case, either my case or the defense case. So let us lay that one side. The next one you asked, you said, I didn't talk about budget. I was not asked about budget. The question was asked, how much was released for the case? How much was released from the case is different from how much you budgeted for the case. Big brother, at least my own little, little small thing I learned, I can take time, I can listen before I answer questions. So I listened well. How much was released? I told him, mm -mm. and I know, because you know what? The solicitor general, look, when you talk about face of case, the guy, like Moreau sitting out here as the, who was the chief investigator. All of the finances involving that case, that Moreau was, was spending it. That not Moreau, if there any money, that not Moreau. All the RG or so. So the solicitor general, right the whatever money came i don't know i said the records are with the controller because it was to the so what controller was the budget of the case what was the budget what was the budget of the case thank you we had two we had two two budgets one we anticipated that the case was going out of town so i remember i remember because consider uh, uh a living stool was the one actually working on the details of the budget. I was working on the details of the case. So I, I, I think I know it was up to, I think, 200 times to take the case outside of Morovia. When the case did not go outside Morovia, I didn't know how much now was released by the Ministry of Finance. Thank you. So that's why I said I'm careful as to what i say on this platform because when i say something on the platform and then the record show different thing then i'm discredited thank you sir but there is a record at the controller's office that i went and i signed for prosecution fund taking mm -hmm. me from all the way to the investigation to end up to the trial and whatever mm -hmm. so that's why i said let's go to that record when that record shows anything I will say, then I can say, no, 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 this record is not true or falsified. So, so how much because you signed for for the first time? How much you signed for for the first time? Mr. Jerome, Mr. Jerome, thank you very much. How much did you sign for for the first time? Thank you so much, sir. Rebello, the first and only time the records are before the controller. Yeah, no, because you're, you're, the records there. You follow the rule. You're That's what I'm for me. I didn't go to some of the rooms to people to people end up. You follow the rule, but you want you want decorum. We're not getting decorum. Yeah, I didn't go to some of the rooms to people end up. Listen. I went through the budget process, through the Ministry of Justice, Rachel, you and to the controller office. I find. Yeah. So who's, who's next to ask the question? Because you're, um, all right, and your mama, go ahead. You're muted, and your mama. You can hear me? Yes. Are you aware that um I echo? Um first of all, I'd like to ask you, let me ask you the first question. The question will be were you pressurized? Were you pressurized mm. to prosecute Kuro Mususka and convict her? What Thank you. Were you first thing, CDC government to do that 
because he knew that Gloria Mususka was loyal for for the Unity Party, and she's a well-learned woman, smart, brilliant woman, one of the smartest women in this country. And so they knew that if she has stayed or in any case came up, she was going to make sure that Mr. Baga wins, President Baga wins. So that was very troublesome for them. So they pressurized him because I know you to be a good lawyer. And you went there and prosecuted a woman and convicted her. And you asking a question now, or you making a statement? You asking, let him answer, and your mama asked him and gave him the chance to answer. Yeah, but you can't put anger, and your mama, don't put anger in this thing. That's yeah, what we do. And no, but yeah, but but and your mama, and your mama, and your mama, and your mama, and your mama. Uh, Mama, we will not we will not continue with this when you ask the question you wait let's take the feeling all of it let's start our uh, counselor can you go ahead and answer Andrew my question please first thing i would say when i was pressured by the we are government to resign my position for the ministry of justice because of an action that i took in the interest of the country I told the government that I would not resign because it was in my office to resign. I'm a civil servant. I think you heard that it was all on the media. I can never be uh, pressured by any, any authority to do wrong. So in this case, I will say frank, frank, I was never pressured by anybody. But that is that even moral yet. Moral said on the station, I never said you were pressured, coerced, put this on duress, threatened by anybody. Even him who's here on, the, on, the, on this platform. You was not talking about disagreement. Oh, I didn't agree on this. And we didn't agree on this, we agree on that. But nobody put gun to somebody here. Nobody forced anybody. Nobody pressured anybody. It was all about our opinion and our understanding of the issue. So I can never. And I was never pressured by anybody. So, Councillor Go, we want to say thank you for coming on the show tonight. Like uh, Uncle Sam said, you came to discuss the issue about your nomination that was withdrawn. Uh, but we have to ask you this question. Given the opportunity, we ask this question. And it's very important. If it is true that based on the Gloria Muslim Scarf case, uh, the pull back your nomination then it's a fair game for us to ask the question i'm going to ask my one question and again guys we say everybody should take charge but having control and do i do not feel the pain that i usually feel when you do not have control and people talking and that's exactly what do i do right so i love that i'm going to tease him on that but the fact remains is that to my brother moron uh, we say thank you for coming as well Counselor, let be frank. Did you make a mistake in the Gloria Muslim Scout case? Where no. was your shoe coming? Nope. I don't know of any mistake that I made in, in the case. I have not not to my knowledge. I think okay. like I said, I believe in the evidence I went for. No. Okay. In terms of who will be able to identify I know real quick because I know you gotta go. Who charged Gloria Muslim Scout? Who brought about the charges first? The initial charges against Gloria Muslim Sky. When you say initial charges, it's the team, it's the, it's the, it's the prosecution team. It, I mean, the, the who because we had who recommended those charges? Recommended the charges? Uh, yes, sir. But the police, the police are all, the, the, the police were convincing the charge. Okay, no, no, no. Let's take time. The reason why I'm asking. In, yeah, in fact, in fact, in fact, in fact, in fact. I know I remember that the police even wanted to come up with such a charge even before when when Wahedni or, uh, or, 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 or the former attorney general were even accused. You were even accused so, of well, delaying. I, I'm asking a question based on information we are receiving. When the incident took place, when the family were arrested, the initial charge came from Patrick Sulu. Was that his recommendation? That initially you charged Gloria Muslim Sky with murder? All of them. 
No, not all, all of them. Of them. Are Patrick Sudo. Was that Patrick Sudo recommendation? That was a recommendation from the police. In fact, in fact, the police, the, the police plan to even go for a press conference to have a press academy. Give me a chance. The police plan to have a press conference. And remember, this journalist, uh, uh Abraham William. Abraham William had a group of women that they talked to the Ministry of Justice, accusing the Ministry of Justice of holding on to the report of the police. No, hold on now. Just hold on. I beg you, uh, uh, Councillor. You said the initial charges came from the Labrador National Police, Patrick Sulu. Am I correct? Correct. Okay. Correct. So the best of my knowledge, to the best of my knowledge that I got involved, yes, yes. So the best because I know that I was part of the I was at the Ministry of Justice. I can I know that I was at the Ministry of Justice when the protester went there, demanded the Attorney General to come down because he was holding on the report and did not want to release it. Whereas the attorney general was trying to see whether those charges actually align. Because that's as yeah. that's a hold on that. Uh, for me, if, if, Baruch can, if, if, if Baruch can recollect, can recollect, he's there. If he can recollect, he can um, he knows exactly what I'm talking about. Councillor, Councillor. Yeah. yeah. When you first saw, I'm gonna ask Maureen the same question. When you first saw the document, right? Those charges were recommended by Patrick Sudo and the Labrador National Police? By the Labrador National Police. So when you first saw the Labrador document, you accepted, you accepted those charges as ace? But we had to review. No, uh, Stanton, we had to review. Yeah. We had to review it as prosecutor is our job. And so when, when we review it, yes. yes, we review it and determine. Yes, and the determination were made, then the determination were made by you is OK to charge Gloria Muslim Scott with murder. Yeah. By, by by the attorney general, I'm by the saying, yeah, general. I'm saying you. I'm saying yes. you. I'm not getting by into the head. head. Then it, the determination was made by you. Your position. It was okay to charge Gloria Muslim Scott with murder. Yes, I told you. I said, yeah, I didn't that man. Okay. I drafted the that man for murder. So, so based on the recommendation of the Labrador National Police, correct? Based on the recommendation of the Labrador National Police. Based on our review of the evidence that was provided by the police, we proceeded to have the indictment. Did you so listen? Did you, did you listen to the senior, senior investigator at the time that the recommendation, his recommendation, went contrary to Patrick Sudo's recommendation? Did you listen to Mr. Dennis? Uh, stand on. Like I said to you. We should not be going back and forth with who disagree and who not disagree. That be frank. It's going to be unfair to us to come on the platform and be discussing about who disagree no, with who no, disagree. No, 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 because the reason why, the reason why I'm telling you, this question is like, please, cancel, in that cancel, bed, I'm cancel, telling you. Ask the question, yes. cancel it, please. Cancel it, please. Stand up, I need to come here at this point to provide I, I, the I want to bring you in, Mr. Dennis. I ask the question because the initial recommendation presented to you you say it came from Patrick Sudo. Mr. Dennis, the initial recommendation came from who? Mr. Dennis, are you hearing us? Stand on. Yes, you can hear us? Yeah, yeah, I'm hearing you now. Yeah. Stand on, let me just start my session by staying. The, 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 the FBI guy is saying, and it says, it is easy to say the truth and it is hard to lie. Yeah. I, I, as a matter of fact, there's, there, there's an OS doctrine in Liberia that folks use the hands of the police for dirty work. If you go on my page now, you see I, I wrote an article entitled Dirty Hands. There's a tradition in Liberia that folks use stem yeah, by get the issue. Get, get to the issue. We don't all the time. Get, get to the issue. Now. Yeah, get I'm to the issue. Because the Lafayette group saying it because the the Dennis Federal General endorsed because the Lafayette group then falsely charged you know, people. And I want I want for because the Lafayette group a state that goes straight to the report. In every investigation, there is only called an investigative report. What what someone might ask? 
what the investigate what the investigative report entails. The investigative report is, is, is a integrative or the entirety of the case. Now, Councilor Lafayette Gould saying that is key for police. I don't want to read it, the investigative report. I, I inculcate, I inculcate something like investigative report called investigative analysis. It is unusual, normally not in the police report, but take into consideration the, 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 the complexity of the case. So I, 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 I inculcate the, the investigative, investigative analysis report. Now, if you read the investigative analysis, the investigative analysis report, it clearly, it clearly, it clearly vindicate, it clearly vindicate uh, 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 Yellow Alice and 84 year old Becca Wisner. They are they are completely generated. So comes of Lafayette being a brilliant lawyer as he clean as he claims to be. He he did not even capture that because I'm the author of that report. So even if they wanted to go contrary, they even know. Read the investigative report stand on. Let me produce a report of your right now. You're good at on investigative analysis. You oh my call Rebecca Wisner. There is nothing kept in investigative analysis on Rebecca Wisner. If police wanted to the child or then police were posting there to force a criminal, I did not do it. They didn't they even know because they lost sight of that. I, I'm a technician in criminal investigation. You don't joke with me. Come to Lafayette, I don't know. He posted about being loyal. I am one of I am one of the queen that queen like bracket, not my chair. I just I don't let a post about it, but people Everybody people know. That is, that is so I read an investigative report. There's that nothing is. that kept up Omar Rebecca Wisner. It clearly tells that you that she should not have been charged. You're going on something called investigative analysis. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Mauro. Thank you, you very much. I know we're gonna have you. We're gonna have you again. Let's wrap this thing up. It's eight thirty. So Let's the second one, Gio. No, I, no, so but, but please, Mario, Mario, listen, listen. I, I, I just want. I just yeah, want let me to provide the right. information. No, 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 no. Yeah. Hold on one minute. Hold on one minute. We are not. We are not. Listen. We are not at your level. I just asked very common <laughs> basic question. The initial okay. uh, uh, recommendation. The recommendation to charge the family with murder. You disagree with the rec with the recommendation coming from Patrick Sulu. Am I correct? I mean, yeah. you have your internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. Internet. And because of can't admit to it. You were in a meeting where I did agree with Patrick Sulu. So you alone or you and others? I mean, this, this thing, when we do this thing, I, I mean, we're going to come back tomorrow. My, my immediate supervisor, and, and, and Lafayette, what I want you to do, I will need you to reach out to the Deputy Inspector General of Police for Crown Services, Honorable Prince Mulba. After the meeting, he called me in office in Nama and Shula. He said, Monroe, I know your step on critical issue, but sometimes you need to take time. You saw how the, you saw how thing went down there. Even though we know all the posts you not been charged, so pretty much even you get this agreement. If you reach out to him, you can be on the show tomorrow. He's a professional guy. There's no way you want to ruin his character. And I'll be honored with you. What kind of kind of good doing now? Kind of doing kind of good. Maybe you may not know you are ruining your character. I'll be friend with you. Because I I invest get a report. It will expose you that all everybody should not have been charged. Maybe you know you are not ready. You are reporting them. I think so. I think you are just rushing with sentiment. So he did not he did not care to read our, our report from Britain. I'm Britain. I'm the craft of our report. I'm the author of our report. Read our report, you know. There's no way you can try by the murder. The I did still uh, don't provide uh, information. We gotta go. When Mr. I did Dennis. a presentation, Mr. Mr. Dennis. when Mr. I did a presentation Mr. in the press of former candidate Antonio Braga have it. That was saying that you didn't him. And you have to ask Wait, guys. When I speak about the presentation, the pattern is Stand on. Stand on. No, wait, 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 wait. Stand on. Stand on. Wait. I'm coming. I've tolerated. I didn't know a lot on the show tonight. Right? Stand on. Go ahead. No, 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 no. Wait. Let's listen to Councilor. I've tolerated a lot on the show on the show tonight. You are lying. With Moro coming out and saying things, right? I did my professional job. Only the Supreme Court can tell me say that I was wrong in my professional job. I'm not going to sit on this show and be going back and forth with Moreau on who did this, who brought the other person No. Let us wait. Let the Supreme Court look at the evidence. Supreme Court, if there's any mistake that we made, any error, the Supreme Court will point out those errors. And then we can move from there. Let us not prejudice the kids. I will ask 
that we allow this discussion to go one side and let us wait for the code because now what we are doing i'm tempted to go into discussing the merits when i shouldn't go into it i'm tempted to respond to things that i should not respond to right that moro is saying so as a professional person i came on the show to talk about whatever that happened we talk about it and i know we we'll talk briefly about this whole thing i didn't expect moro to come in but he came in i don't hold any grudge for moro but i just think that sometimes we need to be professional and we need to maintain our our professionalism at all levels whether we in or out, we are professionals so for me i will advise that yeah hey, thank you counselor counselor listen thank you very much for joining us tonight we have to leave we're going to leave it there we want to say thank you for even giving us uh almost two hours to have this conversation i really appreciate you and again we hope to have you again on the issue of your the record of your name your appointment it is why it is the labyrinth people have seen through they have heard and uh we hope that your assignment on the un representing liberia pays well uh to to, to showcase liberia out there especially through a greener man like you thank you very much counselor yeah but before the counselor goes can i i'm asking if i just wanted to ask him a brief question counselor one of the one of the viewer asked me a question she wanted to know what happened to the one million dollar u.s drug a uh, guy that was busted uh whatever happened to him are you aware of anyone? Uh, one of I said one of our viewers asked me to ask this question. She was like, "Could you please ask the counselor about the one million U.S. dollar worth of drugs that someone was arrested with that? Whatever happened to that person?" She asked. So I was just asking, when. When was that? When I don't know when. The question, counselor. The one million dollar drugs. One million drug case. Okay. Were you part of? Were you part of that case? No, I said it from the beginning. Yeah, I said, said that I went, I, from the beginning I was not part of it. Correct. I, yes. Okay. And, I one person, and, I want, and I want person, and I want one person who believes that our case should be reopened. Okay. Thank you very much, Councillor Go Again, it's good having you, my dear friend. Thank you, and uh, we'll talk again, sir. Okay. Thank you very much. Let me say thanks to all of you. I think uh, the show was fascinating. Uh, we didn't come to fire war. We came to provide information. We are all professional people who respect each other's views, uh, but also to respect our ethics as we move forward. Whether you in government or not, there are certain standards that you must you must you must maintain, and that's why I respect in Remy Gray and a few other persons on this show because they know what it means to respect that standard, especially when you work in the national security sector or the criminal justice uh, agency. So I want to thank you all. I know for the time I'll be available, maybe a month or two from now to appear on the show again and you know, to provide the information that is required from the provide. So thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you, Chief. Thank you very much. Ah, thank you. Thank you, Councillor. It's good to have you. Ah, okay, let me go ahead and bring in uh, Dennis Moron. Dennis, thank you for having you. Uh, it's always good, and we hope that uh, we can have you again. You have any closing? Yeah, uh, thank you very, uh, thank you very much. Oh, uh, can, yeah. I, can I ask Thanks, the... Uh, to you, I appreciate it. That made a lot of George, yeah? Hold on one minute. Hold on one minute. You got questions, okay? You ask a lot, because we got to go, Isaac. You got question. Isaac, you got question. Yes, I wanted to ask the chief investigator. Did he was he involved in any of those murder cases, especially the four auditors case? I have I've I've been involved with all of your investigations. So in terms of how the process the cases went to prosecution, can you give us some feeling whether your investigation was aligned with how those cases were prosecuted or no? No, no, it was it was it was it was, it was totally different. It was totally different. And, and Senior Brother, Senior Brother, let me just tell you what, something. What, what we've done. Uh, I, we I, respect, I, the reason why I did for you is to the full credit. We're asking the brain to bring him back tomorrow. I beg you, I beg you, Moro. We're asking to bring him back tomorrow, Isaac. As a look at the time, man. 
But let me just explain that one thing. But then you will not follow up though. Because the no, man will explain no, no, no. you a more question. August, see you. I just want to have a reflection. There are a couple of things I see when Kansas Guru on the show to include. I say you ask Kansas Guru if, if I did not, if I did not look at the Guru in the business and say, Kansas Guru, you're a hot person. They are also measured by my, my, my opposition with Inspector John when he tried to falsely interpret the Oman statement. And I say you ask Kansas Guru in the studio, you were made to it. Did he deny? He did not deny. Now, let me, let me hear the CEO. You know, we should all, we should, we should, we should all be sincere. As a gay, as a question. We should all be sincere when it comes to when it comes to doing the right thing for that bro. We should all be sincere. And our sincerity, it, it should not, it should not be because because we have the, the intellectual ability or intellect to sit and you Google words and so anybody can use words, but words are not reality. You can use words, you can even use it in it's not in the real the real for meaning. Kanzaku knows very well. He sat down. You, you saw you you saw you saw Kanzaku. How you asking my question on the show? What a, what a question? I thought you asked my question. Yeah, yeah, but I want to answer a question about, about COC as you flow. So the, the first thing we got stand on in the investigation. Kanzaku did not Kanzaku and not even fair with you guys. You made it understand that, that the, the, the there, were, there, were, there were no other reports submitted to him. That's not true. There was a there was a report submitted. There was a report yeah. was submitted to them, and then yeah. the, 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 the reason why I put my hand up because we haven't delayed. So, you know, I, I don't know if you and Sam Jackson live in the same area, but he's better not though. We haven't delayed with your internet. Yeah, that's why I put my hand up for you. With do you but, have do you have to, to wrap up the whole thing? Uh, 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 Mr. 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 Vatoba, I beg you, I need you put a get copy of the investigative report. You read the investigative report. If I read really the investigative report, you will wonder why can't we ever charge all the proof of murder? Because the investigative report, it points, it points, or it tells you who should be charged and who not to be charged. So if you read, if you read an investigative report, and nothing there, nothing that points, nothing that points to 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 Mr. Vato, but how will you charge him? I see, I see, can't we? He tried to silence it. I see, he tried to silence it. Or bad thing brought it from Conor Gray. I think you, you, you have to read the report. The report speaks for itself. The report, the report speaks for itself. The investigative report. There's nothing that I kept that Omar Rebecca was not. No land I report. No land I report. Tell you, Omar Rebecca was not. She was born kidding. No land right. I report. We tell you, others, others don't want to the report. You're, you're going you to investigate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hold on one minute. I beg you. I, again, sorry, we have this serious delay. <laughs> Uh, is this part of the investigative report? Well, what is this? The what? No, the... All right, I was so thinking... Right about... Is that the investigative report up there? That's the mail text message later on. Okay. Thank you. We'll talk to you later. We'll, we'll bring you back tomorrow, Mr. Dennis. Okay? We have a serious internet delay. It's good to have it. It was kind of, it was kind of blurry. It was kind of, it was kind of blurry. So I'm not really seeing it. Yeah, that's true. That's what I'm saying. Tomorrow, if you can hear me, I will call you. I will call you. Okay. Have a good night. Again, we couldn't just continue because of the, of the internet. The internet is crazy at its end. Like, no. I think he's in America, though. Is he in Liberia? I think he's in America, right? Oh, you know what he is, Colonel Gray. I'm not hearing you. You are muted. No, I'm saying no. I don't know. But I'm just saying that uh, he, he himself indicated that he's in America. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I think he's in America. Yeah. The issue is that it, it's bad. Then. I hope he's in Georgia. In the... No, 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 no. I think I, I, I don't want to disclose where he is, but he's not in Georgia with Uncle Sam. You know, somebody said, as you, as you say, he's in Minnesota, but I don't want to disclose that. All right. So. <laughs> <laughs> so let's move on, man. Let's end the show. The man internet getting delayed and he's still talking. I'm going to ask a question. They may get answer. He's still talking. But we want to say thank you for joining Spoon tonight. It's been a very, very interesting show. We have the Glory Muslim Scott case. We have all the documents. I'm about to share with you guys. It, it's a lot. It's a lot. And But we need to share it. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, like 14 pages. I'm going to share with you guys. You can go through it. Maybe you'll find an investigative report in it. I have read it. I believe that somebody somewhere, that's my opinion, 
I thank God this is going to the Supreme Court. They have taken an appeal to the Supreme Court. There's a lot of loophole. There's a lot of answering. I, I'm serious. It's a lot. We sit on the show. I'm going through this document. There will be no way. No one way. There's a lot of things for any reason. A reasonable judge would throw that whole case outside. That is serious thing. You know the 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 the, the system that you're going to bring in 12, 16 individuals. The 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 the, the conversation that they met Jefferson Koji and all oh, this small yama yama. You know, thank God that the court is open and justice will be done. I, I'm sorry for the family, Glenny. Somebody killed Shalom Musum. And Labrun Shu, like I like what Uncle Sam said, the system, well, the, the, the judicial system in the country is so bad. The system is bad. We would not make any allegation as to who received money, who changed the conversation. The Supreme Court would decide. So it comes down to say, was the executive marshal, Jose Yima Baka right to pull out the nomination? Liberal, I see you decide. The two lawyers, the two counselors that serve, Counselor Bobby Livingstone and Counselor Lafayette Group, you decide. Let's end the show. Let's go back in the studio and speak to Andrew Mama. Andrew Mama, can you give your closing? She can kind of, she ain't ready to talk. Then when she's talking, she can start. <laughs> Yeah, man. She not got up. Granny loves to do up here. <laughs> no, let me, let me, let me get up first. <laughs> my baby, you see how my nephew can give me a hard time. <laughs> uh, today I say, ah, I say, I want to take down. Angel, mama, come in. She coming with a colors today. You play. Uh -uh. So, so I like to say thanks to everybody on the show. The show was a good one fascinating and i'm happy that i brought all this girl musu start case because i've been longing to bring it up and when they making a jeff was well, the right thing to do i don't cancel a good but you know people let it always hold me witness on the show sometimes i just let them slide i just leave it because they are all my brothers my uncles but i'm not even going to go into that but that guy brought a boy here tonight, like the counselor tonight. I mean, you can see that he he he's struggling. He's struggling. And that's why I just I just when I when I open up the Ventura box, then everybody pick it up. And I was very, very I'm I'm so happy that we're able to discuss it. Not in details, but we're able to gain some questions tonight. You cannot just dispense justice. You take it, you put it in the ocean, then you say, you finish doing it, no, 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 no. Gloria Mususka, that woman must get justice, and she will get it. Because I've been following the case, and I've been talking to other lawyers, I've been following that case. I may not have gone to court, but I've been following it. Even when I'm in America, I was following that case. It's interesting to note, people must stop this. Our justice system should be able to protect us, you know, and be able to uh, and, and put out the right thing. When we wrong, we wrong. But don't go do something because you got because they they gave up you some money, and so you you must you know convict somebody. No, she does not deserve that. And we we'll make sure the case in Supreme Court. I'm sure the judges in the Supreme Court will look at that case critically. They will put their glasses on and look at that and read all the, 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 the uh, and read the whole case. This is totally wrong. And with the women like real law, let me tell you something. We have to stand up for one another. Not only when one person, when, when somebody has desire, they want to do something and say, oh, women, you come to pay $20, $20. The case is that, but paying anybody. We on the show who can make a difference in the case, we'll make it. Nobody will pay or a dime. 
but Gloria Musu scar did not kill anybody, and that because uh, uh CDC was mad at her that she was going to stay on the pizza, Uncle Joe, they got angry, they said we'll pull her one side, then we'll say to Joseph Baka will make it. But as God will have it, he president today, and Gloria Musu scar will be vindicated. Thank you very much. Thank you, Uncle Sam. Yes, uh, first of all, uh, I have a lot of sympathy for uh, little Charlotte Musu, whose life was extinguished at a very early age. I have to, okay. And uh, I also know uh, the lives that were disrupted, you know, uh, Gloria Musu Scott, uh, a great jurist, a good person, and, and those people. So I don't speak uh, ill about it, and I don't want to relitigate. And I hope that uh, justice is served, okay, to the judicial system. Oh, look, look. But here is what I have the problem with. I think Mr. Lafayette Gould was blindsided tonight, okay, and unfairly, unfairly, I may add. He didn't come here to relitigate the Shalomusu case. He didn't know there was going to be some guy called Moro Dennis there to really get it. So it was totally unfair to him. Yeah? Um, the issue that should have been discussed, okay, that's clear for anyone to see, is the incompetence, the glaring incompetence of the presidency. It manifested in the septuagenarians and octogenarians who are running the show. They probably don't get enough sleep. They don't get enough rest. They don't have enough energy, enough adrenaline. We need somebody as erudite and energetically like been to, to be Minister of State, clearly. But not a septuagenarian, you know, and octogenarians you know, and, and, and you, you are taking people downstairs and holding their arms, you know. When do they retire? And the mistakes and missteps that have been made are because you got great-grandfathers and great-grandmothers surrounding Omer Boka, good character, decent human being, deacon of Ever Baptist Church, but he has limited energy. So, because he's a symbol of the state, he should get young, energetic, adrenaline-filled young men and women, he would die to help him because the Liberian people have put their faith and trust in the rescue train. They bore the narrative. But as time goes on with these missteps, it will become clear, and I hope it doesn't become clear, but it will become clear that they misplace their hopes and trust in septuagenarians and octogenarians that don't have the ability to deliver a rescue. So even for the train to leave the station, it needs a conductor. You need trained motormen, and you need to all the tracks and get the third rail working. That hasn't happened yet. And for many Liberians, let's just face it, the murmuring under the cover of darkness, but they know within their hearts, all is not right on our rescue train. And for the sake of the country, I hope that they get it together and get the rescue train to leave the station before I even say on track, because the rescue train has not left the track. It stayed at well, ground zero, or station number one, it hasn't left Grand Central, it hasn't left Vonjima, it hasn't left anywhere in Liberia, it stayed parked. And I hope it doesn't be parked like the 12 years of the old parked car in the garage. Thank you, fellow Liberians, and thank you, Abba, thank you, Sis Glenning. I know you're pushing your mob up at me, and Sister that your mama, you're pushing your mob up at me. But yeah, that's just really left that was this. Sure. Oh, oh, great, Renny Gray, love me or hate me, this is who I am, and this is what I represent, and this is, I know no other way to say it but to say the truth. Should I go? Thank you very yeah, much. Uh, uh, Sis Fatu, go ahead. 
Well, Uncle, Uncle Sam, I would like for you to stay for my response, please. Okay. I'm not going to Because the other day you ran away. But um, <clears throat> in all fairness, you know, as, as Liberians, like I always say, we come here to inform and educate our people on the happenings in our country, on how to move her forward. I, I think you were a little crying more than the bereaved. Uh, Councillor Gould came here and he even told you, he said, I like you said he was going to hostile environment. You said we were this, that, and the third. But he said that's what he likes. If you become a public servant, you are held accountable by the people you are serving. If he's a, you know, if he's working for the Liberian government, and he said he he was, we have a right to question him. I don't, I mean, and, he, and when you come to a spoon, you should be prepared and have an open mind. I don't think we were sidelining him, or he said he was prepared. You are the only one in disagreement here, and in, in, in anger is saying, "Oh, he's this, he's that." He's just trying to get along. He's no, well, to get well, along. well, he's Uncle Sam, Uncle Sam, the along. fact is that this network is here to hold people accountable. Even me, if I do something wrong, oh, look, you don't, I, I don't think you watch half of the things that the people say about me on there. And I'm most times when I'm laughing, I'm actually laughing at the comments, what they say about me. People don't know. I'm not rude. I'm just, I'm just passionate. I have this, this thing that I want to do for Liberia so much. I never got in, I, I was never into politics. I was always into child rearing, ensuring that the lives of children, women, the elderly, those that are disenfranchised, the disabled people, those were the people that are dear to my heart. So we come here, CEO selected a great team of people with vast knowledge and different of, differences of opinions. And we come here to express ourselves. I don't want you to apologize to any of us. We're grown-ups. We speak our minds and we speak our intentions. And if we feel like we err or we misspeak, we are colleagues, we go to the back, we say sorry to other people. And sometimes the panelists, they hold us accountable. They'll tell us, I mean, the viewers, they'll be like, you got to apologize to this person, that person. Liberia is for all of us, Uncle Sam. You've served Liberia. Like I said, you and my dad served together at the Ministry of Commerce. You've served Liberia as you were saying that uh, Joseph Baca is in the aging population. Fact be told, you guys are in it. You're in your crowd. We're not crowded. I've been older than about 10 years. Wait, the man's 78. So in the now you're 70. Your crowd of people. Um, the fact is that I just believe that Joseph Baca will lead this government. I feel that the Liberian people have entrusted this government to him. He's been there. We underestimated. We underestimated to, to, to what extent this government was damaged. All we wanted to do, and I'm glad that we did it, was to take charge of our government, of what was left of her, so that she was not erased or sold to the highest bidder, so we can have a country called Liberia. That's what we did. And so, and you're part of those people. The last six years, Uncle Sam, remember you're writing papers for them. You're loving oh, on them. They're my friends. You are part of the young, Uncle Jay. I am. I'm going to say, Uncle oh, Sam, you are really? part of the young that did absolutely nothing for Liberia. The young generation, they did nothing for Liberia. Now, give this old man a chance for him to erect our country from the ground up. And Uncle Sam, as my uncle, I will hold you to that. I will hold you to giving this man his due time because I we don't have, have a choice. choice. I don't Thank have a you. choice. Thank you. We did not know to what extent the young, vibrant man had destroyed the country. So to the viewers, to all of the people, the millions of Liberians watching, who said you are not here or they were talking or the, not do that? Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, I said Glenn and I gave us. You can watch it. Down she, she gave up because she know me and her were chatting. The fact is that so she told you to continue. We right? will give, we will give Joseph Buakai a chance for Liberia to rise again under his stewardship. All of us collectively, you, Uncle Sam, you're not your age, mate. You, myself, and your mama, all of us 
Colonel Grapa and Noisa was smoking. We will all get together for the sake of. Colonel Grapa is okay in school. <laughs> I beg you, I'm not a school girl. On a great night, I used to be hanging at me. Yeah, I was just going to say, yeah, I was 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 going to say, I almost done closing it. All I want to say is that you what you closing it? Hey, see oh. you. I'm closing no, it. I, I asked you if you close I'm this closing show, it. I'm closing it. I'm closing it. What you want to say? Hey, I see you can tip too far, la breme. All I want to say, <coughs> like get oh, all like the naysayers. Let me tell you something. What Liberian people did not understand was you take power, state power, and give it to poor, poor, hungry children. And they taste that power, and they get money that they never saw with that two hours before. They used to go to Lapa Bido to eat. Then now they're going to France to have wedding. They're going traveling. Coming, there's some of them used to wear Nessie as perfume. Then they now mm. start making wearing cologne. Hey? I beg you, you move them from state power. That what going? That what happening to them? This is a, they are in a nightmare that they want to wake up and they can't wake up. So they will drag this country every day. They're sitting there, all the praying. And the sad part is they are praying for the downfall of Mama Liberia. But as the oldest republic, and her children waking up day and night, praying for her, her grandma and praying, and her children, all her family praying, Liberia will rise again. I thank you guys so much for listening to us. I thank you for your support. And I thank you for keeping us honest in it. In a in a conversation, one of them said Fatima is so annoying. <laughs> I can be laughing when they're talking, but I thank you. God bless Liberia. God bless her. Thank Let you. me say, say Fatima, you are quite correct. You know, it's it's totally embarrassing for Ogusem to apologize on our behalf. Yeah. yeah. If you come as sponsor, you come ready. Ogusem, eat you on the show. You come as spoon talk, you come ready. You don't come as spoon talk and say it can come from anywhere. How you wanted us to miss an opportunity with the lead prosecutor in the case uh, of Lowell Wilson Scott? You wanted us to miss that 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 moment when they have been open and go ask Jesus to go to his it is an ambush. No, 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 ambush. no, 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 but I interrupt me now because other people got to speak. In this world, I believe what the people say, opportunity come but once. I agree. Call it ambush. Call it entrapment. That's my good friend. We want to talk after the show. Enough is enough. You've been there. Like you said. Tovar. Maybe you started from Tottenham town. I think it was only Tovar. You started from Tottenham. Maybe you started from Joseph Jingirawa town. You never die. You did never die. Right now, when he started, he said from JJ Rabbit. JJ Rabbit. Then you want us to believe. Someone's more children are up. We want us to believe. Not mine. That you still fighting for liberal interest. You not. Hey, I hear cash made Jeru Jai left for KFC. You want us to believe that you still fighting for the interest of Liberia. No, you not. No, you not. We will fight for liberal interest. Your time feeling now. We will take all your notes. We will take all your documents. We will take all your portfolio, all your credentials. We will take it. And we will make the goodness all of it for Liberia. We will take the one from South Africa, the one from Georgia, the one from Sudan, the one from North Panto, the one from anywhere in New York. We will take it. And we will take it and we will go make Liberia better. Because God bless you with those gifts. But you couldn't utilize them to help build the bureau. Not you say. You will not make so it. we will take it for you by fire by force, and we'll go make the bureau better. Okay. 
That's that's our mission. I want to say thanks to everybody. Love like everybody that continue to follow sponsor. We hear every day. We spoke about the global Muslim card case. We spoke about the tenure position. Our ruling is coming up. I will say this clearly: the government position. If you ever put on job wear uniform to campaign, not only job wear. ANC, CPP, and your own tenure, and you went out there to campaign, they are fighting to remove you and they will not give you a damn. If you, for any reason, that they don't want you there, but you never wore the uniform, they are up together to pay you and they will remove you. The issue of the asset recovery, they are asking for an abundant and, great, and gracious land international. That is that a company name, right? Glorious Land International. And I company name. Gracious or glorious? Gracious, gracious, gracious right. Gracious right. And they get a well, music. I, I and they get a comment on that one. And they get a musical group. We got a close up. They get a musical group that called Glorious Lab International. So I didn't well, mention that. No, no, no. Again, again yeah. I will say this to people: It is only fair for her to show the document. Now, with less than twenty-four hours, she has not shown the document. Whether she will take it there tomorrow oh, wow. is very sticky. Uh, if you can't show the document, then you are not the owner of those vehicles. No, they no, have no. tried the allegation. They have tried to incorporate it, go back and back did the day whatsoever. It didn't work, right? But I want to say this on this show, folks. Library is all we have. Yes. Who said yourself, you might back? I never ever going to make a mistake. But I'm happy. I'm happy that he fixing those mistakes. And I can say to you, librarians, I'm pleased to announce to you what I heard today and things that that, that will be in the right direction. I think give you say my back at the time. Give him the chance. He's getting there. Buck clock ball. Buck clock ball. Buck clock ball. He's getting there. If you if you think that somebody car blocking you and stopping you and playing two more games. Just go ask one talk. We we'll say and we we'll share to all of them. You know, I get everybody number. We will force them to comment. We will force them to answer you. If you get your appointment letter, somebody playing game, come ask one talk. Beside the appointment, well, if you see corruption here. somewhere, we'll, we'll beside we'll appointment, if you see if you see corruption somewhere, you see in the ministry or the entity they're playing game. Trust me, let us know. We we'll do we'll our no, you didn't mark the other people that me you won't mark. Don't do that. Your power's a lawyer, my power's a lawyer. Don't do that. Seriously. I'm from North Panton, you from where? I don't know. Don't do that. Don't interrupt me. Yeah, you know what? I'm done. You're bad. Yeah, you're done to me, bro. You're bad. I have okay, Let him go. 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 Look, Sam. Are you closing? Are you doing your closing? Totally Ava, are you closing? You can call it closing. I don't care. <laughs> Sam, you are totally wrong to try to represent this panel. Thank you. In your closing, your opinion is your opinion. If somebody comes here, as much as I let go, and people have the opportunity to question them on other issues, we're not non thinkers. People can think. And if the situation arises for them to ask questions about certain things, I think as a public servant, he should answer those questions. I was disappointed that he could not answer how much he received. I thought he would have done that for transparency's sake. But he didn't. The situation about his appointment, again, these appointments, like, <laughs> they're so staggered, they're all around. We're not sure whether it's really coming from the president or, or that nomination, and that appointment and that nomination, these nominations, we're not sure what direction some of them are coming from. So if they can get a grasp of those nominations, because they got quite a few positions to stay up, to stay nominate people to. And hopefully they can get control that we don't have these withdrawals and these other duplications and all that kind of stuff that's going on. We just need, you know, some only like peace, we like war, but we need for the government to be at peace, for it to be successful. Um, this whole fair mining, I think we need to really discuss that more. 
because the whole mineral sector will need to take on the blanket of the mineral sector because that's where significant dollars exist to help our economy. But the mining inspectors, them, they, they, nearly everybody in position in those ministries. I know people say, you know, uh, what they got in Wilma P is a straight guy mm -hmm. and stuff. But the fact that he's been there like a month and a half or nearly two, going on two now, I hear nothing different from him. I'm scared. Because that's an area that needs reform. That's an area that directly, I mean, that's the major area revenue comes from today. But when you see all the leakages in that area, you wonder who's there to protect the Liberian people, who dare to increase the revenue. It's like everybody in a gimmick. You look at the CTN, where it's clear to everybody that our CTN should not be an expense for the Liberian people. It produces no value. The checking and tracking of your container is already inherent with the shipping company. They can't cancel it yet. They can't cancel it yet. <laughs> Somebody hold it off because they won't eat. Tell me more. Stop, Stop going to They can't cancel it yet. You know, Why you so, want them? I'm so asking by. Don't laugh with this puppy question. Why you want the government to just come in with all proper investigation just to shut them down? And they put in the budget, though. They put in the budget. Hey, <laughs> what? 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 This is the charge that 250 or whatever, and this is the total dollars that go into the Liberian government revenue. I've not seen it. Okay, I said, well, let me give you some information. They are investigating CTN, MedTech, and the other company as it. When Jose Imabuaka took over, they flagged these three companies at the port. We got a lot of right now. I'm going to share a document with you in our chat room. Medtech, Amara Cornell, Edwin Snow, they engage them, they're bringing them to the table. I will share some very detailed information with you guys for you to understand how the CDC led government was taking money from those folks. They just cannot shut them down. So wait for those documents. When you read it, it will answer you so many questions. But they are working I'm on patient. it. I'm so patient. I'm patient. I'm patient. I'm saying that. Oh, they didn't do it yet. You've been there for six, seven hundred years. Your government, you serve as consultant on some of those people, company. You earn the money. You appreciate that George Bernard where in Simon 12, but you can't yet to say they didn't close it down yet. Amen. Sam Jackson, Jackson will not change. Sam Jackson, I gave him the credit. He's a smart man. But Sam Jackson is like a chameleon. He and Joe, we had a scene. They're like chameleon. Whatever situation in the way that and Sam Jackson is focused on himself. <laughs> what well, Sam Jackson, who, who he will be the struggle for today? He's focused on himself. Wherever he can get an opportunity. And he's smart enough to know where the holes are, where the issues are. He will raise them, raise them, raise them, and say, they say, say I can't face this more. I can't help her. I can't one people. And then he will do his job. You know, so I, I can for him for that. That my friend, I understand him. That that he is oh, them all. It's so, been like that for a while. So am I Say, can, we, like, um, can we please do our closing? Can we do our oh, closing? Brilliant. Can we do our closing? Oh, oh, no, not yet, sir. He said he has no, 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 because I knew that question would have come on. And because of my relationship with Gloria Musu Scott, I did not want to come on. I fought hard because I knew somebody would ask, even when I finally sent it, I was like, come on, come on, come on, come on. I kept saying, no, I won't lay down. But it was because of that reason, because I know um, the case. I am I call her Auntie Gloria. She was like a best friend to my dad. They were very close. And so I came on and initially tried to make fun and try to just deviate from that point, but I knew that question would be asked. And I and I referred to Stanton in his chat as Pana. Because people can come here and think that 
you're coming only to be asked for this, but you're coming on a platform where we may not get another opportunity to ask you questions. So however Sam Jackson wants to describe it, that's his, that's his prerogative. It was an opportunity for all of us here today, and I may not even get the opportunity to have been with a group tonight to ask the lead prosecutor of my aunt's case a question. So to Stanton, I want to say thank you because what tonight has started for Gloria Musu Scott is giving opening to the Supreme Court to look deeper into this case. It was a huge privilege, even though I, I didn't want to come back on. I'm glad I came back on. It was tough and I held my peace to watch him to the end. As disappointing as it is to hear him and hear the things he said as a, one of the lead prosecutors, I can only hope that Gloria Musu Spat will find justice in the Supreme Court of Liberia. So I want to say, I mean, Stanton, I'll go back and forth. We love one another. And I want to say I appreciate this platform and I appreciate Stanton tonight because so many things have been uncovered to tonight about that case. And if, that, if you don't leave from here, this platform tonight, with doubts in your mind on that verdict, then something is wrong with you. And so this is what this platform is for. I'm gonna say, you know, I'm gonna say, you know, I'm gonna talk about going get capacity. He is saying get capacity sometimes so he can forget, won't apologize, don't apologize, yell across, he hear chicken boom and talk. He can do whatever he wants. We will tolerate him. Yeah, I like bro with tolerate Joe, but I would tolerate Saint Jesse here. I want to come here, and I have a friend. I have a man, and I your friend, and your grandpa. We tolerate him. How about your sisters? I your grandpa, and I have one of the. How about your sisters? Grandpa. But I want to, but I want to say, um, thank you, Stanton, because you're giving Liberia a chance to hear some of these litigations, these cases that we never will have the opportunity. The same mining we're hearing, we're hearing about the progress with the rubber. Somebody just yesterday was able to get their job. And, and, and all of those things, those are all wins for Liberia. So I want to thank you. I, I, I tag now in the in the podcast, and I'm sure um, he and his sister were listening to this podcast tonight. And I thank God that the Supreme Court is open. And the case is going to be on the docket. We will watch it. We will talk about it. And I pray that justice will come in the end. Someone kill Twilo Muslim. Whoever that person is, justice must be served. Thank you. Thank you very much. Can I agree? Have you spoken, sir? No, sir. So, go, ahead. go ahead, sir. So, my brother, uh, Stanton. Uh, I'm, I'm sure Camp Councillor Gould is uh, is an is an intellectual. Uh, we're always armed with um, with a tutelage to face any battle, and uh, he knew where he was, where what platform he was coming onto. So I think uh, we're always armed and ready. So I have no doubt that he was prepared. But one thing I noticed that he was constrained professionally to discuss certain nitty-gritty of the case. And as a lead so as lead prosecutor, um, I noticed he, did, he, he didn't want to divulge certain information. Because when you do that, then you really uh, you jeopardize the case especially now that an appeal has been taken and it's, it's up at the upper court or Supreme Court. So I agree with him that let's wait for the decision to come out of that out of that platform, then we can go ahead now and question him, then probably we'll get to know more. And I'll go back and read on, on the, the transcript of the, the, the case before making any decision um, as to whether, you know, but, but I, I, I saw somebody who was entrapped between his professional etiquette and probably public opinion. And that's a dangerous place to be. It's like how everybody is questioning um, the former armed forces of Liberia being at the center of, of certain mayhem. And I appear as a colonel from the AFL. 
I will struggle between explaining my own professional ethics and the action that ensued from the end uh, the AFL. But conscience is always uh, the best remedy to this kinds of thing. I didn't see a man that was guilty. Well, that's my own opinion. Well, let me go back to the issue where a third grader was elected and he went, his first appearance at the United Nations General Assembly to deliver a speech. Um, clearly, I have no regret for replacing that kind of individual, um, President Weir, with someone who, who others want to judge just from, from being in, in, in power for just two months, probably going to the third, given the enormity of destruction left behind by this third grader. And to come back and judge is unfair. And remember, this is his, um, this is the octogenarian's son, and he performed that dismally. He left the trunc truncation of destruction that we have to deal with right now. Ali, Ali, being a younger generation guy that had done well, will not be here in the first place. But he left us with a mess. And as I'm, I'm pretty sure as Ambassador Burkai, President Burkai proceeds in his uh, in his uh, leadership. He's beginning to uncover some of the tsunami of destruction this this younger child of his left behind. Am I going to go be yelling at him because um, um, because Ambassador Burkai is um, is 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 older? No, it will be unfair. It will be unfair because I know after seeing. Anything other than George Weir, in my in my opinion, is far better, and that is my my hope. Anything besides George Weir is far better, because the intent of Ambassador Buckeye, uh, even though I may not know it, but apparently it has not appeared like he's there there for self glorification. But this time, George Weir is back on building his 47 condominium. We're, we're discussing about Ambassador Buckeye still grappling with budget. They, they're holding him tight in, in the Senate. They don't want to release the human budget. They release it by 112. That is clear obstruction. We've seen it. But he's, he's saddling on. Eventually, if it was meant for the, for the good of the country, he will lead. And so there where I come from, Stanton. Great show, by the way. You know, I'm going to agree, you are quite correct. Uh, you know, yeah, it is why it is. But God, God is in control. Folks, as of right, I put those information in the chat room about MedTech. It's a serious business. Sometimes we love to be patient when we receive those informations. Sharing it will be very important, but it's, you know, to inform us about what is happening in the country. Now you start about CTN, you got an information about MedTech. MedTech, it was a cash cow. The past government would just take money. People names on a medtech and city and our collective money. You know, Glenny, you know, I'm grateful to God. I'm glad that you recognize to say thank you, but I'm grateful to God because it's the best thing to do for us to hold folks responsible, bring them on the show, and let's let you hear them, not to be judgmental, you know. So sometimes I love to keep this information when people send it to me. I say at the appropriate time, I love Ecclesiastes. This time is season for everything. And it was a time and season for my dear friend. He's my friend, Councillor Gu. He is. You know, I respect him. But we have to question him. Uh, the Medtech issue, you have Samuel Twa getting money from them. You have personal we are getting money from them. You had then the commerce minister getting money from them. The free put director was getting money from them. So therefore, this 54th, 55th legislature decided to step in. They said, what? Some money that's supposed to be going to LRA. They were stopping the money from going to LRA. If you want us to discuss it more, let's discuss it. I already put the information in the chat room. It's the same thing with CTN. All these guys are getting money. And they, that's why the government budget remained under 800 million. Because all the money that should come to the government, it was going into people's pocket. I have their names. Are you looking at it, asking Val? You are asking for it. It's in the chat room. You are? We can hear you. We can hear you. I want you to tell the people what you're looking at. 
We have this document because the people trust Pro Network. You know, I'm so looking at a response here. from Medtech Dubai. Look at all the response. I, I, I will say everything. I will say everything. You know, you always ask me how you get anything if it is true. Don't be asking if it is true. This is Pro Network. I have to. You know, I'm going to accuse me. They blame, they blame me for your actions. They blame me for your actions. They don't blame me. They don't blame me. That's the reason why. That's the reason why you get one percent. That's the reason why you get one percent because you don't know how to even investigate and blame me for my for my action. Move from there, man. But on a serious note, guys, we want to say thank you very much. I'm sure they owe my boss for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, my boy, boy, boy. Boy. <laughs> so now you produce document because the paper are watching. So you yeah. produce document today. No, it's not because the paper are watching, man. The paper, the paper, the paper always follow us, bro. <laughs> The issue is that we just got to just, we got to kill some of this I mean, thing. Why can't you get Let me just say something quick. Yeah, can we talk about the man yo, over again? Yo, let me think how I'm getting vexed with y'all. Eh? No. Let me say you see, right? I will change the rower. I will change the key. Oh, uh, with this question, <laughs> let me ask you a question. Uh, Why would other government be calling me to do something if I if I can produce? That could not. Nice. No, that could be noise. 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 So, the the age is not a crime, my brother. The age is not a if crime. If I want, okay, no. why would I? Why would I be criticizing Joe Biden government now? If I want for them to call me, it make any kind of sense? Yeah, okay. it makes sense. That's, that's, yeah, that's, that's what it sense. Means. That's your MO. You go high and you call me high down. That's your MO. That's your OPS. You know that you call me away your cousin? That's your OPS. That's your OPS. Papi, Papi, that's your OPS. You will attack their high, then when they call you in the corner, they go so. Okay, so I'm going to be a friend because I'm attacking them, but not them. I'm a genius. I'm a genius. I'm a yeah, genius. They got, they got you All right. Sam, 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 if Dennis coming on tomorrow, there's somebody who wanted to talk about other things and now he wants to rebut what Dennis is saying. Is it a man saying Yama Yama? He won't come on the show tomorrow. If Dennis, if Dennis didn't get strong internet, when I come on, we can be waiting in, in slow motion. <laughs> yeah, man. But we can be waiting in slow motion. No. I asked the man my question. You let the man answer my question. The man didn't hear the question. He didn't hear the question. The two are taking, the two are, the two are taking few minutes. The man yeah. internet was slow mo. It didn't get it. It didn't like slow internet. You come here. The man is coming to America. The man is settled yet. The man is settled yet. But can I do it? The man can I do it? The man made it so that Richard or him help him out. The man was watching. The man was watching the show at the same time. I want to be on the same page. There is no requirement to make payment to the government. I brought concern that they didn't have that shit. I'm asking you to explain the thing, man. I see the thing you explain it. I see the thing you explained that. I feel like reading that thing already. It's in the chat room. But man, Joe, we have destroyed our country. Badly. The Badly. thing you read it, it's just small of the medtech. You know how much medtech get Joe Weir in summer 20? They got to have a personal account. They were moving money, not through the government consolidated account. We must discuss this. Joseph Buaka walked into the shadow of death. And only God can, re only God can remove him. Oh. Yet though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I fear no evil. And the only thing about Joseph Yeman Bwaka right now is to fear no evil and just implement the duty of which he was called. Joe, we are had a consolidated account that they refused to put money to for the Republic of Liberia. They created their own account. I have the account number. The method were putting money in. Colonel Gray, these guys then they were wicked. They created their own account number that Medtech were putting money in. Y'all think Joe, we are worried about his salary or something for finance? The same thing happened with CTN. Nobody. The guy then choked CTN. 
You got to wait for the CTN document. What? The two CTN, we don't care. We are government. We tell you, you must pay us or else you will not operate. No CTN owner, Emmy. That woman used to worry over and over because she has to, first of all, meet the government of Georgia obligation before she can sell her down to LRA. Wow. Then people say, oh, why are the people just pay? No, no. Let go, let go. There are three. That's nothing you see. If we are exposing them, people get vexed. People say, yeah, don't come back. I will come to Liberia, my people. We have to change the country. Don't say senators, they don't know about it. this. Represented them, they are all part of it. <laughs> they are all part of it. They are all so corrupt. They say when you go there, you will be corrupt like them. Complete cartel. To tell you the truth, read that document as a vow, and I will send more in the chat room. Let people read it. It's in the chat room, Uncle Sam. Take your time and read it. I'm not, I'm, I'm not getting excited. Because you're higher on a bivac. You're higher bivac. So now you get, I'm not getting excited. No, you, 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 come, in, you come in justify. You come in justify. No, no, but, you, but, but you don't act like every LeBron government that how they can do it. Okay? So the other one is saying, I'm just saying. And you're saying, yeah. Them, yeah. But you're making it seem like something new. Who says stop it? No, no, I'm just telling you, I'm telling you the fact. Stop it. I can't, I'm just saying, I'm not going to get excited because I've seen it. Over what Uncle Sam told you, Fatima, what Uncle Sam told you about Joe Weir? About what? About Joe Weir. That, that he caused it. Uncle Sam won't do it. That he caused it. I didn't know that Uncle Sam can be talking about Joe Weir. Uncle Sam ain't got nothing. He won't care about him. Samato was not an economist. He know nothing about it. <laughs> but he know, he know, he know nothing about, about economics. economics. Uncle Sam. A lot. I will say, I will say this to you. Whether you like it, I will say, I will say, I will say, and I will say this for you, and let all that bread know the one. Whether you like it, I will say, you like it. We will pray to God that God give you another six years. You will see the glory of God upon Liberia before you die. You will see it, I will say. But guess what happened? I will say, you will see it. No Wait. matter what you say, you can defend your way then to say it was okay. It was okay. Okay, you will, see, you will see the goodness of God upon Liberia before you leave this world. It is important for you to see yeah. top ball, top ball, President Doe, Charles Taylor, Eddie Johnson Salim, Emma Sawyer, Guru Brian, Joe Weir. You stay here talking. You stay here talking. I want the third man. You stay here talking. What do you say? I want to change it around. I'm Let me say this to you. No, you are not responsible. We pray for more grace upon you. But you will see the goodness of Liberia because the thing, this thing you guys can do is so wrong. Liberia need to grow. The children need to be children. The children don't need to get in your car. You molest them before you turn around and pay the school fee. No. The children need to grow. Is that an implication? If you to get in your car, they gave you blow job before you go ahead and pay the school fee. This is wrong. I will say this to you. But now we are Uncle not Sam, perfect. Uncle Sam got a beautiful young No, woman. but I will say this. You may say I'm not perfect. No, no, no. I will say this to where we need to be as a country. Okay. The and, we will bring, <laughs> and we will bring the change that is required for our people. I'm a beautiful wife that plays in Elam and Bill. All, all, all the writing in the chat room is I marry my granddaughter. My wife is just beautiful, but she's not that young. Oh, man. I mean, Uncle Sam, Uncle Sam, we're not going to talk about your wealth. Don't put your wealth no, in this no, conversation. No, 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 I'll go all the way it. out there. I'll go break. Bye, viewers. Yeah, thank you. I love all of your. Love you guys. Take it easy. Yo, Fatima, you're my son. Don't piss me off to never see you. Okay. Mm -hmm. You try, it'll be bad for you. <laughs> Fatima. Eh? 
Leave me alone. So, I don't know. 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 All my people, we come in. Tell all my people, we come in. You are not talking about the city. What? Why? Why is Mr. Kole? Nelson, come on. We hijacked the man show the name, man. You see, I'm going to get a problem. I asked my sister Fatima if she get my stuff. AB gave Fatima some money and put something inside for me. I asked him Fatima, right? Then the other person said, Stanton, that's inappropriate language on the show. Fatima, you get my stuff. What make it inappropriate again? Hey, no, you can carry your stuff while you bang. Hey, but the people didn't get some problem in the country. Nelson, my man, what's going on? Yeah, I'm doing good. Oh, that's when we ran into your show time. Oh. Yeah, man. Yo, it let's is forget. Good. Let's take a day off today oh, on that show. Man. Man. I see you. Yo. Yeah, I just saw it. <laughs> and that's not, I mean, that's not complain though. Even though I was doing something most of the They're show, but you know that the show correct. It came okay, on. People, 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 right people, like, right. people, people love spoon talk though. And we got to give this announcement tomorrow. We'll let Madam Titi to give the announcement. Don't you know Spoon Talks? Uh, good, good people in Liberia gave Spoon Talk one big, brand new generator. Oh. One big, I think it's what 60 kV or how you call it. Big, 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 brand what new people? generator. My man, don't, don't, what kind of people? Who the people? I, I say some yeah, very, very good, video. some very, very good people. Ah, uh, okay, That's wonderful. Yeah. You know, you know, I, I, I woke up this morning. Yeah, because before they were not giving it. Because you yeah? It was because because you said they said I'm gonna take you out before they get more. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, I was I was I, I meant to announce it. Food. I meant to announce it, but I forgot and I think we need to announce it. We need no, to but show that's big, yeah. Congratulations, that's big. They my the CEO sent a big picture to me. Right now, send you installing it today. And I want yeah. to say, I, I don't know whether I, I'm allowed to call their names. The people, brand new, brand new generator. It's well, ask, so ask big. And I, I mean, and they are, giving, they, that, that they, are, they are giving, they are giving, they are giving, they are giving two from two different groups. I don't know people love spoon talk like that. I didn't know that I woke up this morning with that feeling that they love the network. Hey, Amen. People, can, can you imagine? I will ask them if I can call their name. I really want to call their that name. Was generous, yeah. so that would, was generous. So would they make it? Would they make it? They love that in their eyes. Would they make it? Oh, they make it already. Make it. They make it already. They make it. Man, that, that generator I'm looking at, I think it worth almost 20 something thousand. Wow. Two of yeah. them? One of them. OK. I think one of so them worth 20 something thousand. Is, is that is that a reflection of money, Captain? We're going to bring her a name for that? Who? The six, the six, both of them, uh, six decades. The first one, let me let me show the video. They were installing it today. They were installing it today. I, I have to be. I, I'm ready. You know. You know. Seriously. But do your finger, your eye, and cry. Do your finger, your eye, and cry. And pretend. Yeah, I can hear. I can hear. Yeah, no, I'm trying to upload it. You're not being touchy. I want to upload the it. Bigger, the bigger, the more, the more expensive, though. It's expensive, but my thing is that, right? When we say something, they say when you do good, do follow you. Right. When you do bad, bad follow you. When we say something, people listen, man. I, I would rather force them to appreciate them. I care less about the politics involved. Can we share? This, can we share with the neighborhood a little bit? I, I don't know if the CEO want to do that. I read it, you know, like it's not about me now. It, it's about Madame Titi, and I, I think she want to. The security of the neighborhood there, though, you know. And, and because, I think she uh, want to. She want to come on the show. No, to, will you to, sell electricity to the neighborhood? 
No, that's not the business. The business yeah. is for the network, for you to appear on Spoon Uninterrupted. Yeah. yeah. For you to come here every day and let the people hear you. Some blue people love the message we appreciate. Can you imagine two generator? It's surrounding two. dark, though. Some of the surrounding area, they're dark. So, and, yeah, but, but listen, put up, uh, uh, plant some light poles and put it up. We got LDC, so if uh, money captain turn our LDC off, we just got to go there. But, but look at the video. Look at the video. I'm so happy. Let me show you. <laughs> Who paying for the installation? No man, I'm here. I don't know. They just sent me the video and said somebody blessed the network. Some people, good, good people, bless the network with a generator. You know, the generator used to give up problem. Don't call their name. Call their name. They, they, no, I, they say, except they say I should call the name. I'm not going to do that. But, 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 you know, I wanted to say, but I would say again no more. This is a blessing. People appreciate the network. Two, imagine. Two, big, big computer. I mean, generator. And Dr. Richardson took like almost five laughter. How many laughter she took, Nelson? I know yeah, she's gonna so get ready to call her name. So many <laughs> laughter she cared, she cared to elaborate again. Unknown to me, I don't know. You know, but I, I wanna say thank you to you. I, I do so, seriously, I wanna say thank you to you. I wanna call your name. But I know the CEO will get first, and I, I I don't know what you want me to say. I just want to say that kind of generator there. I, I mean, and if we got two generators, you know that one run in the morning, one run in the evening, Spoonta will be 24-7. Because what she's trying to do, she's trying to make Spoon Network a news network that every three to four hours, we will have a show from in the morning to in the evening. And in the evening, by 8 o'clock, Spoon Talk come on and close the whole station. Let me call TD from my slide, yeah? Let me can call You're going to do it. Everybody will have a show on Spoon Talk. Everybody will come in 1 o'clock, then 3 o'clock, then 6 o'clock, then 8 o'clock Spoon Talk. For in the morning, it's going to be a busy news network. Wow. And when a person said, there was, can you imagine somebody put their head in their pocket? Two BB generator. Look at Nelson refusing to go home now because he and her right now that's also darkness. <laughs> <laughs> Nelson not too far from the station. He said we were running one single line. <laughs> but we want to say, you know, I, I, I called a person on the show. I wanted to say, can I call your name? But again, I, I don't think so. They want us to do it, but it's a blessing. It's a blessing. I think I'm happy. I'm happy that somebody is appreciating the goodness of the network. I'm happy that somebody is tapping into the blessing of the network. And I will say to you, let's do it together. Right. Let's do it together. I like that why God bless no man can cause. I mean, and somebody said, but see you what, you know, they came in a boho, the next thing to go, you know, do a boho, put water up there. A lot of people are having big dreams for the network. So I would just sit back and let the people you know, own up to their own network. This is for the Labyrinth people. This is for the Labyrinth people. This is not me. This is not going to green. This is not, you know, Abba. This is not Fadika. This is not Mame. This is not Dr. Richardson. This is for the Labyrinth people. And I'm so surprised because, you know, I used to give. And that's my passion. But for somebody to give, it, it, it's hitting me so hard. I was admiring. I would need my show generator. My show need to be generator. That's an ugly show. Nobody will watch you. <laughs> uh -huh. Are you, uh, are you crazy? Show. Nobody will watch your show generator. When I'll uh, bring in the director general of LBS on. <laughs> Who is he? <laughs> the left <butt> ginger? <laughs>
A ver, mamá, el trayo. Fagón, hey. Fagón, trayo. Hey. Man, his own. Mamá, Fagón, Fagón want to prove above and beyond. He trying hard. And I think, you know, he would do better at LBS. You know, that's our brother. That's our friend. We wish him well. Yeah. But I want to say thanks to those that are contributing to the network. Okay. So, so that thing, you're talking about glory, glory, but you can't. Let's assume you can't the pussy. And they say nobody enter from the outside. And somebody had a kid again. Uh, so they get something in the law, not to uh, you know, put yourself on the spot like that. I plead the fifth to your question. We pass that. We move on. <laughs> and you know, the case going to the Supreme Court. I don't want them to call me as witness. Okay. I mean, your people have enough enough answer on spoon talk because we spoke to Councillor Gu. Yeah. Uh, they will they will make the decision thereof. But I do believe that Gloria Muslim Scott will be exonerated. I do believe so. Yeah, you never know what makes it. It was politics. I just think that it was politics. I just think that Hold on. now we are and everybody else. Somebody died. Right? Somebody died. Human being died. Yeah. You are in a house. Other people are in a house. Nobody came from us. Somebody there had to kill the person. Yeah, what I'm saying is that, yeah, that's the case. Shallow die. It's true. I believe. That's my opinion. That's my belief. Okay. They knew who killed her. I believe the government at the time knew who killed her. Someone has a very, someone has a very very important question, and that was Auntie Mama. Where is the other two gentlemen? What you guys did when they brought them, Valley Terra and Jefferson Koji and all of them? You allowed them to go without charging them, without anything. It was politics. What? So on, my man. thing is that. Let me finish now, brother. Let me finish. Yes, yes, me. My my issue here is that at the end of the day. If we can jail Gloria Muslim Sky and everybody, the attention will be taken away from the other accusers. And that's exactly what happened. So what are you free Gloria Muslim Sky and all of them and you charge this case? Everything remains. You have no killer. You have nobody to hold responsible. Everybody walk free. And that's exactly what happened. I do believe at the end, you know, it was bad decision, but the government remain government try to cover up. Look at the case of Bati Yenswa. Look how the stupid explanation they gave. The dumb investigation. The man was drunk, he went up, he fell down, he bossed his hair, he lost that bleeding yet. Look at that dumb investigation. I, I know somebody okay. who knew the layout of the house. And they said that what I mean, I have the I have the entire report. I have all the pictures. Look what I put in the chat room. Those are some of the pictures that I will tell you. I have everything. Not anything that would take place in Liberia, I don't know, except whatever I choose not to know. That one when you're talking some now, I sit back, I laugh. Look at it, but the arms and ammunition. Go in the chat room. Look at the person that took it there. When the IG was talking and say, Yeah, we reopen the case, we'll prosecute them. I have the whole decision. That was made. I have people that refuse to even testify. I put it in the chat room. I said, well, look at those pictures. You know, it's important for us to dig deeper and tell the Liberian people the truth. We're supposed to. You know, and that's what makes Spoon, today Spoon can get a big free generator, uh, a generator because Spoon is on the money. You know, Spoon is pushing the people issue. This is the people's radio station. This is the people radio station. And we stay. And the people will appreciate us even more. Till we meet again, folks. May God be with you. May God keep you. May God protect your family. May God protect my family. My beautiful wife, Lau, my son, Stanton Jr. My little grandson here, Levi, that refused to go to anybody but me. And you know, my girls, Aliyah is on campus. My son Sam is in Europe. Dama is in Liberia. You know, my entire family. 
other company she poor saying school business again starting this the journey this rock but she will make it graduate her first to come back again you know how prior you are when a child get a bs c bsn and going back again for master how about you been there man you know that proud moment right it's oh, enjoyable. Man, nearly every year i can go to graduation my, my it's, it's my unique children, my nieces and nephews they, back to back oh yeah we see back to back and and imagine i'm waiting for james own james own will be next year james will be graduating too and you know my, my niece so say it's a niece, beautiful thing what, what a new what a new degree she getting she get her masters in biostatistics she already a doctor she already got a master of, or in on um, public health she let too yeah. much book and she got like Aliyah going to get a go. master in 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 in, in bioscience. I mean, let me Rutgers. tell you, that's why I keep saying we got to find a way for our young people who are excelling in the diaspora to be a part of this whole Liberia experience. They can contribute a lot. Yeah, they can that's be a part. But man, yes, it is in the hall. Go tell the children of Liberia experience. The children they're running back. <laughs> they just say, "Okay, Daddy, I'm coming back." <laughs> Dude, how old are they? They're about 23, 24? Yeah, my daughter Bertha just passed March 20th. She turned 23. My other daughter will be 24. Oh, that was it. By the time they turn 25, Sonny can yeah. start clicking. Yeah, you, you, you get, get them there. The first thing you got to let them come. I'm dropping stuff about the bureau. I'm going to say can be confused. Yeah. So, but it's, but it's beautiful, them. though, you know? It's, it's, it's beautiful to talk about family, to talk about children. It's beautiful to talk about... The way forward for Liberia. Colonel Gray, let me tell you. So I saw Colonel Gray two girls when he was looking for school. He brought it all the way in Pennsylvania. Which school she in, Colonel Gray? Did she was she accepted, right? Is she yeah. on campus now? She's on campus. Yeah, Colonel Gray. She was so happy. You know, I met her. I said, You're gonna enjoy it. She said, Yes. Imagine she left Minnesota, right? Yeah, she left me. And, and, and I, I, I was asking Aliyah, I said, Aliyah, but tell you Aliyah decided to do the in-state school, Rutgers. So she just drive for 45 minutes, she's on campus, right? But my thing is that, and I said, but Aliyah, when you go out of state, it's like people from different states coming in your state and you're going in their state. And you know, but that's how yes. the system work. Yes. It's like so somebody, somebody leaving Mozzarella and going where nearby to be on campus. And you can only see that on the weekend. Imagine we don't have that ever in Liberia. Everybody, no. University of Liberia Fender, University of Liberia Fender, University of Liberia Fender, everything was right there. Look at all the lands. Look at the big space. Why are we and, and that's why you keep saying 1%, but that's why Mr. Cummings' volunteer program was about for the youths to de segregate and integrate the youth. Around the country, let them get involved. Not everything at Morovia. The other counties gotta be brought up. The young people gotta go there. They gotta interact with people from, you know, different areas. So it's a wonderful thing, man. But we really gotta find well, out. I got you guys here. Some already eat one hour into nursing time. Let eat the last damn minute. Only number of minutes with me. <laughs> but yeah, let eat the last damn minute. What oh, yeah, you, let... you think? You think Mr. Cummings will really run again? Ever? I know people been reaching out and people are wanting to run again, especially given the start that this government is having. I don't know that he wants to, seriously. I really don't know. Hopefully in the next few months, because for me- You think you're gonna encourage him to, you encourage him to run again? Because you're very strategic. Condition. You're very strategic under, at Robert's appointment. Under conditions, under certain conditions. I can't review those conditions here, but it gotta be set. It can be the same thing. There's certain conditions got to happen. For what you. was your mistake, Ava? What was your mistake? What was what mistake you think that cost comments to have less than two percent? I don't think you can say one mistake. Name few. We are working on a post mortem to find out what really happened for the people themselves, especially those who are involved. So hopefully, we'll be able to do that. Did right it, the did it, did it less than two percent came directly from Mosterado County? Or you think all the county just suck up Mr. Cummings and say, you know what, we just we don't want you at all. Oh man, the even the people who were doing independent polling, some of the people I was connected with, 
that that 1.6 or 2 percent were far from the reality of what they were seeing. And said there was some kind of dramatic. Well, that but, but, but uh, you had you had your you have your group right or oh, 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 Conor Gray because you support your comments Conor Gray. You had you had your group right. You had your poor washers right in all countries. Am I correct? You're right. But they deploy in all counties. I don't believe um, they covered all counties, but uh, oh. that was the intention. I mean, Comey was the richest candidate in the race. Why Why you guys didn't cover all counties as of well? I don't know if elections really about individual wealth and how you... I mean, it, it, I mean, over elections, is money. elections are won way before that last year, to me. That I no, if I mean he was the richest because Cummings, Cummings raised a lot of money compared to a unity party. And, you know, and my I mean, thing is that if for you not to have all okay. your poor washers in all counties. Who had the most money in this election? Who had the most money? You, Joe, we are, I believe, had the most. Joe, we are, I believe, had the most money in the election. Exactly. They didn't win. But next so was coming. But next was coming, so. I didn't think the elections were really about money. Seriously. I'm not saying it was. I'm saying you never had enough to provide poor washers in all the polling places. I'm asking you. Did you I have mean, I, I don't think I, I, I can't influence the uh, the post mortem, you know, stuff. So I can't really, as somebody who's facilitating that process, I can't get in and start talking about it. I don't think it would be one right. Thing, one thing I would say running for the presidency is very addictive. Uh, so that's it. I mean, politics in general, if you're not strong, you'll be a political addict. <laughs> yeah, running for the presidency is very addictive because you, there will always be a group of people that will say you, you're so close. You see the other one failing. Joe, we are not running again. Even if you run, it doesn't have that traction. Omar Bokai was who probably people were expecting, but you see how he's performing. You're so close. So that, that influences the addiction. You, you think he can have that breakthrough, though he's so close? Do you think Comis will ever have a breakthrough in Liberia? The reason why I'm asking, let's say Joe, I said, Joe, I say he's running already. I believe he's running, right? Let's say Joseph Walker so, say, I'm so you not tell me all the row, row you're putting behind Joe, we are? Yo, and I'm, I leave for him in that small. What are you talking about? For him in that The man stole this for CTN. The man stole from MedTech. But the you're going contrary to my question. You're going contrary to my question. Joe, we are saying he's running. All right. If Joseph Barga say I am not running, it will be Jeremiah Kuhn. If Joseph Barga said, "Listen, I have this strength." Oh, no, 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 I'm not, not, not interrupting. I'm not interrupting. Let me ask you. I'm asking you. Wait. So if oh, Joseph Barga say I have the strength, I want to run. Then well, you got Joseph Barga, you got Joe Weir. Then here come Comis again. So the flavor of Comis, you have diluted that flavor. But if Joseph Barga is out of the picture, and you got Jeremiah Kuhn. Do you think Josh Manawea can break through Jeremiah Kuhn, Joe Weir? And, and, and you think you think Mr. Kumis can break through Jeremiah Kuhn and Joe Weir to win the election again? Or you think it will be the same six and seven? What what can put Kumis over the edge? Ava, what? What do you think out there can help Kumis? The people. But how can you convince these people? These people, you say the people were dead, they won. They said the people. The people was there till Colonel Gray turned his back and start supporting Joseph Bwaka. The people was there till you make some of the people mad. Something drove the people away from Mr. Cummings. You saying you're doing post-mortem. I agree. But at the end of the day, you got to be real with the people. But man, let let Nelsie get a serious PL. The person will get up on the show. Let Nelsie have his... I listen to that. I get three more minutes. I listen to that. No, don't run away. We got three more minutes. I'm watching the clock. Look, my man. My man, the Labrador people, sometimes people say the voters are ignorant, sometimes who say they don't understand civics, so I say, but they got their own way of determining who they want. That's one. Two, I personally don't believe the results. In my mind, something happened. I just cannot find out what happened because it's not a line. But you know, you never had way. all your poor washer out in all the country, but you say in your mind oh. something happened. You have money. Right, but you couldn't deploy all your poor watchers. So what happened? You can blame the what happened. Blame you. 
Seven you know how folks in Sano counted seven. Oh, we got we got take some responsibility. Yes, we got take responsibility. But, but, so, who la, so who lied to comments? Who lied to comments? comments? But I don't think our responsibility was so grievous to get to that one point six percent. I question that one. My man, my man, if you know how your poor washer or somebody is coming seventy thousand, somebody in his poor washer money two million dollars. Then you don't say that you don't think it was so grievous. I mean, I agree. I disagree with. I disagree no, with this. To this Liberia, to this Liberia, any politician running. <laughs> But they got they got rebels watching you they say Nancy Montero who you off. <laughs> you understand? Here's the deal. Anybody anybody running for the presidency must sell himself as a common man, a people person, an ordinary man. I still think that um probably um, the, the, the voters feel that Mr. Uh, Cummings is still on his high horse. And until he, he lowers himself down, sell sells himself as the people man, the common man. That's why some of were pushing with that 0.4 issue. Yeah. That he should walk for 0.4 to, to, to go, go set to the flat. Yeah, to go set to the flat. Because everything in mesh in Coca-Cola, that's not who he is. What is your common story? That the 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 that, 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 that thing. That, thing. That, that wasn't a good hey, thing to no, say. Let me answer the other person. Somebody make campaign promise. They say I will take my individual money and can pay school or can pay role. No, as president and controlling the resources of the country, they will use it in the right direction. That's what the presidential promise is. Huh? Anyway, I, 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 I think I think we leave it. I think you wasn't right with Mr. Cummings, man. I think well, I think you I think you one of those that 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 that, that, that directed Mr. Cummings wrongly. Yeah, your opinion. I can't, I can't yeah, yeah. argue with your, I don't argue with opinion, I argue with facts. But we'll wait for the facts. We'll wait that you bring the fact and tell us what happened, what really happened. All right. No know. problem. I'm a good night. I'm a, 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 i Emmy, that, that nursing panelist, one oh, of yeah. the, the <laughs> when, uh, what happened with Mobile? Is he back? No, Mobile is still here. I think he'll be going back uh, somewhere Soon? around. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. So I heard that Mobile get a little, you know. Have a good show, man. I heard that Mobile get a little, you know. Look at you laughing. <laughs> <We're> bad, <man. laughs> yeah, can I agree? Good night, man. See you, sir. Okay. Okay. Well, folks, again, we say thanks to all of you out there for being here with us tonight on um, this edition of Smooth Talk. Thanks to all of you out there for watching. Thanks to uh, those of you in Radio Lane. Um, we've been streaming live across uh, Liberia on several frequencies. Thanks to the folks who have been listening on Spoon, Spoon FM 107.5, Fabric Radio 101.1, and Super FM 95.5. Uh, thanks to the partner radio stations as well across Liberia. Um, thanks to uh, Gibi FM 90.9 in Kakatama, Gibi County. Thanks to Trend Radio 104.7 in Grand Cru County for relaying this program. And uh, we want to say thanks to Trust FM in Bom uh, the Spomi County and Premier Radio in Bon County as well for really in the program. Thanks to our audience across the internet on YouTube, Spoon Talk Live. Thanks to all of you who have been following there and um, making your contributions in the comment section as well. If you're not following our YouTube handle, you can kindly uh, check it out on, on, on YouTube, Spoon Talk Live, search Spoon Talk Live. And you're definitely going to see all of our programs. Thanks to all of you who are all already subscribed and are joining us from there daily. Thanks to our folks on Spoon TV, who are over half a million followers. We appreciate all of you. And uh, thanks to the folks on Fabric TV on Facebook and Super TV on Facebook as well. My name is Nelson Collier. We'll be here tomorrow with another edition of the program, the, late, uh, the Spoon Talk. We'll be back on the radio tomorrow. Until then... Have a good night. Liberia is all we have. So let's remember to keep the peace. 
thanks a lot to all of you tonight for following and bye bye for now coming up shortly is the late night show the late night politics on spawn yes sir, yes, sir. a special one from the ceo stand coming with the spawn and your boy right at the south man charge